studio Top right. Commander Will. How's it going, everybody? I'm here with the one, the only, our top judge, our marshal. Is that the official word? I don't know. I'm going to use it. I'm an event it. organizer event these days. Event organizer. Chris Allen, he's got with us. What, what, what do you got there? This is our top 16 medal. Ooh. I'm going to pull it out. So all, all the top 16 competitors got this one? So the losers of the top 16 get these. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up. Uh, no, not at all. That's all right. You can, you can zoom in. All Go right, ahead. Zoom in. Go ahead. Natural zoom. Yeah. Enhance. Hopefully that comes through okay. It says top 16, so the reason it's for the uh, less fortunate of the top 16 is there's also top 8 and top 4, runner-up, and finally champion. Fantastic. I mean, the Adepticon medals are kind of a classic thing yes. for, for this convention, so it's awesome that we got specific ones for our world championship. Yeah, we got some for best painted squads on Friday. We got some for uh, best in faction with our one separatist <laughs> player who made it through the end of <laughs> yesterday. Did you get Opara, got best painted and best gun? Yes, and now has yet another one. Yep. He's assembling something dangerous. We have to be careful. <laughs> so super excited. Just wanted to make sure we got some FaceTime here with Chris Allen, our event organizer, doing doing all the behind-the-scenes work to make sure that all this runs smoothly. Yeah, hope the less that you see me, you see me, that means things are going well. So. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Good to see you, Dion. Good to see you, too. Back to the table.
Yeah. Just to address the dice cam issue. Should be corrected, though we had some, been having occasional interference, but we'll keep an eye on it. It's the aliens, dude. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the pe too many people wearing tinfoil hats. <laughs> gotta love it. So, uh, interestingly enough, you, you heard uh, Chris earlier, if you guys had joined us uh, when we started our broadcast, uh, that Old Para, as, as of right now, has earned three total medals. Three total medals. Top scum. Uh, best painted best squad painted. in yes, the indeed. in the field, and now a top 16, or if you were if you were to progress, then a top eight, and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. Medals. He's got at least a top 16 or better medal. And Def Tearing, so kind to make those medals uh, yeah. for each of the events, and especially the the bigger events that. Uh, like X-Wing, where it goes into the elimination rounds, yeah. they're so kind to provide those different uh, medals for everybody. It's a tradition to get your Adepticon medal, mm -hmm. in addition to all of the prize support yeah. that they would normally get in the tournament. Well, he got Top Scum as well. Top Scum, yeah. Four medals. Painted Scum. No, you said Scum twice. Painted I, I said Scum. Top 16. Top 16. Cool guy. And <laughs> best, best para ever. <laughs> Yeah, anticipation. Everyone's on the edge of the seats, ready to get the round started. It is early in the morning here. Mm -hmm. well, we're glad to have everybody joining in. Well, the exciting, the of course, the exciting thing that happens at the end, right, is literally the convention being torn down around us as we as we do the final. We're just trying to get, you know get get going early as early <laughs> as we can. Uh, I think it was what 10, 10 or so on the first day after. A lot of administrative work. Yep. Shout out to our judge team for really making sure every player has a fair chance. Mm -hmm. uh, and that uh, there was no shenanigans. Is there a better place for this? Uh, yeah, I'll hold it right there. Just in case I need to write a secret message to you. Is this yours as well? That one's mine, yeah. Okay, I'll maybe. put it over here. Ooh, uh, we're right. getting a good morning, so. Getting a Jason, the true hero here. Telling you. I said I didn't want orange juice, and then I drank out <laughs> three or three, <laughs> two or three of them. So. All right, I believe that's timer started. Here we go. Ready to go. We'll start the official commentary for the video editing once the first ship moves. I'm super excited to be here, folks. Worlds is a special time. What a special time for our community. Here we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top 16 of the World Championships of X-Wing here at Adepticon. I'm joined by my co-pilot. Big Willis style. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> Will Hagwood coming in at you. That's right. Super excited to be here, folks. We are playing Chance Engagement. This is the uh, 1v1, one player versus one player dogfight scenario scenario half points are active yes, in indeed. this one we're going to break down these squads for you here in a second but we know what you guys want to do first always will what do they want to do they want to choose their champion that's right so let's go ahead let's start breaking down these lists dealer's choice go for it will uh let's take uh old para they have brought a scum list coming out from poland they this list includes the Mandalorian. He can, is it change your ad? I believe it's change one blank to an mm -hmm. eyeball result if there's multiple people in their front arc. So really a jousty ship here. Has the Razor Crest title to hide and elicit. Ooh, what could it mm, be? I wonder what's being Ooh. sneaky sneaky there. Well, it's definitely not contraband cybernetics because they have that equipped as well. And the child, of course, how thematic. Uh, does create uh, force points that don't recur and gives out merciless pursuit. We have it marked out there on on ball and kickback. If they attack the main lawyer, they're going to get a free target lock. Mm -hmm. uh, next up is Fen Rao in the Fang Fighter. They're getting extra dice at range one up to a five dice attack. That's classic scum right there. Classic scum. This is rocking some new upgrades. Uh, best guard to negate some face up damage cards. 
Uh, we have shield upgrade. Why don't you just bring your raid token around with you? <laughs> and clan training. When they engage, they can take a red focus action. Great for when you don't need those repositions. You can just roll up and target lock and then get your red focus. Uh, next up, we have an I-5 rogue class uh, starfighter. This is Dirge. Um, Dirge's scum ability is basically reverse Bosk, if that makes any sense to you. We'll break it down when we see it trigger, but uh, more or less can uh, cancel hit results and turn them into crits. This one is equipped with false transponder code, so a little bit of jamming while they target lock or be target locked. Proton Cannon, of course, at four dice, bullseye weapon, and marksmanship for double crits on that Proton Cannon. Let's see, what's the last ship out there? Oh, it's the other rogue class, Cad Bane. Cad Bane hands out uh, bad tokens when he makes an attack. Most of them coming from stress when he does those linked actions. Does have the Xanadu blood to be able to equip ion bombs and the crew Cura. So if they target lock an obstacle, we see the red lock out there. No, that's, uh, that's from kickback. Oh, sorry, there it is in the center, the pink one. We're just going to roll right through that and ignore the uh, obstacle uh, for Cad Bane. Very cool to see that there. Yeah, uh, that's, a, that's an upgrade that was really popular early in the game mm -hmm. and kind of disappeared, but it has I think it catches people by off, off guard, right? It's uh, by surprise sure. for sure. Uh, it's a little scary because if, you, if your opponent has any way to jam that off uh, unexpectedly, <laughs> ah! Uh, you, you could find yourself hitting that obstacle that you thought was good. Yep. Uh, the interesting combination here, though, if you delete some of these upgrades or cards or whatever, because uh, we're looking at their weapon there, that synced laser, so they get a three dice attack at range two or three. But here's the here's the little trick That's here. That's spicy. Uh, is Marge Sable Closure. They've set up now to where they're going to roll through that object or obstacle, mm -hmm. and then when they land, they're going to hand out a string to somebody. Uh, which could be uh, not only reducing their attack dice or their defense dice, uh, they're also going to actually shut down some of these born for this because you can only born for this if you're not strained. That's right. Interesting little combination there. Love to see uh, an inter uh, a interesting build here for Cad Bane. He's got so many options, so many upgrade slots mm -hmm. uh, to customize, to taste. Uh, so. Very cool to see uh, Scum, I believe our only Scum in the top 16. The only Scum in the top 16. We had to make sure that we got, we oh, featured yeah. it because it's amazing. And one of, <laughs> one of the, of course, uh, Old Para, um, great guy, by the way. When, when, when we were in Poland, um, he, he just was able to, to show me around. Uh, we had dinner together. It was a it was a great time. Good good guy. But he was like, I didn't expect to make this. I wasn't really even trying to make top 16. So uh, you came to show off those painted ships. Yeah, exactly. But it looks like we are gonna be starting engagement here. I'm seeing a range check. Well, we have dials set from CAD to. I'm not sure what's happening here. I'm not sure either. I thought everybody moved, but I think they're double checking to see if there is an attack, which might be. I think Cad Bane and uh, Jack are actually going to trade shots here just in range. So Hora making sure to put out those tokens for his born for this abilities. Is our dice cam on? There it is. Got a couple of hits, but plenty of evades there, so no damage on Jack. Jack's going to. And that's that's uh, old pair returning returning fire there with Cad Bane and no dice. Yeah, nothing happening there. Just some warning shots uh, as we move in to round two. Of course, there's no objective scoring for the first round. Mm -hmm. We'll start that at the end of round two. Uh, would you like to take a look then at Jorge's? clone squad yeah absolutely so um these uh, clones here are basically it's, it's a boner for this squad right is mm -hmm. we we are really leaning into that defensive ability we have oddball there uh with his ability to gain target locks we have wolf he's the one reroll extraordinaire jag he's looking for friends out the left and the right but of course there's uh, plenty of other clones right every other ship is one of those clone troopers uh we have a kickback as well oops missed the button there 
We have Kickback as well in those V19s, those ships that we really haven't seen too much of. Uh, we have Axe, this is the fifth out of six clone troopers. And then last but not least, we also have a boost. So I think one of my favorite things about this clone squad is the fact that it's, it's a little bit different of a version of, of a list that we've been seeing, right? Mm -hmm. Three arcs plus stuff. And the stuff has been sometimes an Anakin and a Padme. Uh, but now we are, we're getting... Um Oh, I call that Jack. Different. That's actually not Jack. That is Wolf, as we see the spent charge there as they used it for the offensive reroll, uh, which is why the Ark attacked first. I was like, why did, right. why did Jack attack first? What color uh, is this There would be? be yellow. Wolf is yellow? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I think we, that was the... The confusion only, there. Only okay. And then Jag is what? Jag would be pink then. We assume oddball blue in the back there is the higher initiative. Right. And we'll just have to double check. Kickback, pretty easy to tell. Uh, there are different initiatives, so whichever one moves first is orange or uh, is axe. Looks like I just got confirmation here on those. We're gonna get the second round road roll. Uh, and yeah, axe is okay. Everything else seems to be correct there. Yeah, dirge and orange. Yep. Okay, so it's just just a small difference there, but glad to catch it in the first round. And we're gonna get some movement here. So some folks are asking about uh, the scorings for the other games. So once we uh, we have uh, Jason, he's walking around, he's checking on those games about every 10 to 15 minutes, and uh, he'll give us updates there. Uh, and once we know how things go, we'll we'll update you so you guys know who is still in contention for this world championship. Here's a question, Dion, on this restream. Do we get to put in our things? I just switch good. recognize it. That's a good question. I don't know. Let's well, if you are on, oh, uh, Nano did exclamation point lists, um, but it doesn't seem that it popped up. It may not have popped up on our side. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah. I could pull up a, a Twitch window there for us. I think we have a Twitch feed. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it actually did pop up in there. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yep, we have uh, the the list here for the top 16. Should still be in all the roll better, so you can check that out. Uh, should be a bracket going on as well in roll better. They do such an amazing job uh, with the tournament software. Uh, so good. In fact, recommended for this event. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Being used in the world championships, going from... <laughs> The olden days of pen and paper, broken software, community software again, and then another piece of community software to uh, to update and bring us into the, this day and age. So it's pretty awesome. All right, we do see uh, this Cad Bane. He will have to move through, so I hope he got to the other side of that ob obstacle. Uh, but I, looks like he does. Looks like he's still on there, but he's got Kira, right? That's no, but you need to move through it for Marge Sable closure. Oh, you for the Marge Sable, the yep. Um, we see that strain placed down on Jang. Uh, that born for this does require you to be unstrained. Yep. So now that does turn off that ability or reduces their defense dice so none of the torrents can possibly throw them an evade token yep. to convert their agility. Move through it means only the template touches, correct. Uh, otherwise, if your base uh, touches it, it would be an overlap. We yeah. use the word bump a lot, which is not appropriate. It's, it's, it's not a, a technical game term. No, no. That's a, that's, all right, it, sh it shows that your X-Wing 1.0 is showing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, the appropriate term is overlap. You overlapped yeah. another ship and then get, got pushed back through the template. Uh, and now are at range zero. Yep. Uh, but we colloquially call all of that, you bumped a ship. Yeah, you, you bumped it. We also call it bump focus, which is the yep. same thing. You overlapped an enemy ship, you're gonna take a red focus action. So if we do say something like that, uh, hopefully it doesn't catch you off guard. 
Um, yeah, exciting matchup here at Depticon. So kind to support mm -hmm. such a large event here. They've been so kind throughout many, many years to have large X-Wing tournaments here, system opens, world qualifiers. And I, th uh, I think a deserved nod of the hat by AMG to say, hey, let's just run our world championships there, yeah. right? Yeah, it, everything seems to go so smooth. The Depticon's so accommodating. Uh, and honestly, we've had uh, help from them uh, every every step of the way, uh, making sure everything is great. And of course, AMG, uh, not only dumping off prime support, but organizing all of these tournaments, making sure that the tournaments have a great uh, team to run them. Mm -hmm. Chris Allen and his judges team have been working hard, literally 16 hour days uh, throughout this week everything uh, they need to do yep. to get different events set up, running doubles, unconventional warfare, uh, then uh, as well. Uh, what was the other thing that they were running? Oh, the, the game sliber as well. You yes. can check out a game. Uh, maybe you're like, dang, I didn't bring Max Wing stuff. Or, yeah. uh, or, or I, I want to check play the out. new scenario. Yep. Or uh, I never had a chance to play the Battle of Yav, and I would like to play that. Or the droids you're looking for. Exactly. <laughs> so they, have, uh, they set up all this. Uh, you know what, what, I, what I haven't got a chance to play? The, the Gonk. What is it? Gonk Racing? <laughs> that, that's happening somewhere here. Uh, is it? Yeah. Interesting. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's. It's not X-wing. It's none of the game systems at all. It's its own separate thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I, yeah, gonk racing. I need to make sure we get some of that in at some point. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Uh, but yeah, everyone so far uh, between uh, the uh, uh, hosts here at Depticon to AMG and our judges squad have been just excellent so accommodating really making it the event of the year especially for players who have traveled thousands of miles to get here making a whole week of it in the chicago land area uh, this great to see everybody come back new faces and old uh, jorge of course uh, a world-class player and Old Para, uh, been a fantastic player ever since the old first edition days. Uh, looks like we have full blank out there from Finn, uh, which removes the strain token. We did see a false transponder codes trigger from Dirge, so which removes that focus token from Jag as well. And the even thing, Dirge has a nice four dice proton cannon lined up. We're gonna see what uh, Jorge's I-5s say we got double blanks there from kickback, or excuse me, double eyeballs. Uh, so not going to modify them. Took an evade for some protection of the arcs, but is going to give Jack that target lock as they uh, attacked inside of their side arc. And this kind of angled deployment so important for these arcs because they like uh, to stay within those side arcs, stay within range two to be able to help each other out and with modification. Whether it's Wolf using Oddball or Jag's lock through their Wolf pack, uh, Oddball being able to hand out locks, and of course Jag just acquiring his own fresh locks. Alrighty, so locking back in here we got activation going it's time for some attacks here we go three dice hit crit spend for three looks like we got two all right we're gonna spend the focus there that means cad bane taking a shield cad bane could be in most of these attack characters could be the target for the republic squad All right, hit it, crit. Ooh, all natural here from the Mandalorian. Squiggle focus. Um, will we see a born for this evade tossed over to Jag? Yes, we will. Jorge, very, I would say, uh, defensive in his yep. play style. He knows that the opening engagement is uh, a chance for him to lose an arc early. So yeah. that means kickback loses, uh, does end up taking a critical damage? Uh, Jag takes one damage, yes. It was, it was Jag. Jag. Attacking Jag 
Got it. Corn so that was a shield, a shield on the. I yes. got it. All right, cool. I always, I always get switched up because his tokens go on different people. <laughs> yes. all, all that's happening. All right. Next attack here from Scum. Trip crit. Yeah, this is bra, the bra, bra, proton cannon with re -roll the reroll. It's going to be all crits. Single evade. So two more damage are coming down into jangle. It should be the last two shields. Shields are down. Uh, a little unfortunate to see all those crits. I know, right? Bouncing off the shields for sure. Uh, Boba Fett, we'll make sure to pop one in the dice cam mm -hmm. uh, afterwards. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll zoom in on the player cam afterwards because it <laughs> is something we're showing off. Enhance. All right. He did crit here from the Republic. Yep, this is Wolf double Natties. Let's go. A little Let's... bit of luck there for Cad Bane, only losing one shield. All right. So shields are down on the brimmed hat man himself. Another shot here going into Jag. Uh, just two. Had two to spend hits. one of those focuses on defense there. Nice evade, so only a single damage. This is a, this is a game of a thousand cuts. Yeah. It seems thick, like no one's able boys. to really push through a big amount of damage, which makes sense for this Republic squad. Like I said, Jorge plays it very defensively. Yep. In these opening engagements, once the scrum happens, then he could really cut loose. Ooh, from downtown boost, able to throw two hits, and we're going to get another damage, damage onto Cad Bane. First damage card of the game. First blood. Oh, no, no. Uh, Jack took a damage card. Yeah. So first first blood uh, drawn on against Jorge, but he fights back there. All right. Jack uses that free target lock he got for two hits. Only one. And Fen Rao. Able to get the squiggle. Easy. We'll see what access say access fire those barrage rockets. We're gonna take out the range bonus and fire a third dice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next shot here. Hit crit coming in for the Republic. The onslaught continues into Cad Bane. Looks like we got double squiggles. No problem. E Z. All right. Axe is gonna go ahead and try to give a target lock out, then that's his ability after he fires. Hands out a target lock to one of his friends to acquire. He's going to give it to uh, Kickback. That's when you know you got those those continuous motion machine effects when you mm. see players pointing to seven ships in one back and uh, forth. Yeah. Uh, this list for Jorge does have so many triggers. Yeah. Uh, but he's been playing it uh, for a long time now, so very familiar with when to get those target locks, when to pass the tokens, things like that. So we'll take out this dice cam here as we get ourselves a point for the center yep. at the end of round two here. Everybody gets a point. Get your points, yeah, get your points. Both players did set up for a good engagement, um, but at the same time, uh, the uh, ready to defend against the opponent, um, their, their engagement, so very, very interesting here how the players will approach the following round. Uh, of course, we have Jag at initiative three, so we're going to be able to move first, take up a lot of space in front of these scum ships, uh, make forcing them into that red focus and limit their yep. maneuvers the following round. Of course, these arcs have those front and back attacks, yeah, so might be wanting to press early, maybe have some of the scum ships fly over them so they can do that forward and rear attacks. Uh, that's part of the game of chicken with those arc 170s, right? Is they, they very is. much can just like, well, we're just going to fly straight so we can avoid the stress, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but at the same time, the, the decision that Jorge has to make is you can't fly too far because then you also need the space to K-turn and you end up in right. trouble if you have to end up turning before your K-turn, right? And you end up right. presenting the side of the ARC-170 and you're not actually attacking. Very true, very true. Uh, one thing, uh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, for everybody watching at home, today we are broadcasting live on Twitch and YouTube. So for everybody's convenience, so welcome. If you're on YouTube and you want to come chat with our, our very active chat community mm -hmm. over here on Twitch, feel free to pop open that Twitch chat. But if you're live on YouTube, it's great to have you there as well. We have folks here uh, watching in our stadium seating area at Worlds. 
Yep, they got the big screen TVs. They got a beautiful TV set up here. James coming over to double check our work. There was the selfless, okay. So that, that stopped. Uh, oh, okay. Perfect. And that's hard to pull off that selfless from the proton cannon. So no damage cards on Jank. Okay. Okay. Well, yep. So we're up to si back to six here. Back to six and there. And minus a shield off Oddmo. Yeah. So it's very Got hard to, it. to get the selfless ship in the uh, proton cannon arc, but uh, well done by Jorge there. I, I, would, if you have oh yes, yes, yeah. yes. I think all the colors were right except for Wolf and Jack, which we got correct. We got a little flippy dip there. No worries, thank you. Um, as a reminder, folks, we are doing some giveaways brought to you by Atomic Mass Games. After each of our rounds today, we have a Worlds 2024 mm. prize pack. Yes. We'll go over the terms and conditions and all that before we do the giveaways. Uh, but super excited for that. If you have someone here at Adepticon, you can locally pick up uh, the, the prizes. We'll just hand it to you. Uh, and if need be, uh, we can ship it to you, and we'll talk about all the ifs, ands, whats, and buts uh, for for that when we um, get there. Uh, from the chat here, Mighty, Mighty Southside Bandits, uh, we did put the Merciless Pursuit, the MP, out on those Initiative 5s, Oddball mm -hmm. and Kickback. Uh, so you see it in the, in the overlay. Right, yep, exactly, right next to their name. Uh, the other thing was that Anbal actually brings a fourth shield, a shield upgrade, if you will, uh, from a traditional arc. What? Uh, so, yeah, even that selfless trigger still brings him down uh, to three shields. Is that the hidden hole upgrade people were talking about? That's the hidden. Everyone's got secret it's, shields. Wedge yeah. do, does the beaming They're always steel. trying to bamboozle me. I like they're just, they're just setting me up for the bamboozle. Yeah, the TIE Fighters and uh, Interceptors now have secret hole upgrades as well. So yep. you really got to double check those SL cards. I really like the position of boost. Uh, that Jorge is using here uh, to guarantee flank. a ship that's in the center. Yep. Just one straight, just casually fly through it for mm -hmm. uh, the next couple rounds here. Uh, so even if, say, Wolf gets destroyed, yep. they still always have a ship in the center. You cannot give up two points to your opponent just for uh, leaving the center. Cad Bane with the K turn here, getting set up oh, nice. with his ion bombs, maybe getting set, set up for a run, mm -hmm. but also has, of course, that linked laser cannon. A synced laser synced cannon. Synced laser cannon. Uh, yeah, I'm really oh, effective. Infield report coming in from Grim Wolf. Jason Grim. Table eight. Octa currently in the lead. Six to one. Ooh, must have got an early ship off the board then. Mm-hmm. We have eight total tables going on today. At table seven, currently uh, tied 0-0, zero, zero, so no progression I there. I don't understand how that, how that happens, table three. What are you doing? Get in the center. <laughs> <Throw some points. laughs> yeah, I, mean, that, I guess they're playing some chicken, right? Yeah, they're a little cagey. They want the other person to jump into the center. So, yeah, that's Brandon Cadding and Elias Economitis. That's uh, what's happening there at table seven. Interesting. How many factions? I believe no CIS or FO made it into the top cut. Co correct. Yeah, we did a little a little tally last night. Let's see if I can pull it up real quick. Right here. Four Republic, three Empire, one Scum, uh, two, two Resistance, Resistance, and six Republic. Uh, not surprising there between the popularity of those factions and their recent success in previous events. Next couple of updates here. Uh, table five, that's uh, Roberto Mendez Torres versus Paul Heaver. Paul currently ahead three to two against Roberto. Interesting, must have half pointed a ship then. Mm -hmm. Remember, you do only get the lesser of the two halves when you first half them. So, for instance, uh, kickback or axe, they're at three points here. So if you do half their threshold, you only score a single point and would get the other two points at their full destruction. Uh, tricky uh, overlap here uh, that it might be pushed back behind Finn. 
Mm. Oh no, it's very close, but I think the nubs are just barely touching here. Jack reaches out Ooh. and barely gets that block. Oh uh, yeah, we see a ship move, so. Yeah, so that's gonna end up being a block. Mandalorian not gonna have any actions this turn, though does have the force from the child still. Yeah, so he I, at least has some modification. Yeah, I could take the bump focus, but with the child, it, it seems unnecessary. You want to leave that dial open. I don't know if you guys, can you pull up the, the Razor Crest dial? If you're not familiar with it, it could surprise It's wild. You. Yeah, so only blues uh, for straight maneuvers. Now, of course, they do have the contraband cybernetics and some sort of hidden upgrade uh, that hasn't sneaky, been sneaky. revealed yet. Maybe that's what I'll send in. Uh, tell James to let us know when we see that secret upgrade. All right, looks like we have an, a tight fit there with the one bank for Oddball, able to slide it in and get the focus token. This might end up being some pain here for the Mandalorian, Din Djarin. Dirge is moving now. I think they're going to call a judge for this. A lot of, lot of, a uh, lot of close quarters fighting happening right now. Oh, that James says that uh, the Mandalorian did reveal a false transponder codes. What we expected, right? Underneath the Razor Crest. Um, I don't think it got used. I, I thought they just took a focus, but. Maybe a little bit of protection there as the... What Republic was it again? I'm sorry. False transponder. False transponder. Codes. So a little bit of lock protection. Uh, you lock me, you're going to lose some tokens. Exactly, exactly. It's really funny to uh, have somebody lock you and be like, oh, actually, lift that focus token off. Of yeah. you. you didn't have the lock, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you remove your defensive token? No, I, I want to keep that. I paid for that. <laughs> right. All right, here we go. Fenrau gonna hop over the parade of ships. And looking range one into the teeth Ooh. of Wolf. I mean, Fenrau's right where he likes to be. Oh, he he's, loves it. He's range one of a couple of ships, though he is range two of a couple of those mm. V-19s. We'll see if Jorge decides to, to switch targets here and, and go after Fenrau. Though Fenrau does have a shield upgrade, that might be a little bit of bait. Being like, hey, you could attack me if you want to. All right, another... Field report here from Jason Grimm. Table four uh, has a crazy bump fist with Republic on Republic. Uh, expect engagement to be a bloodbath or just natty out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a Marco Tamalin and Ooh. Damien Delotre. We see a start of engagement boost. All right, people, people went for slider in the beginning when the Z95s went out, initiative four, a little bit better maneuvering. Yeah. Uh, but people have learned the power of that start of engagement boost. Turns out knowledge is everything yeah. in X-Wing. So having that full board state, we actually it saw. It was just cute. I think it was cute, right? You're like, oh, look what yeah. I get to do. I get to do this cool side to side thing. Too many people are boosting into dangerous positions, I think. Speaking oh, of dangerous here we go. Positions, Fan Rao's got some choices to make. He has a focus token. Yeah, he's, he's checking got, on how he's many. He's like, shots. I got all these shots coming Ooh. at me. Do I? He's like, I kind of want to do it. Yeah. Spend the target lock. Oh, all right. We saw, we saw the that proud or what yeah. is it, clan training to get the lock and focus. Still ends up with three three hits, so not bad. Could have had could have had five. Wow. Rips the rips the shields off of Fen. Uh, excuse me, off of Wolf. The problem is that those munitions from the torrents could be deadly at range two. All right, next one, this is, I believe. So that was Mandalorian's ability to change a blank to an eyeball, and will he drop both force? Yes, he does. Hit it, crit. Got a single squiggle. So assuming because he modified, he's going into wolf here. So it should be hit, hit, crit. 
And we'll see Dirge with a range one, only a single hit. And in the base. Got it. Oh my goodness. Natties. Jorge doing a great job rotating those arcs. So you, uh, being able to protect one, let another one take damage, get that one to a safe position, make mm -hmm. them shoot the next one. Oh, Oddball took the crit. Nice from the Mandalorian, so no critical damage there. I was wondering what the card was going to be, but uh, we do see Wolf still halved there, even with that selfless charge. So yep. points are ready for old Parma. Three to one. I always forget about the selfless. It's so good. It's the it, best is, it is. It's very it's sneaky best, good. Best. As long as you remember to trigger it. <laughs> no, no, uh, yeah, because you... To trigger a selfless, essentially you have to choose not to shoot Oddball. Because right. he has to be in the attack arc. Uh, A-10, Air-9, we did see boost. Uh, shake two I-6s yesterday. It was pretty amazing. All right. Got a mixed bag there, one of each. Able to get a reroll and end up spending for three. And Fenrau shrugs it off. Yeah, so it must have been the range one from the torrent here. We got range one from Oddball. Hit crit, Concordia. Concordia. So good. Many a player have cried into the tears, <laughs> cried tears into the, the flag of Concordia. Uh, is it turn two? No, we're actually are on turn three. Three, yeah. All right, this would be Cad Bane's range one and going to dodge the hit with the focus token there. A little born for this, so does strain on ball. Again, Jorge is doing great, keeping on ball in range, tokened up to help support these other ships. I am remembering those triggers. All right, here's another big shot. Hit crit. We got Wolf. This is Wolf Pack using yep. Jag's lock. Uh, boom, boom. He's locked in. Uh, then another blank. Nice. Was able to convert one for a total of three. <laughs> Bam! Oh, he says not today. Fen Rao just doing Fen Rao things there. Once you dive, it, you're, it's dangerous position. Yeah. But once you get into that range one, can be unstoppable here. Uh, we'll see the range zero from Jack into Mandalorian, who's in a couple of hits, and looks like we're gonna end up taking two damage. But we do end up. We end, was that spend the force? No, no, get one back. Cover the force because you took a damage from the attack. Got it. Um, the child doesn't recur naturally, only when you take damage. But yes, so two, two shields. shields gone. Uh, looks like a another damage here onto. Must have been Cad Bane. I don't know, whatever, whatever ship I'm not this sure. is. Uh, I thought that was boost shooting. Oh, it was a rear arc attack from Jag into Cad Bane. So that was one damage onto Cad Bane. I for instantly forgot about the, the rear arc attacks. Uh, that's half points, three to three. Yep. That veteran tail gunner. It catches me off guard most of the time. <laughs> Uh, Boost was looking for that predator. He's like, come on, let me, let me reroll. Yep. Anybody? Anybody? So he's got. Looks like he's got range two or three to Fenrau here. If that's going to be the target, got two hits. That's a second netty out of that Z95. He's looking strong oh, right now. Look at that. And spends the focus. And this is why. This is this is why I saved yep. that focus. <laughs> this, this exact situation. Yep. I mean, it's one of those where it's like when you save the focus but, for defense and it and it ends up not being able to be used. Barrage rocket here. Bullseyes are going to use a second charge to reroll. Blank to blank. Hit crit and gonna take him no Beskar here because Axe is not in Fenral's attack arc or front arc rather. So we're gonna see that shield crit. crit. Not quite half. We'll find out what that crit is here in a moment. That is true. The shield upgrade does raise that threshold mm -hmm. a little bit. We'll see if James can let us know what that crit is. Disabled power regulator. No. No, that's not bueno. Uh, before he engaged, gain an ion. Now, did engage this round, but uh, that means he's only got one more dial before he's going to have to perform that ion maneuver. And while, when stressed here, he won't be able to turn around very effectively. Mm -hmm. 
Might even be caught in the scrum, not able to leave with all of these arcs around him. But I believe that is the last of the attacks here. That was both of the initiative threes. So we'll turn off the dice cam. Players, as as laser focused. <laughs> totally understandable, right? We are at the top. As long as you remember to turn them back on, because I always no. forget. I just like to leave the dice in there. I'm going to be honest. I, every time I've ever, like, oh, let me just turn it off for a minute, I go, oh, no, the dice. <laughs> it's like, well, they should be attacking. <laughs> Any moment now. Live L24, thank you so much. Honestly, everybody who is able to uh, do the Twitch subscriptions uh, yes. really does help out. We super appreciate, appreciate it. They've been coming in so fast. If you didn't catch your name, just want to let you know that we do appreciate them. We do see them. We pop them up on screen to let everybody know uh, how much we want to thank you uh, for the support. We couldn't be here without the support of the yep. community. And I hope you guys, I, I guess I do want to put it out there. I hope you guys understand how, the, how this works, right? Somebody, somebody. We did it. They did it. The stable power regulator? You can do it again oh, for yeah. it if you want. I mean, bone. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because it wasn't on the overlay. It wasn't on the overlay. Who's out there? Got it. What do you mean? Um, so, Jesse, you're doing great work, man. <laughs> So, uh, for instance, uh, we were notified today that we've been invited to come to the Nova Open, That's right, awesome. and, uh, and continue a relationship with them. Yeah. But that does mean that we need to buy plane tickets and, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and any equipment you need and a hotel room. Right. Uh, because while the conventions l give us access and they give us Internet, uh, right. we still got to get there. We still have right. somewhere to stay. And all of that happens because of our patrons and our Twitch subscribers uh, allowing us to have the funds to do that because literally if the money wasn't there we could not go that's <laughs> right. that's the end of that story <laughs> yeah yeah we we invest a lot of time so yeah we're able we're thankful that we don't have to invest personally as yeah. much uh monetarily into these but we, we love doing it obviously uh it's just as exciting as playing i'll be honest yep. with you, to be involved to be in the conversation uh with amg uh, especially when we got uh, special interviews as yeah, well. Uh, absolutely. That was really cool to see yesterday. Will Stick come by and uh, give us uh, some chats about the Battle of Endor mm -hmm. and uh, some of the, the thought process behind that kind of expansion. It's very fascinating to hear that uh, from the director of... Everything. Product development, I think, is what it is. I was, I was thinking about the titles. Like, I don't know the full thing, but you, we went for it. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, uh, if we important. have anybody at AMG who's watching, you could throw us, give us that full title. Yeah, uh, that'd be appreciated. Uh, but yeah, here's one we're thrilled to have on. And honestly, everybody here at, uh, who we've been able to work with for AMG, very helpful, very yeah. responsive. Uh, they've been doing an excellent job. Uh, corralling, hunt, <laughs> corralling. We, Corral we, 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 we <laughs> herding say, cats over yeah, here. We say corralling and <laughs> herding cats. Uh, it's kind of a joke that uh, it gets chaotic around mm. here sometimes with so many That's people. A lot going so on. to organize this all, make sure that it runs great, is an, a huge accomplishment that they should be very proud of. All right, quick update here from our field reporter, Jason Grimm. Table eight, uh, Alfred is at seven, Okta is at three, currently on turn four. Ooh, okay. Okay, so Alfred got uh, an early destruction. Early lead there, yeah. Objective for the round. Uh, yes. As we, go, as we go into Clock. turn four, four. there, uh, we, sh we did see half points on some of the ships here. Wolf was the one who got half pointed and had Bane. So they get the other two points on their full destruction. It is really, truly the secret objective points yeah. of this scenario being able to not you don't have to fully destroy a ship but you are rewarded for yeah. uh, doing damage which 
is very different from the other scenarios where yeah. if you've committed to something, you better chase it down and make sure it gets taken off the board. Absolutely. And to our friends, uh, to our friends at home who said, "Do you really think someone from AMG is watching?" Um, I will tell you more than more often than you think <laughs> they are they are watching. They don't always comment, they but sometimes they watching. they will they'll they'll engage in the chat. I would guess today most of their staff are actually here actively working, but they do jump around the channels. I mean, it's their world championships. So we'll, they want to make sure that Wolf everything is, is on the up and up. He's what? He's got six left. Six hole. Well, can you double check out balls? Then we got to double check all of the. So he's not half. To fix that. Okay, so let's Can let's double check, check the health odd, on everything else because that means we've, we're missing two uh, two damage somewhere. Hello. Two shields down or missing or up or. Oh, well, I guess either way. I guess either way. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So there was the extra selflesses there, keeping Wolf right. above yeah. half. Yeah, I don't think we. Do we have a secret overlay removal? Oh, no, only removed one. But yeah, I mean, forgive us. There's a lot of things going on in Horace. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a few, just, just, a, just a couple uh, just interactions a few. and all. Um, this is, uh, now that we get into the top 16, there's a lot of players who are running Crazy lists, mm -hmm. but they, they're on it. Uh, they've been battling it out for over 10 rounds already. I did think that we lost our last LCQ player who was in the running. Nathan Knight, he was yep. the last of the LCQs who had the potential, but he, he was so 17th. Oh. 17th, the, the, the first loser of mm. the top 16 I feels know, bad. I mean, the, I, I totally understand playing four games, then five, and then having to play uh, five more for a total of 14 games to get into the top cut. I can understand that fatigue starts to set in. Yeah. Uh, an easy K turn there by Jag to come back in. Abu uh, still guarding the center objective. I like that. Axe, one forward to victory. Yep, we used to naysay these torrents, but with that siege of Coruscant standard loadouts. Uh, got a little boost. Yeah, Axe and Kickback have been pretty popular. Yeah. I mean, when it comes down to it, right, when we're building lists, especially for tournaments, we're going for efficiency. And currently, with their current price and what they can do with Born for this, like, they, they're efficient. They, mm. they definitely cover their costs. All right, a little bump fest here with Wolf doing the one forward, not clearing. That also means that Fen, who is uh, going to be ionized this turn, correct? After you yes. execute a maneuver, gain an ion token. So he's get, he gets. No, no, after, after you engage. After you or engage. Oh, so he's going to be ion. He's completing the ion maneuver this turn. No, no, he, he engaged at I6, so he's got one dial right now. I then will be ionized next round. Okay, I think so my original point is correct in the sense that he gets to move one more time. Yeah, one more time. All right. <laughs> one more time, and then... I just uh, missed the details. The order I had wrong. As soon as we get another report, we will let you know, HG yeah. Wood. We've uh, reported quite a few. Keep those ears open. Oh, yeah, Grim Wolf. Uh, really, doing... really important. I see you out there, Grim Wolf. You're doing great. We appreciate you. Uh, doing the field reporting. All hands on deck here yep. um, for the top cut. Um, really do thank uh, James, Jason, obviously you, Dion, for coming Woo. in, uh, flying I in, and immediately come <laughs> to the Adapted God. <laughs> Hopefully these two events don't continuously overlap because it's going to be real, real, real difficult. But we're here today. Patrick, Patrick, I'm asking the real questions here, and I, mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, somebody had asked earlier what the hidden illicit was. Oh, yeah, that was a false transponder code. I believe it's still active right now. Yeah, so it's, it's it is face up. The trap card has been revealed. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and flipped for defensive purposes, right? Right. It's a, diff, diff, it's a way to save false transponder code, especially if you want to target lock mm. in your initial engagement, and then you right. set up it as a defensive measure afterwards. Right. Yeah, I imagine if they're going against an I-6, who they don't want the I-6 to come in and lock them. They want to move them the third round and lock the I-6, something right. like that. Either way, I think the Razor Crest is a cool design. Be able to like get a little sideboard mm -hmm. action. Uh, for X-Wing's first taste of the sideboard, being able to swap it in and out. Though, most people just take false James Brown and codes because it's technically the most expensive upgrade you can put in there. Yeah. Now, if you could put double contraband separate next, people would probably do that, uh, but it, not a lot. Jay Noob out of YouTube as the Dion walk in the front door of the plane and then walk right back out the back. Pretty much is what happened. <laughs> is uh, I, I flew in. I was in Louisville, Kentucky for a uh, orchestra teacher convention, doing my thing as a composer and a conductor. And um, once I wrapped up Friday evening, jumped on a plane, got over here, took a little nap, and got up and did some X-Wing. It's great to be here with you all. But also, hey, if your kid's in orchestra, hit me up. Have your have your directors hit me up and say, hey, I know I know a I know a composer that will probably want to work with your students. 100 percent Let's make it happen. You know a guy. This guy right here. I've won awards. <laughs> We're doing some intricate maneuvering here. I'm trying to figure out where this oddball is gonna land. Now so they're taking some time to do that. Do you have a favorite conductor or composer? Oh, man. Are they, are they two, they're obviously two different things. So, right, right. So not, not every composer is a conductor, and not every mm -hmm. conductor is a composer. Um, oh, what's her name? Her last name. I know her first name. My favorite, like, I'm going to say, like, modern conductor. Um, yeah, is pr probably is, uh, his last name is Dudamel. He's really, really, just pa really passionate. Uh, an up-and-coming conductor. Her name is, uh, man, last name starts with D. First name's Tamara. She's amazing. I got to work with her directly. She's uh, a lots of energy, really, really just kind, but also very, very knowledgeable. Um, those are my two probably favorite modern conductors, conductors I've worked with. Um, and then composer man that's a that's that's tough that's tough if i'm if i'm going kind of like the the old dead white guys i like beethoven i mean he's he's just he's just great uh, can't go wrong though with some florence price and uh get me get me a side of um francisca gonzaga out of brazil as well And living American composers, I mean, John Williams, well, I mean, of course, though, right? He's, he's, he's shaped my life. <laughs> A lot of us. Old dead white guy, yeah. I mean, that's, uh, that, that's literally how, how, how they're, they're talked about among the white, the, the um, excuse me, the professional musicians. <laughs> but anyway. All righty, we got Axe moving forward here. Yes, Tamara Doritz, yes. Hey, look at that, somebody knows. Small world. Guys are taking the lead over Duncan here from our sideline reporting. Uh, looks like uh, Jeremy is leading in table two, and Marco uh, is in the lead as well. I believe Marco was our seven three zero player. Yeah, it was. <laughs> doing doing the work. All right, now now Mando's trying to blast out of here. The five straight's not gonna fit. Or is, is the five K? Does uh? No, no. Uh, it's the five K. That because he was holding out the five. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit of a tracking jam here. Uh, <laughs> where's our Twitch things? If you're on Twitch, hit us, hit us with those GSB joust zones. As uh, this is about the 
This is about the most neutral edge jousting that we have seen in the tournament. But it is chance, so it is kind of to be expected. Joust! Yeah. It's kind of understandable. Like, you don't. You could hide in the asteroids, but if it gives you a disadvantage and an advantage to your opponent, you shouldn't have done that. Yeah. So. Plus, Jorge got to set up first with his I-3s, and then Olpera responded by throwing down his I-5s right across the board from them. We're losing some bandwidth. Looks, looks a bit choppy. Let me cut out that original, one of those Twitch streams. Do have multiple going. Better? Yeah, a little bit. We opened the best for this, right? Yeah, we did. We did. I was like, I was like, we did. We did do that, right? We did. You pull up the standings. Uh, who's Jeremy playing against? Of course, you can hit that exclamation point list. Juan Rojo, Juan Jose Garcia Roche. Okay. Okay. One hit, double blanks here. Nice Spanish. I do speak Spanish. <laughs> uh, uh, Sometimes. Dos, dos cervezas, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> One hit of leg there, and do we have the mod for that? I think we do. He's debating whether or not he wants to spend it, and does. Yeah, got the child force back. Remember, it only comes back when you take damage from an attack. Oh, I think that just fell out of a hand, it looked like. Uh, yeah. Nice roll. Uh, didn't get the lock. Didn't get the lock. Didn't get the lock. Should have. You get it. You get it even at range zero. Two hits. One squiggle. That's going to be one damage against the Mando. Yep. trying to do some work here at range one looks like we got a single focus are we gonna we're gonna burn the force i believe is what that was yep i'm gonna use the force for two here and we're gonna see wolf probably use their own focus token as oddball is still strained mm -hmm. from their previous maneuver so that's gonna end up being ah uh, that's that's what it was is that Kickback fired, triggered merciless pursuit, and then immediately removed from false transponder codes there. Got it. Uh, then oddball attacked and then got the target lock after being attacked. Somehow getting even more ways to acquire target locks yeah. for this Republic squad. All right, waiting for the next point of engagement. Here comes Dirge. Likely going range one into Wolf. That seems to be um, yeah. the target. He's checking whether he's got Bullseye. Yeah, I'm looking for that dead to rights ability to prevent focus expenditure. Oh, as well, speaking of nothing, no, nothing there. No tokens can save you there. Yep, did an amazing Talon roll to get behind these arcs. And spend it. Is that going to be end up being two hits? Yep. He's got a reroll. Yep. Wolf using that wolf pack and double oh. blanks in the Mandalorian. I uh, will get a force charge back. That's going to be half on Mando. I believe so. 
taking quite a bit of damage here. Uh, so many Republic ships. There's barely any room for the scum players and their ships to maneuver around them. It's one of the benefits of bringing so many of these medium-based ships. All right, there's another four dice attack here out the back. Wolf spending the charge to increase his rear arc's attack. That's going to end up being a shield off of Dirge. Remember that wolf charges reroll out the front, and then you recover it by getting an extra dice out the back. Kind of weird to like recover a charge for a bonus. Yeah. Normally you have to take a penalty. <laughs> yeah. But not in wolf. Wolf's very good. As that that flip flop action. That was the only way they could figure it out. How do we get how do we get them to yeah. flip this back? <laughs> and it's second edition, man. The the again the. Uh, we used to flip cards. We used to not have charges. Yeah. What are what are charges? It's like now we have to carry charges. What? Why don't you just flip the card over? <laughs> uh, but now we can do things like twice recurring, once recurring, yeah. three charges, once recurring. Very interesting things. All right, hit crit coming in from the scum. This likely from Cad Bane. Mm-hmm. I don't know what uh, what else he could do here. Oh, uh, oh, oddball was strained, so I guess that was the defensive roll, which uh, uh, Cad Bane then can spend their two charges uh, to throw the stress from the K turn over to Oddball after the attack hit. Cad Bane very rude by handing out those stress tokens. But that would be uh, two, two damage on to Oddball, the last two shields there. Mm -hmm. Had to split fire a little bit, but wanted to guarantee uh, the range one attack against the strange ship. Oh. Or guarantee his ability by attacking range one against the strange ship. Yep. All right, so we are back in the planning phase. Let's... Let's get an update on the on the health. Just make sure we have I everything. Think, I think we have one more attack. If that was Cad Bane, we, we still have some I-3s left. We do? I don't know what they're That's discussing here. a bit of, a, bit of a pause. Okay. I think they're just double-checking tokens and damage counts and things like that. But we're going to go into the initiative threes here. Looks like Axe always attacks last. Axe always attacks. <laughs> Well, this is Jack's this range is Jack. one. Two a hit, three spring. hits, and a crit. Oh, boy. Spends the force, but takes hit, hit, crit onto the Mandalorian. Will it be a direct? Wait it for is. it. It is. I think he... No. No, say it isn't so. I think he's... Say out. it isn't so. Ooh, yes. No. He gone. Mandalorian Ooh. goes down Din Djarin. The hero we wanted. Wow, uh, two crits in there. Oh, yeah, the glare. Yes, indeed. One of them was a direct, uh, and a, a very lucky two two hits, two crits, natural roll there by Jack. Uh, but this is what Jorge's list does. It, it if you roll enough red dice, some eventually you get be something good. Very good. <laughs> All right, so Grim Wolf gives us a couple of reports mm -hmm. uh, earlier. It says, I believe Table 1 just swung end of ter turn 4 to Duncan, 10 Duncan and 6 for John. Or is it 10-6, John's ahead? Just swung to Duncan, so Duncan's ahead. I got it. what he's trying to say there. Uh, it didn't look like there was... Any more damage cards from the barrage rocket from Axe? No, it could have been the range one. No, I think now we're shooting boost range one into Dirge. He's got hit, hit, crit after this focus spinature. So we're going to see a shield and a critical damage go down onto Dirge. I don't see what it is, but they're, they're down a shield and taking a damage card there. See if... James. For which one? Ah, uh, that was Dirge. Shield card. Console fire on Dirge. Already has engaged this round, so. 
Oh, we got, we have table two is done. We'll find out who the winner of that one is. That's Jorge Castaneda. Wait, no, table two, that's our table. Our they, table. They must table. have moved They must over. have moved. They must have moved over, Grimwolf. To spread out a little bit. You know how those X-Wing players like their space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at all this the, space. The, uh, <laughs> it is very funny to be like, to walk up to them and be like, do you guys want to be on stream? And they're like, yeah, I guess that would be a, a nice experience. <laughs> and then the, then the four players are like, yeah, yeah space. <laughs> Get out of here. Let us use yeah. your table for our stuff. <laughs> Uh, happened every time. We were yep. very excited. <laughs> uh, there, with 311 players, it was packed in yeah. here. But also, like being being on stream gave you that extra space too, it's right? It's like it's you, the best. It's the best table in the house. It is. We were uh, making sure that they were uh, kindly rewarded. I think the judges even uh, were handing out uh, an extra bonus ticket for playing on stream. They also understand. Oh yeah. Uh, the 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 added pressure and uh, whatnot from being on stream. Though, I would say that I'll be, I, I like to be on stream because right. I got to watch back my maneuvers for better or worse yeah. and learn from the game, learn what people were saying about the event. We did see Jag go down to damage. Wolf did get halved in the last engagement. Did yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So with with those updates from James, uh, score is currently 4-10. to 10. Jorge is in the lead. And the chance points. And then plus one for chance. Yes, yes, yes. Is he waving? Is he waving at us? <laughs> tell that I'm a, tell the para if he's waving, we'll switch over to the player cam for him. He was waving. I think he was Are you waving at this thing? Tell him, tell him we switched to the other camera so he could wait for it. You go, go tell him. Go tell him how the, the shot works. What? Tell him to, to wave to the camera. We have this nice player camera here set up for the table. It's a little low, but so we can't quite see the so that, that. You know that's a wave. There it is. There he is. There it is. All right. Got <laughs> we got there. We got there. <laughs> He got uh, his dials down. He's like, he's like, I'd like to wave at the time, camera. Time to party. Have some fun. That's, yeah. that's still what we want to see here. We know very much that it is a competitive event. Yeah. World championship on the line. It's such a huge honor yep. to be able to get to that point. Uh, but at the same time, we're playing the game with yeah. PPU spaceships. So Correct. You still got to have fun. <laughs> Ability. Yep, passed it over to Yeet. Take the, these, take the these. These tokens are for like, you. No thanks. I these are not mine. Anymore. I don't need this anymore. I'm. Good. Thank you. <laughs> I actually should be able to what 5k into that position. So maybe we'll see a a second 5k from them. Though that ability is two mm -hmm. charges, once recurring. So every other round for that Cad Bane ability. But between their linked actions, the red maneuvers. Yep. Uh, what was the other thing I was seeing? Oh, if you, because the crew slot, you could take four Lom and ionize yes. yourself. Yeah, I remember throw that. throw them an ion. Yeah, here you go, take the. Rude. <laughs> Let's just say, rude. All right, Ooh, another Alfred. update here. Table eight, Alfred 15, Octa seven, going into round six. Seems like a bit of a faster pace than yesterday. <laughs> yeah, Octa, Octa, ready, ready this round. Uh, the, I think, yeah, rounds nine and ten, we're getting to someone to the players, told the under. Yeah, it was so late yesterday. We're, yeah, we're in round five, by the way. We are into round five. That's a great point. Um, Raven, Ra Raven, 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 Finn, Rao. Not only was they only able to do a single damage when they attacked earlier, mm -hmm. uh, and now uh, is ionized, facing away from the fight, did leave, kept all six mm -hmm. points intact for the time being. But we could see, remember that R4P, we could see uh, the white hard two from Jack turn into, into a, a blue, blue. Yes. and turn in towards friend Rao for a finisher attack. All right, here we go. 
It's our player roll. We'll see who gets first player. Looks like we're good. All right, very careful. One straight tier. Doesn't look like he bumps uh -huh. into the other ships. Now that's Wolf out there. I know they don't have their models on there, but the Arcs have uh, broad shoulders, yes. if you will. Uh, so they do kind of interfere with uh, being so close to each other. No, we didn't see them come in. Uh, potentially looking here, just like Norfin. Ha we have a chance to capitalize on uh, both the Hurt Rogue classes here with mm -hmm. nowhere to go. They can only go towards uh, the, the center of the scrum here. Uh, Cham uh, Chambly wins table three as our first finished game. Juan Jose Garcia Roche falls to Jeremy Chambly. Our first top eight competitor is now confirmed. So looking at our bracket, that means that Jeremy Chambly will be facing off against the winner of Marco Tamlin versus Damien De Lotre, who we had on yesterday yes. on stream. Yep. So first, first uh, player is an American going into the top eight. Uh, we'll With see. the Empire. Uh, does he have, what was his squad again? Does he have the Jenden? Has he got a defender in there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Jenden, Rack, double Bob bombers. Okay, so seven, seven, three, three. Yep. We can find the cut list. All you got to do is press exclamation point list. And it'll pop up a link to the roll better. There you go. Thank you, Nano. And you can check them out. There was a pattern analyzer. I don't know how much it accounts for the cut. Yeah, that, uh, that I have no idea. I don't know what the delay is on this update, but it's normally pretty good. So you can check that out, find out uh, some of the faction breakdowns. We'll probably check on that later in the day to make to see if it has been uh, completely updated, and we can do some faction breakdowns <laughs> for the for the top cut and the event as a whole. We got some hand gymnastics going on right now. This is a game of operation. Oh. So as we get this turn continued, want to of course say thank you to all of our judges uh, who have done a wonderful job this weekend. And of course our event organizer, Chris Allen, for uh, doing a lot of the late wor the leg work to get all of this running running smoothly, looks like we did get a friendly bump there on Oddball. First damage card on them, and I believe that will score half points mm -hmm. there. Um, an unfortunate seven overlap. to eleven. Uh, Steelwater, I hope it's just you. Just you. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> we got a we have a big problem. <laughs> I guess we should type that because if he's <laughs> <laughs> well we'll know when somebody replies and says and like it's not muted or sot muted there <laughs> didn't know if that was an abbreviation for something super off tune muted All right, we saw a talent roll there from kickback. Everybody cutting back in here. I like the target priority mm -hmm. of all right. Didn't like the taste of uh, missing all those attacks mm -hmm. in to Fen <laughs> round earlier. Nah, like, no, yeah, I know. No, nah, let's go into the two agility ships without <laughs> the guaranteed evades. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the right call. A little bump here from our overlap from Dirge. Just going to clear the stress, take the red focus again. There we go. We'll get those beautiful models back on now that they've separated a little bit. Uh, so we actually saw Wolf turn in to try to you know, fight Fen Rao, set up that beautiful front and back attack. Ah, the Wolf special. So yes. good. So we got a focus there for Fen Rao. He is unfortunately not able to find purchase. No 
chips in his arc. Uh, okay. No focus on Wolf. Uh, no, because it did a red maneuver. Got if it. I'm not mistaken. There. A hard three to get into that position, yeah. most likely. Looks like we're moving some locks around, or at least we saw the oh, this is the lock for Oddball removed. <laughs> this is Oddball's attack, and I don't think it did any damage there after the fin focus expenditure. was an obstructed attack, so ended up rolling four dice. Uh, nothing here from kickback. Mm -hmm. Miss. So Swing we go miss. into dirge. Remember that first player token at the top of the screen. Going to tell us who is attacking and moving first. Dirge. So we saw the double tap there onto Jag. Oh, three blanks and a crit. Now this is from the Proton Can Cannon. choose whether he wants to pass the damage or not. Uh, I've always got to be at range one, if I'm not mistaken. Right, so that is a critical damage. Not sure what the crit is, though. Let's see what, uh, see what James has to say about... That's half, damage. by the way. Should be. Big attack here from Jorge. I see hit crit focus. Spending the charge for another hit. Two hits and a crit. Do we see any damage out there then? After the uh, evade? I lost it. I don't know. I'm not sure. That's okay. This is a rear arc attack, natural three, so we're going to see two damage, most likely into Cad Bane, which will put him down to one health there. Yeah, Cad down of... to one. Uh, man, the Fenral was able to avoid taking any damage with, due to Concordia. Concordia and focus, four dice. It turns out pretty good yep. for, <laughs> for defending even the uh, hardest of hitting ships. Ooh, 73 minutes here, and we're going to call time in the round. Uh, so that means uh, that this engagement is it. 9 uh, to 11 right now, but they have to finish it up. Yeah, I, I think Cad Bane is the last attack here. We just saw Wolf, so Cad Bane has to figure out how to, how how to do get, get at points. least two to three points. Yeah, how, how do I get any points out there? Let's, let's, let's take a look here. Well, I just heard Wolf and Jag were halved yeah. from that. We didn't see... Does he have the corner of Oddball? That's that's his. Mm. If he has a corner of Oddball, that's I think the easiest place to get half. Uh, other than oh, oh, and he's saying oh, also my ships need three damage. My torrents. We're gonna see hit, hit, crit going here with that synced laser cannon. Uh, who's uh, that? Who's that going into though? I assume one of the arcs. They're looking for a deep double was not a double damage. So the arc will live on one health. And it was a panicked pilot. So yes, Jag's gonna live on one health, not destroyed from Old Para's last attack of the game. We'll finish out the round here. Jorge uh, gonna show some domination. Uh, with one more damage onto Cad Bane. I think that's going to take him out after the focus spent. Yeah, he's like, oh, let's take all three. And, and then there's, we have a, the there's handshake. a handshake. Uh, Jorge Castaneda wins the top 16, moves on uh, to the top eight. Three more rounds for uh, them to get in to uh, that coveted world champion. The top eight. Uh, yes. Yeah, we are. I don't know how I was going <laughs> with that. <laughs> it's all right. World Championship top eight. That's what it is, right? Awesome. Uh, great job, to Old Para. He's had an amazing weekend. We're going to try to see if we can take a look at those ships here before we go. Go for um, it. I'll uh, do the giveaway while, while okay, you're doing it. Okay, I'll that. let you know when that's ready. All righty. Everybody at home? How's it going? So we're going to be doing some giveaways. Um,
um, but uh, or a giveaway. And I want you to understand what the giveaway is. All right. So yesterday, AMG came by, and we packed all the stuff up. We actually don't have it out here, but we we were given a bunch of dice and cards. Um, so what you're going to be getting, whoever the winner is, is a total of four dice. So a green clear dice with the green sparkles a, a clear uh, dice with the red sparkles in it the chili pepper the one that people are talking about and also a pair of the red and green world's 2024 exclusive um, legacy marble dice is what we're calling them so you'll get those four dice then you will also receive the, the Sunterfell participation card, as well as one random other upgrade card uh, alt art that we were given. Now, if you're here in person, or you have someone who can pick it up, you don't have to worry about paying for shipping. We will dig the stuff out of our bag, and we will give it to you. All righty. Uh, will, are you, are you finding the stuff? Uh, do you know where the, the stuff is? Yes, yes, I do have the stuff. So Will's going to get the stuff. Um, so we'll be able to, to show some of it off to you guys here in a second. In the giveaway box. Thank you. In the giveaway box, as it should be. All right, here we go. So our winner will be receiving these four dice right here. Okay, maybe not these specific four, but this set right here, the legacies and the sparkles. You'll be receiving one random alt art card. All right, there's a, there's a bunch of them and the Sunterfell participation. Now, here are the terms and conditions for that so it's very clear, all right? So if you are in, in anywhere in the world, uh, if you have somebody here who can pick it up, we will literally just hand it to them and it will be great. It will be done. You don't have to worry about any of this, what I'm about to say. Now, if you need it shipped, there are different levels depending on what, where you live. Um, and just the cost of shipping is very expensive. Uh, it takes time, it takes money, uh, resources to do that. So we want to make sure everybody, that's all on the up and up and it's very clear. If you want to pass on the prize, you can say pass. Um, um, so for the US, it's $14. For the, um, if you are in Europe, let me just pull, let me just pull up the form here. I want to make sure, I want to make sure I say this right. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to mess this up. People get upset cause I say it wrong. All right. So, and it's on the form. Uh, yeah. USA, $14. Canada, South America, Europe, $35. Australia or Asia, $45. But here's the thing. That's the cost of me shipping a box that goes up to, depending on where you are, anywhere from a pound to about two pounds. So if I end up shipping it, I'm just going to take a bunch of X-Wing swag and just start filling the box until I get to that weight limit. That's the plan for these, okay? So that's the, the kind of the, the, if you have to have it shipped, you're not just going to get that stuff. You're going to get some other stuff. What is it going to be? I don't know. I have a bunch of stuff. Uh, I have other type of dice. I have a past world's dice, other alt art, GSP swag, all kinds of stuff. I'm just going to start filling it until I reach the weight limit. That's my plan. Okay. Uh, then the other things is I will be shipping this once and only once. Um, we will not be doing reships. If you give me the wrong address, um, I won't be doing reship. If it gets lost, I'm not going to be doing a reship. If, uh, if you get charged taxes or something like that, you're responsible for all that. So basically... Our job is GSP. We want to try to make this as friction free for us as possible. Just because shipping takes a lot of time and effort. We will be packing it once. We will be shipping it once. And that is the last we will do with it. If it comes back to us, it will be put in the giant sad pile of returns that we have, unfortunately. And that's why we don't, it's been too much to, to have to deal with. But anyway, now that that's out of the way, if you want to pass when you win, simply say pass. If you want to claim it, exclamation point win if you have somebody here who can pick it up in person and take it to you wherever you are please do it that's the easiest way for everybody so let's just do that all right here we go if you want to be, join the um the giveaway what word did we use last time uh, that was low that was for the local one did you want to use the oh oh you know what yeah, yeah. actually we'll, we'll, we could still use a word okay yeah sure how about uh, we use the word join, okay? If you're on Twitch and you type the word join, G-O-I-N. J. J. I join. 
<laughs> J-O-I-N. I typed it right. Okay. Yeah, you did type it if right. If you type the, the word J- the same sound. Oh, my God, terrible. <laughs> All right. J-O-I-N. Um, you will be in the giveaway. You only got to type it one time. All right. So we'll go ahead. We'll give you guys a couple of minutes. Uh, that was a fun game, man. It's too bad that Fenral, Fenral got locked down early. I think that is locked what, down. <laughs> that guy rolled some hot greens. I mean, got a, a sense of the ions. Like yeah. it made it so that oh, he, after that first pass, yeah. he wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't relevant, unfortunately. Yeah. With, with drawing that disabled power regular is not a. I mean, it didn't really bother him that much because he, yeah. like, he would have done like a talent or something, yeah. and then bit, like he. Unfortunately, it just wasn't quite enough. And doing the math with the players of yeah. what do I need to do to get back into this yeah. is he needed to completely destroy a ship, which means he needed a direct hit Oof. on that You're last digging. attack, and he did not. All right. You ready to find our winner? I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. The winner is Ginger. Or Ginga. Ginga 4L. Ginga 4L. Ginga 4L. Depending on what it is. We need that exclamation point win. Win. And then if you W-I-N. could. W I N. Mm hmm. And then if you could uh, let us know just in the chat if you, you're going to do pickup or. Lo local pickup? Local or pickup or fill out the form. What are you going to do? What will you choose? Who should we have next? Who should we have on next? Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Who, who, who do you guys want on? What do you want to see? There's the exclamation point win. Are we, we got local the win. or are we going to be doing ship. the shipping? What are you going to do? Crate? Is it, we did uh, talk about the crate. What? The crate of goodies. The crate of goodies. Oh, oh the, the extra the shipping? The extra stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did talk yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We have more stuff to give away. We have one of those of these World 2024 packs to give away after each round. I see a lot of Dunkins in there. Talking about Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Dunkin' Idaho. Or let's, Dunkin' Howard. Let's take a look at this bracket here. Uh, uh, round one. Go back to over. Up, up, to bracket. Up, 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 up. Oh, boy. It looks like all of the games are in. Republic, Republic, Republic. Wait, Duncan got knocked out by Jonathan, Jonathan Grasser. Grasser. So we got... Oh, no. The top seed. The, the underdog the, the, top seed ooh. knocked out by the 16th seed. So we don't want this game because it's no. Jorge, Jorge again. Okay. So... That, probably this, that one. Probably this one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's me, Will. Jeremy Chambly and Marco Tamlin. This one. Yeah. No. How's it going? All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to take a little bit of a break. Did Tim King win? No. He did not make it into the yeah. top eight. A lot of up. Did we get every upset? No, Marco won his. Say, And then Jeremy won his. And then Jorge won. No, Jorge was a pair down. Or eight. Eight, 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 eight nine. Nine. Yeah. So we did get a couple of upsets. Three and 14. Yep. 14 over three. Octa did get knocked out. Crazy. All right, we're going to take a quick break here uh, so that uh, we can get everything ready here. But uh, we'll be back with your top eight of the World Championships of X-Wing here from Adepticon. No, I was saying Duncan got knocked out by the underdog. That's true. We'll be back.
Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast. And we're coming to you live from the top eight of the World Championships of X-Wing here at Adepticon. I just feel like that's kind of like the voice that they would want for a commercial, right? Like, that seems that seems appropriate, doesn't it? Uh, I love it. I love it. Because, it, like, all the art for Adepticon is, like, so, like, hardcore. Oh, yeah. Right? Heavy metal. Yeah. So, and that's my opinion. Anyway, I'm I'm joined by <laughs> my name's got William. Him. I got him. <laughs> my name's William Hackwood. I am also an Adepticon in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All righty, folks. Well, we have here, we have our top eight match. Marco Tamalin, X-Wing Extraordinaire versus Jeremy Chambly. Also another X-Wing Extraordinaire. Two players that have been around the block a few times. These are great players. Um, and uh, I'm just looking, really looking forward to this matchup. We have uh, one another instance of the Republic, a different flavor of the Republic. Here, this one only has two ARC 170s versus Jeremy's Imperial List, which we're going to break down here in a moment. But before we do that, everyone at home, you know what time it is. Tell them, Will. It's time to choose your champion. Hit that bet one all if you're looking for the finish Marco or bet two all uh, for the American Jeremy Chambly. He's from Texas. So really get your y'alls out. Uh, for old Jeremy Chambly. Uh, before we break down the list, do you want to talk a little bit about Scramble the Transmissions? This is the scenario with three objectives and the claim action. During the perform action step, if you are range zero to one of an objective, you can go ahead and claim it as your teams. At the end of round two, we'll be counting up the number of claimed objectives and mm -hmm. you get a point for each one. Uh, this is a tricky situation because you do need to constantly be able to reclaim an objective yep. that your opponent claimed. You cannot let them just claim an objective and, and just let them it. have it for the entire game. They're going to score four or five points from it so easily. Yep. So really got to be pressing those buttons. That's what people love to say. Flip the, flip flip the, the switches, switches, press the buttons, and we, uh, we expect to see uh, after the initial class to, clash of attacks, ships break apart and start to find those claim actions. Yeah, this is one of those scenarios where the scenario point escalation can oh, really yes. catch you off guard if you give your opponent multiple three zero turns like oh right yes. like you've we've seen Not it before let them have all three like we've seen these games before where an opponent ends up getting all three and is behind in the ship count but ends oh. up winning the game because the the other side was just too focused on ships versus right. uh kind of balancing that out with scenario decisions so just gotta watch out for that yeah especially with uh the uh cheaper ships on the board we're talking z95s and the yeah. bombers they're only worth two or three points so that's all just a single round of objectives so you got to be on the lookout for that again it takes your perform action steps so it won't really have much to modify your dice unless you're getting free stuff like jeremy chambly's colonel jenden who's our brand new colonel jenden i forget where i put that uh, card. We can pull it out here, Dion, so you can look at it. I think this is the first time you I, see I have Jenden. not seen Jenden in action. This is one of these uh, new Battle Over Endor cards. Uh, yes, indeed. I think I have it right here so we can reference it. But basically, Jenden uh, is an I-6 tie defender. Now, normally they get full throttle, but these, they get a ability called Chiss Engineering, where you get a free target lock and can spend shields to apply range one bonuses. Well, let's go ahead and let's just let's break down his list yeah. first, yeah? Yeah, that's what... So, Colonel Jenden here says, while you defend, if you are not shielded, you may change one of your blank results to a focus result. So, thus, increasing some of that offensive potential Defense. as a talent slot. We got no escape while you perform a primary attack. If there are more friendly ships, then 
other enemy ships at range zero to one of the defender, you may roll one, re-roll one of your bank results. So if you're if you're swarming them, basically, yeah. it's that that it, idea, it, right? It does work uh, one on one if you're the only uh, enemy. What? Yeah. It's back. Push the limit. Push the limit. What? Yes. After you fully execute a, re a red maneuver or perform a red action, if you are not strained, you may gain one strain to remove. Oh, it's different now, though. Yes, yes. Okay. To, I, I was like, no. What? They didn't do it. What? Don't mad lads. All right. Uh, if you are not strained, you may gain one strain to remove one stress token. But it is, there is, uh, there, it's, okay, I see it works a little bit different. You got yeah, some. We can, take, we can take a look at the dial quick here to see those red maneuvers are hard twos and one hards plus the 2k uh, plus the only look at the only red action on their action bar that's the barrel roll dual barrel roll evade into red barrel roll which yeah. you can then strain yourself for as well Ooh. so arc dodge and potentially make the strain not matter. Then, of course, you're, you're potentially locked into a, a blue maneuver to get rid of the strain, but that's still, that's that's pretty awesome. And, could, of course, also proton cannon and computer-assisted handling. Yeah, I'm going to keep this right in front of me because sure. I'm definitely yeah. going to forget. I'm going to forget main, some of that stuff. The main things we're looking at is that Jenden can use that proton cannon and the chist engineering to fire off a five dice range three attack mm -hmm. with the free target lock he got and then his perform action being focused so being able to easily double modify a five dice attack it will cost him a shield but if you are uh, well positioned you know potentially could not matter mm -hmm. or begin late in the game you know, start using those shields as a resource uh, to try to come back uh, to fire. But look at that. Look at this. Look at this proton cannon line. Is yeah, there's, there's ready to go. Yes. Uh, so let's take a look at the next ship here. Rear Admiral Chernow. Uh, they can. Where's the beef? <laughs> they can modify an eyeball if they're reinforcing uh, the same side as the defender is at. This one uh, has, of course, the Dauntless. If you overlap a ship, including friendlies, you can go ahead and take an action, which, of course, these decimators with zero agility, they love that reinforce mm -hmm. action to mi mitigate a lot of damage. We have electronic baffle to keep that dial uh, really wide open. Agile gunner, a rotate at the end of the round. And then we get into the brutal upgrades here. Death Troopers and Darth Vader crew. Darth Vader crew. Oh, uh, well, quick pause. We just saw Death Fire. We'll get to here in a oh. second. Chuck a proton bomb into the mix, but continue. Love that. We'll talk more about that and how, how and when he can do that in just a second. But Death Troopers and Darth Vader. So Darth Vader, at the start of engagement, he calls out a ship, spends his forest charge, and that ship either must take a damage or remove a green token. Uh, turns out if you don't have a green token, you only got one option yep. of those two. And to prevent people from getting green tokens, uh, Death Troopers denies stress removal. So your blue maneuvers don't mean anything because you still stay stressed if you ended your maneuver or where, however you clear stress at range one of Rear Admiral. So ships that do like linking actions, I'm mm -hmm. um, very, very terrified of this. Fortunately, the Republic does have some reprieve of that. Yep. Not, not normally known for their linked actions and stressing themselves. What, what, where they might get messed up is on the K-turns. Exactly. That's, that's where things go. Or red bumps. Or red bumps, yes. Uh, so yeah, definitely a uh, terrifying combination. That automatic damage is so, so powerful. Uh, then we, oh, so Deathfire. Deathfire in the bomber can spend two of their once recurring charges to launch a bomb with a three forward template. They do have to, uh, after this round, how about we say? Uh, so if they execute a three to five speed maneuver, they can launch or drop a bomb with the three straight template. If they do drop it though, they can use Nimble Bomber to bank it with a three bank. Yep. So occasionally we'll see either, like we saw here, a four forward, uh, then three forward launch to hit uh, what looks like potentially two of these Z95s. Or the tricks you play is a 5K and then you three bank drop it behind you for an extra long launch there. 
Uh, Deathfire also has Swift Approach. If he drops a bomb normally in the system phase, he can actually do a reposition boost or barrel roll even while stressed. Uh, the bombs he launches are Connor, or excuse me, the bombs he launches are proton bombs, but also has a Connor net. Mm -hmm. uh, automatic damage mine that also applies on the ion tokens. And the ion's a very powerful debuff effect, maybe too powerful. We'll see what Ryan <laughs> has to say about him after yeah. this weekend. Maybe too powerful. Uh, as Tomex Bren, our I 5 uh, triple action bomber out there, he can barrel roll, get a focus token, and link into a target lock for a triple action combo play there for his plasma torpedoes. He also has ion bombs equipped, so it can be a big debuff uh, zone if you get caught behind these bombers. And here we see it here, going to use his perform action to barrel roll. He's able to spend both of his charges, uh, again, two charges, once recurring, to get a focus token, and then he's going to link it into a target lock. Very, very cool. Basically what Vader can do at half the price. Yep. Exactly. So let's go ahead and check out the other squad here. We have Marco Tamlin with the Republic, and let's get through this quickly because I think we're about to get into the scrum. We got some some repeat pilots here from the last round. We have Oddball, who's known for getting setting up those target locks, but most importantly, I think defensively setting up that selfless. Ooh, Say, hey, selfless. I'll take that. I'll help you mitigate some damage. Now, sometimes <laughs> does that cause people to add a little extra heat onto yeah. Oddball? Yes, but that also is going to come with the cost of a bunch of other ships shooting at you so <laughs> we'll see what happens there wolf um this is the customized customizable wolf we got r4p veteran tail gunner and expert mm -hmm. handling on it mm -hmm. with the uh front arc and back arc having different abilities depending on the position of the charge we could end up with re-rolls or an additional dice off the back we'll see how it ends up shaping up we also have mace windu in that jedi starfighter is that Delta 7B uh, with R4 P17? After you fully execute a red maneuver, you may spend a charge to perform an action, even while stressed, and heightened perception to get them up to initiative seven. We got Slider, one of those Republic Z95s um, that allows you to do side slips um, by spending charges. And we have Boost, who we saw last turn, that gives you a boost during the engagement phase. Turns out that's pretty good. Pretty good. And last but not least, we have Broadside, uh, that allows you to add, or excuse me, change a blank result to a focus result while shooting out of the side arc, usually with a turret. This right. is how that works with the Y-Wing, uh, making it a very consistent shooter with those three dice of the Ion Cannon turret. All right, we saw that bomb hit Wolf and slider there so a mm -hmm. shield off of both for the the proton bomb it looked like boost got out of it was just out of range and then performed his boost thing so if you can hit, hit him with that shield reduction if you haven't already wolf and slider now so we're gonna we're gonna need to go into this is turn two of this game yep and we have our first attack here Looks like we got three hits. And that's going to end up being a total of two damage off of... Uh, this was Jenden into Wolf. Chose not to do the range one bonus because is going to be defending against three, maybe four ships this round. So, you know, hold on to their shields for a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. I assume this is Rack then, his first player. Going to spend... Their target lock? No, that was, uh, this is Tomax with the plasma torpedo. Hit crit, Iron that's going to hit for one, but it's a plasma. plasma. Who's that against? Uh, the same target. That would be Wolf. Wolf, so shields were already down. One. No, that was the, that was the third shield. He, he got two. He, he got two evades. It was two evades? Yeah, so let me see it up here. Three shields down after the last attack. This is Rack. And we'll see if we apply any more crits. One face down, one face up. Marco being so kind to put disabled power regulator into our uh, dice box here. Where am I looking at? Thank you. 
Let's and that was on who? Uh, this is all going into Wolf. So an excellent focus fire here from Jeremy, Ch Jeremy Chambly identifying. Well, that, that Wolf target. can really pack a punch both out the front and the back arc with that ability. Yes. So it's a good option to get rid of. Yeah, we didn't see an on-ball selfless trigger there. Maybe they're not at range one. We could have could have pulled that crit off potentially if they were at range one. That's true. I ball kind of in an on, odd position in, <laughs> in front of that. Very what, well, a, what an odd ball. In front of that well-worn obstacle right in front of them. So we're gonna, we're gonna take our GSP picture after this game. All right, so I wanna make sure that everybody knows. Just gonna tag everybody. <laughs> we'll double check. Chat saying might have been firing into the Z. We'll have someone double check that for us. Oh, that was two damage into Slider. Excuse me, Slider down to one. Down to one hole? Down to one hole, yes. All right, looks like we are measuring here from Oddball. Um, whether the attack is obstructed or not, we're gonna see two hits from them and two evades uh, taken care of there without problems. I'll right, move on to Mace. Here we go. Ooh, no problem with the force there. Fire, hit, hit, crit. And uh, running a little low on evades, but still got one. No, I got two there after the focus expenditure, so Jendon's down a shield. I meant, like, take one. Take one, yeah. yes. Jendon's taking one. Blink. One hit, nothing one there. Sound. That's another shield off of Jendon. Yeah, that should have been Slider for shooting on the initiative for us here. Let's see what Wolf has to say. Has a reroll and a focus. Boom, pops Ooh. up. Hot crit. fire. This is why Jenden just elected not to spin the shield, because he's going to be needing them for defense here. That's hit crit going through. Shields yeah. are down. Shields down. Well, so much for that chest engineering. We did get uh, what we don't normally see Jenden's actual pilot build. What does it say again? So, yeah, while you defend, if you are not shielded, which is not anymore, you can change one of your blanks to a focuses. Well, he's out of focus mods, unfortunately. So, I don't see what... You take any damage on that one? I didn't see I was busy what, reading. Um, I didn't see any evades. But I think the the attack dice didn't have any hits on them either. Okay. A hit here from Bronzine. And looks like an easy evade there. Move on to Deathfire, the initiative two. Gonna fire off into that one health slider. Two on two here. Uh, though, slider doesn't have the focus token. Oh, double double blanks. blanks. Well, it is double oh, 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 Don't oh, waste them. Oh, oh. You wasted them. Oh. <laughs> the rule said I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> so we're gonna collect some points here. It looks like Chambly is using the blue side of our GSP token and Marco is using the yellow. So two points to Marco and one point for Jeremy. We'll have James double check our damage count for us. Yep. Jenin is on one after that Z95 Ooh. attack. Okay. Pop, pop. Slider on one. Slider's on one. Wolf is way more dead. Wolf is way more dead. No, you should have one more because I see two cards up there. So from six to four, to four. He'll come back and say it was four and say this will be head. Thank you. Four? Yeah. Four? four? That's what we had the whole time. Yeah. Four? Yeah, what do you mean? Oh, okay. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moose did take a damage. 
from the bomb. Boost was in the bomb. I knew it was, in the, was, it was in the radius. Yeah, All right. I knew it was pretty close. So, Oops. thank you so much. There's a lot going on in this round. Mm -hmm. So, I really do appreciate it. We see that single ion token go down for disabled power re regulator. But medium bases, <laughs> medium bases do need two ions. So, he'll have one more dial, one more attack yeah. before he's fully ionized. Uh, which. James just said, candidly, won't matter because there's going to be a lot of ships wanting to take Wolf off of the board. Great target selection here from Jeremy uh, to identify uh, the, the susceptible Z95s and uh, Wolf was going towards the middle of the board. We'll see what... Uh, changes we have. As a note, we do mm -hmm. see True Grit out there, Tomex's ability to change that stress into a strain. So when he does that triple oh, action, okay. it's actually triple action for a strain. Oh, okay. Uh, I so liked you, it. So you can now, see like one bank afterwards and still perform actions. A uh, good point here in the chat with uh, Mace Windu having that heightened perception. Good chance that we see that Ooh, trigger yes. to prevent uh, Jendon from ever firing, getting that initiative kill. Yeah, so we'll see. see. I I'm really curious to see what Jeremy ends up doing with Jendon. Uh, I'm not sure. It is Does he end up turning towards mace but then you're out of the fight anyway but then you're also protecting seven points i don't know yeah. that's uh we'll see that's I mean, a tough one i feel like three bank boost and maybe try to avoid just all arcs for a turn mm -hmm. so maybe a 4k and come back around to turn or two later when yeah now they have started to engage the bombers and rack so you might have to yeah take a turn away uh, we expect them to always do those three-speed maneuvers, but it's not, if you don't need the lock because of your, say, natural re-rolls or uh, something like that, you can mm -hmm. just uh, utilize uh, the, the slower maneuvers. We were talking about push the limit, where we could see like a hard one, shed the stress, and maybe do a boost afterwards yep. to really get tricksy, really unpredictable, uh, these battle over indoor defenders and marco marco saw it it was like oh that ship's new don't like it yeah, no, no. you hmm. i don't know if you've <laughs> if ever if it's a new one it got placed on the table it's probably good <laughs> yeah i don't know if you've ever bought an x-wing expansion and try to show off show it off to your friends in a friendly match and that's, the like, very, that's the first thing that yeah, dies i don't know what that is but i'm getting out of here <laughs> we'll deal with the other ships later but that new thing don't like it uh yeah marco has some uh, so, I mean, Jenjin's still worth seven points, so big get there. Yep. Uh, the bombers are literally there to waste your time. Yep. Right? <laughs> Look at me. Pick me. Same thing with Rear Admiral. He's literally there to waste your time uh, attacking him in this scenario. There's no half points, so 15 damage onto Rear Admiral yep. doesn't mean anything. Uh, yeah, we'll see if... The Z95s can maybe get into a blocking position. The Mace opens up with that heightened perception attack. It is one, the one bad thing about this Mace window is that mm -hmm. middle initiative I4. Not, not great, yep. not terrible, but it is helpful to uh, actually be able to move first to know that you're moving before like the you other can get aces. to a safe spot, right? Exactly. Or specifically, do a big 5K behind a ship that yes. hasn't. Uh, won't have the chance to move out of the way first. As they're getting ready to start their activation, do want to give a shout out to Adepticon for their support of our stream here, inviting us as one of the streamers for the World Championships of X Wing. Well, the streamer for the World Championships of X Wing, but one of the many streamers here featuring Atomic Mass Games World Championship play. Uh, by the way, if you go to Adepticon's website, you can see all the other streams that are doing great work. We have uh, our friends at Ion Radio. We have the Professional Casuals and, uh, and a couple more. So just go ahead, check it out at Adepticon. Dot com. Also, shout out to Atomic Mass Games for their uh, stream prize support and also just putting on a great event and getting the right people in the right spots to put on a successful event. Yeah, honestly, it's been really fantastic. Uh, everybody working extremely hard 
uh, to get uh, these games done effectively. We are now getting into that Sunday uh, limited time. Uh, so we thank our players for getting set up and ready. We do want to give them a small break. Yep. I'm not sure if it will be after this round. I assume it's after this round. We can take a look uh, by... Ooh, we got the schedule, huh? What is it? Exclamation point what? Schedule. It's not going to show up in there, but it'll show up in the other one. Yeah. Exclamation point schedule. Yep. On the Twitch chat, we'll open up a link. Where's our pop-out? There it is. Yep. Set it up here. You can... So uh, take a look at the schedule for today. It is after this. Okay. Are we on schedule? It's 10.55. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right on schedule. We're right on schedule. All My right. wife was asking for this schedule. I was like, I don't know what the okay. schedule is. Uh, these players... Uh, I was like, Chamberlain grew of red beer, <laughs> but those are judges in extremely close situations like this. Yeah, ju uh, just call the judge. Yes. Right. Uh, I know for, for I know for some players, they feel like it's a contentious thing to call a judge. Right. No. You're like there a to help. or something. Yeah. You know I mean, you might, your opponent might be mad at you for yeah. calling the judge. No, judges are your best friend. Yeah, and if your judge, if your if your opponent is mad at you for calling a judge, they're probably doing something they're not supposed to be. <laughs> yes. Just being honest. <laughs> yeah. Just being honest. That's a good point. The judge should also be your opponent's best friend as well. Yeah. Ooh, look at this slide. Always a favorite. Slide maneuver. to the left. Yep. You do it every other turn. Uh, these Z95s do have a boost available to them after they do a blue maneuver. Not like a free boost, but they're allowed to boost on their action bar. Uh, not really any room for that to happen here, so Slider is going to throw down that focus. Interesting that the Zs got behind Jenden, allowing them, uh, allowing Jenden to potentially escape here. We'll see what oddball or uh, what is that? That's Wolf and Mace have to mm -hmm. say about it. Uh, we saw a. How did they get a stress and a focus? I don't even know how that's possible on Deathfire. Chad, help me out. How did he get a stress and a focus? That's not how their linked action works. Did he? Was it? A, does, it does it have focus roll? No. Oh, he might have bumped into a Z95. That's about, yeah, he yeah. bumped. I was like, that's not, his, that's not his action bar. But that makes a lot more sense. Thank you, chap. Really do appreciate you having, having you here. Uh, it's such a monumental occasion. The World's Championships every year. I think we've, uh, what's our what's our run now? I think we've been streaming at least, I've, at least since 17. Um, did you go to the 16 Worlds? I did not go to 16 Worlds. I went to 17. 17? I think 17 was our first our first one. The classic uh, H's and S's overlay and the, <laughs> the dinner table uh, desk. Yeah, thing. yeah. If you go, like... It was much more difficult to get footage onto YouTube back then, just because mm -hmm. we were just experimenting so many things. But if you go way back, you could see some pretty uh, less professional-looking <laughs> uh, overlays for sure. sure. We've come a long way. Uh, it's, we, it's, we pioneered the need for it, and we people did. were like, you know what? There's a need for this kind of software, and now uh, we we have that available to us. Ooh, okay. So Wolf and Mace here anticipating the turn out from Colonel Jenden. <laughs> Oddball says, what rock? Flies right through it. It's going to take an automatic damage. And we'll see the roll if they take an additional. So first shield off of Oddball and second shield loses two shields to that rock there. We did see all of the objectives now in Marco's control. That's where Broadside moved and took 
their action to do so. Uh, ooh, look at this. Oddball is going to bear roll. That's a red bear roll. And be able to trigger his ability to get a free target lock. The most interesting thing about his ability is that he doesn't have to be the one who gets the target lock. He can hand it to a friendly at range zero to three. Kind of acting like a support ship. Yep. It's kind of, uh, I will say that's like some of my favorite ships who are like, who can go from extreme attack power yep. into full support mode. Yes. And Oddball really fills both of those roles well between it's like, what, do you, what do you need? Yeah, what do you need? <laughs> I got you. I'll, def I'll absorb your crits. I'll give you target locks. How can I help? Do you need a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Brats, I did miss the rock. Uh, yeah, I think that's what the judges had declared there. We didn't see any dice rolled for his ability. Uh, he cannot actually use Dauntless for the objective. Remember, the objectives do need to be your perform action mm -hmm. step, and Dauntless is an, an action outside of your perform action step. Uh, so great uh, being able to block it. Now, Rack just one banks. Easy. Yeah, won't bump into broadside there. Tomax can move out of the way first. They're both initiative fives. <laughs> and now Oddball, yeah, Oddball is blocking the turn in towards the center of the board. Oh, and yes, that's a good point. Uh, my south side, that uh, we had to not forget the counter net. Oh, but I think, I think, uh, I think Sharon was going to get through here. Yeah, strangely activated turn out first. I wonder what maneuver Tomax has then. It might out. be it might be an issue of leaving Chernu unstressed mm -hmm. rather than using Dauntless may be beneficial. Oh, uh, sure, sure. But also you could end up with some I mean, if you want the range one into broadside, you may sacrifice the mm -hmm. the the friendly bump. True. I want to see what Jenden's doing. That's like, I've been sitting here going like, where is this ship going to go? Because he he has arcs pointed in every which way direction. That's not an exaggeration. It's literally north, south, east, and west. <laughs> he's got them all. He's got them everywhere. That's fair. Uh, Dark in our chat, uh, reminding us about the electronic baffle. Really does help keep their dial clear if we look at the dial doesn't really have too many stress clearing oops that's his cards doesn't have too many stress clearing maneuvers but it has a lot of white maneuvers so when you mm -hmm. clear that stress really opens up uh, the especially the three speed maneuvers into an action looks like rack took a target lock on the wolf i like that yep gonna go ahead Get and that wolf out of here we're going to mark this one out of the way. All right, so I think we're just clearing a path for Tomax right now. All right, we got an update from Jason at the tables. Remember, we are in the top eight, a total of four tables. Mm -hmm. um, table one currently on turn four already. Jorge ahead five to four versus John. All right, so it looks like uh, Jeremy Lee chose to activate Rear Admiral first because he wanted them to move up to be able to fire off a double modified attack. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to block Tomex. I think Tomax could have just moved up and then barrel rolled out of the way first. So I'm not sure if that was a well, misplay it was a, or... It was a hard turn. I guess you're right, maybe. Maybe it was a misplay. It depends on what he wants to shoot. I guess Broadside doesn't have any damage on him yet. Right. Either way, but he wanted to make sure Rack got in there to, to fire off that attack. Rack attack. <laughs> Rack attack!
Got to love the, the ship gymnastics. Yeah, you want to be precise. Mark off ships. Make sure you're using your templates as guides. Well, he's definitely better than the uh, the one-handed uh, template tossing <laughs> that we have seen every once in a while when we have someone new on the stream. It's maybe Being a little excited. too a little too casual. Yeah, a little, <laughs> little too casual, a little too excited to move their ship. <laughs> so the, uh, the future of X-wing is the players road road. road yeah. And then the judges play. <laughs> yeah. I would love it. I would love to see it. I'll do the planning phase so you guys figure everything else out. <laughs> so, yeah, they're getting judges' help. I mean, I, I understand. We're getting into the point of the, the world championships where every move matters. You don't want to cause drama mm -hmm. among the players, mm -hmm. right? Like, you don't, the players don't want to wrong each other. <laughs> All right. <laughs> take, got, a, take your snapshots now. We got uh, substitutions coming in here. <laughs> drinking water. That's a shot right there. That was a shot with, with drinking the water. That's it. Hey, great to see you, bud. Good seeing you. <laughs> we will. <laughs> yeah, we see. Cool. Uh, yeah, this is <laughs> we Kay choose judges play. This is this is Kaylin and uh, Chris, right? I forget Chris's last name. Yeah, Mitchell. Mitchell, yes, I believe. of course. Uh, is that Triple H out there? A rare sight. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't see it. He just doesn't see it. Uh, that's fair. Uh, we do see quite the crowd gathering around the tables. Uh, the judges smartly. Uh, blocked off the area so they're not hovering. Yeah, there's some too tape close. on the floor. So they stay over there. Either yeah. either watch the match you know, through the uh, the TV we provided in the viewing area for everyone, which is nice space. Good chairs out there. Hi everybody. Any any of you who have an earpiece in over there? I see a couple of you. Hi. It's good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're waiting for the judges to move move these ships because is, these angles matter. It's very important for Jen Den, who they bumped, how they bumped, what angle did they bump at. Yep. I mean, it's, it's a seven health ship on, or a seven point ship on one health, yep. uh, which could be a very, very early lead yep. uh, if that ship. Uh, and if he gets away? Oh, if he gets Ooh. away, exactly, right? Equally as important. So uh, I think personally, this makes a lot of sense uh, to just make sure the judges do it impartially right mm -hmm. they have no stake in the game yeah. so they're they're going they get to paid either way <laughs> exactly <laughs> so they just want to make sure that it's appropriate and all the judges have been doing an amazing job answering questions and so what was the friendly or not overlaps wolf only, wolf only. Overlap only but actually collides into and gets pushed back through the template to death fire so it's actually going to be a range one uh, into into Wolf. And then high in perception high in is perception. on. Yes, exactly. We've been, we've been thinking well, about he's it. He's well, potentially he on, if he remembers it. Oh, All right. I mean, I mean, I mean you I brought mean, it. I mean, you brought it, you never know. I mean, we're, we're assuming. We're assuming a lot. Here's Mace moving. Oh, oh he's, already he's, he's, he's already registered. He's already registered. <laughs> he's ready. Is it range one, too? Yeah, I don't think he spent uh, that force. I think that first force charge is the for the heightened perception. Yep. I didn't think he did the fine tune controls or anything last or this round in his maneuver. Here step. we go. Time for the defender to clinch. Range one. I assume with the target lock, that must have been his action. Oh, oh the there's, there's a, that's a lot of nothing. Oh, He's gonna pick up the iron that's a too. lot of nothing. If you get to four, Jenden's out. Oh, Spends yeah. a force for three. He could get out of this still. Not today. Oh, Jenden goes down. That's a seven-point swing right there. Is this really only turn three? No. This is turn four, right? No, it's turn three. Crazy. All right. A lot of things have happened on turn two. A lot two. of things happened on turn two. Yeah, they went for it. They went fast. 
Yeah, big get there for Marco. Uh, hit crits here from I mean, on the win blip. probability meter. Marco's Marco's win probability just spiked right there. Okay, especially taken out before it destroyed Wolf here. Hit it. Now, uh, this is a target locked into hit hit crit, and we're gonna see one two three double trouble. Direct, direct hit. hit. Did, did, was that Wolf? Did he just go down? I he sure so. did. I think so. With a direct hit. So it's not seven for seven, it's seven for four, but at least it makes the the gap a little bit more manageable here. Nine to five, Marco leading. I'm gonna be looking at the next attacks here. This is Tomax trying to hit into Oddball. I also thought he had a focus that oh, he could have Tomax used. Tomax doing, doing some work here. It looks like we're going to get one hit against Oddball. Hidden shield upgrade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Marco also with the three objectives here is going to get 10 points this round. That's half the game, round three. Yep. Objective so, so important. I know d d defending against shots and yeah. making sure you attack and arc dodge and all those things, obviously very important, but man, those objectives really add up. Uh, hit into an, an evade, nothing happening there. When Wolf got destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. He hasn't used selfless all game. He's down two shields. Yeah. Well, that was from the rock. Yeah, yeah two shields on. Down two, sh two shields on Abel? Yeah, from the rock, got him a second one. All right, we got another attack here. Spins the focus from Deathfire, but uh, that mace dodges out of it. Yeah, I, I, I believe. A lot of things going on. Yeah. Uh, especially lots of back and forth. When we're into game 12 yeah. uh, for the weekend for most of these players. Uh, Fadiq can set in, but that's, that's what makes the true world champion. You have to fight through the fatigue. You got to know your list inside and out, asleep and awake. Uh, and be able to I'll play it effectively. I still think Marco did a great job here because he's going to get three. Objective points, if you can add that in. Yep. As we go into round four. It was a huge 10 point That's round for him. Huge. No, no points for Jeremy Jambly. 12 to 6. No, zero, zero points for Jambly. Oh, nothing. Sorry. Yeah, you got nothing. So 12 to 5. Man. So now I know from. From my knowledge of Jeremy as a as a gamer, if there was like a zero percent probability chance mm -hmm. of him winning, he would just stop. He sees that it might be a difficult path, but there there is there is something there. He's just gotta he's gotta execute perfectly and it's gotta go all his way, which can happen. You never know. Sure, sure. Insert insert classic quote. <laughs> you uh, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Are we good on up? Tomax did end up taking in damage from the Ion Kin. All right, that makes sense. They're rolling the attack dice quick out there because they <laughs> And Broadside lost one to, uh, I don't know what he would have lost it to. What did he lose it to? What did Broadside lose the shield to? What did Broadside lose the shield to? I I so, thought Tomek shot Oddball. No, it was one of the three who died. Oh, okay. So not... Uh, so not check, broadside check. is shields down? Okay. Got it. Yeah, he shot broadside. That makes sense. He, he tried to measure into Oddball. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and let, let's do a couple of updates here. I think we've gotten some from Jason here. Table four. Um, Illy. 
Illy versus Alfred. Illy up 12 to 6. Wow. Nearly identical score what we got here. Like that height. <laughs> yeah, that, that high, that high end perception. There. Clutch. Absolutely clutch. I've been saying that like you need like an I six in your list just to hunt these I fives flying around. Yeah, an how about how about you go seven, yeah? It'd be even better. Michael Upton cheering on Illy from the Twitch chat. Yeah, I'm interested to see here. We will have the uh, death fire ability active. We could see a three forward and then a three bank drop and try to hit a bunch of these Republic ships. Of course, you could just drop the counter net right on top of Oddball. Ooh, speaking of bombs. Pom pom. So nothing from boom boom. Nothing from Deathfire. Nope. We might see that three forward and then the three bank with nimble bomb jump. Basically put the bomb just like a, a base length yep. to the right of him. Of where he started anyways. Update here from Grim Wolf table one. Uh, they're currently in their fourth round and Jorge is ahead five to four. Judge Dice Man is asking, can you launch and drop a bomb from Deathfire in the same turn? No, his no, ability no, no. specifically says if you have not. If your ability just says you're allowed to drop a device, uh, then that would be uh, potentially the second one of the yeah. round. But most abilities will say if, if you, you haven't have done, not. done this yet. Right. Here it is, three forward to clear the stress. Will he drop the bomb? Is he just gonna leave the template there? Switch out for a three bank maybe? Yeah, we see some That's charges flipped. Nimble Bomba! Yeah, so even though their ability says with the three straight template, Nimble Bomber modifies that into the three bank. And yeah, nice bomb position there. Uh, very, very similar to the position that the new B-Wings dropped their bombs on the left and right of them on the signs. Mm -hmm. uh, very similar position for bomb drops. Uh, that Deathfire could do. I do, and I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I my knee jerk reaction to this launching bombs Deathfire. <laughs> yeah. Was pretty bad. I wanted it banned. I wanted it banned. to be like five points yeah. or something like that. Uh, but now that I've had some table time with him, he is one of my favorites. He's just a plucky little bomb dropper out there. He doesn't need to fire. He just yeah. likes blocking and dropping bombs, getting <laughs> objectives. Uh, and He's the, uh, he sounds like FO bomber light. Exactly. That's exactly. kind of what it, what's going on. Uh, how the FO bombers used to like launch the chaff clouds. They would like yep. boost in the system base and launch a like, chaff cloud. It's very similar to what. Uh, Deathfire does. Uh, obviously, he's only he's a simple I2 a bomber, so his defensive profile is pretty weak. Yep. Like if you re if if your opponent really wanted to, you just point the whole list at him and melt yeah. it, right? Yeah. Yeah. They they'll find him if they want to, but most of the time, like it's not worth it to go after a thing that you might not destroy for three points. Uh huh. And who already launched his bomb? He already did his yeah, thing I'm by done. the time you got there. <laughs> so yeah, it's actually been pretty cool. I'm glad to see him here get into the top eight. Because uh, he is an exciting ship. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe we can see more from after this uh, match. People start to recognize their strengths. <laughs> Somebody said, that fire, that fire is okay, but bombardment drone goes straight to prison. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I yeah, think it's fair. different because the, the bombardment drone. The, it, they launch mines. Did though, the mines? A little, yeah. yeah. The, the it's like you, you don't have a chance to get away. The, yeah. Right? It's like they just roll up and just slap you with it. Yeah. The upchuck of the pizza. Yeah. Right on top of <laughs> uh, it's a little difficult to get away from. Special delivery. But anyway. Ooh, looks like there we're going to get. A boost here boost. at the start of combat. No, did he do it? Oh, no, sorry, that was slider. Action? That was slider. Ooh. That was a perform action step. Wow. Yeah, it does a blue maneuver. Then that versatile frame, the thing, same thing that gives them munitions. Not on the two pointers. You don't get munitions on the yeah. two pointers, but you can't boost with the two pointers still. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to trying to 
get some focus fire lanes here on the bombers now. It seems to be the uh, mm -hmm. the goal. Also, I mean, I, duh, the decimator sitting right there. It's just because it's not it's not on the <laughs> on the big. Yeah, I mean, you, you're going to be able to get at least two to three shots on the on the big one. He's debating a boost here with Mace Windu. We'll see what the action is. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed our coverage of the World Championships of X-Wing. I know uh, for me it's nice to be, be back for this special event. I was able to take some time uh, out of my schedule to be with all of you guys. And uh, it's awesome to uh to hang out looking forward to many more events here on gold squadron if you haven't followed us on twitch or subscribed on youtube feel free to do that so that you never miss any of our live action and of course if you want to support the work that we do paying for travel and hotels so that we can be at these events feel free to go to patreon.com slash gold squadron or subscribe on twitch why don't you hit it with that exclamation point patreon exclamation point patreon not exclamation point Patron, is what I know I'm <laughs> incorrectly. I, I added I added the uh, the link without the e, yeah, so, so it would still work. But then James took it away to make me spell correctly. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Okay, a lot of Republic Ooh, ships. He's just gonna make it. The judges oh. put it down as carefully as they can. Watching that mace intently. To see I it. think I don't see Oddball him just landed that. Uh, he did not touch it. Crazy. I, I don't know if it's the it's the lift from the bomb put it at a, a certain <laughs> angle or not, but uh, again, oh. an, an, a, a appropriate yes. judge call there. Absolutely, Grim Wolf, table one, put in some violence. <laughs> There's been some violence. <laughs> This is, I think, Grasser. Grasser versus Jorge. What happened? Okay. Ah, to clear the stress. Yes, R4P off of uh, Oddball. Wolf, Wolf. Uh, Wolf. Wolf is also just sorry. <laughs> His estimate is gone, but in a yeah. different way. <laughs> uh, does the cart have Patron in it? No, uh, they are beer carts. Yep. Um, but they normally have quite the variety. And they roll up to your table. It's it's an Depticon special. Uh, there's a. I've never. We, we've been to all uh, so many of these conventions. You never, this is the only one you've seen the beer cart on a on a, like a little tricycle thing. No, they're always on tricycles. I'm just saying only here at a Depticon. Oh, only only the only Depticon, convention yeah. I've seen. Yeah. You, you see this like promo video that they are putting up uh, there, like they advertise the the Renaissance on this little promo video. I have not. Anyways, they like advertise the cart as like one of the features that you get here at the Renaissance. So the, it is not like there is well known yes. uh, around here. You hear that ding ding. The fable, the fable of the beer cart. I, I couldn't believe it the first time I was playing X Wing. Luckily, I had an end table and yeah. just a uh, beverage rolls up into my hand. <laughs> Pretty impressive. <laughs> ding ding. Yeah, never. Blew my mind, you know. Uh, honestly, that 2017 Adepticon changed my life. I mean, yeah. Uh, that... it, it opened me up to a, a world, because I've been to the Pastimes Regional, which was like, yeah, but it's still a game store. Sure. But, man, Adepticon. Uh, it's, yeah. a pivot, it's a pivot point, right? And, like, just like, that's like when our relationship started, yeah. we became oh, friends, yeah. and just like from there, whoosh. <laughs> yeah, and now I've been to all around the country going to events and conventions. Uh, it is just, man, if you haven't dove in, uh, try it. Uh, go to, you know, just work your way up. Start that, you know, head to the local game store for league night. Maybe head out to one of their tournaments. Maybe find a slightly larger tournament in your state or area. And, uh, yeah, eventually work your way up to, like, maybe not just jump right into Gen Con. Yeah. Gen Con is overwhelming that can times. it can be we did just get an objective claim there by jeremy Ooh, okay trying to trying to stint the bleeding just a little bit 
Yeah, uh, and this is what we're talking about. The bleed is that all of the Empire ships are flying away from the two objectives at the bottom. They'll never be able to reclaim them in this game. Checking to see range here for the Bomba. Looks like it's a no-go, no damage on that Proton from Broadside. Um, Chess is talking about... Oh, but this, we're going to get some damage up there, though. <laughs> yes, yeah, a lot of people taking damage. Uh, so definitely shield off Oddball and Mace. Mm -hmm. 100% shield off of Oddball and Mace. I think Boost is out. Uh, Rack's going to be in for sure. So uh, it's really just is Tomex in that one. Yeah, Rack's taking one for sure. I well, mean, luckily, at least Rack has, has shields like you're... Exactly. Starting to spend that resource of health, right? That's what Rack brings. Rack brings longevity and the willingness to be like, I could take a bit of damage. Grimrope's giving the update here. Table uh, one update. Mutual violence. It's tied eight to eight going into turn five. John's decimator, his shield's down. Two hits with two crits on it oof. right in the middle of the map where n and there's nowhere to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember, that's uh, decimator facing off against uh, Jorge's uh, clone beef. Clone army. All right, I think we did decide to go for the heightened perception here. One out the box. That's going to be one hit coming from Mace Windu. This one, that's an interesting call. I'm not sure why you do the perception there. That's kind of a yeah. waste of... Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe to put like a nice crit through, but we only got one damage off of Rack there. Yeah. Rack's not reinforced. Okay, so then this is Oddball firing into what I thought was Deathfire. Hit, focus, crit. I think we're waiting for another die. So it does evade once, only a single crit here. And I believe that's a disabled power regulator yep. going on to Deathfire. Oh, we just had Kellyanna in the chat. Kellyanna! 17! If you don't know, you don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely. Well, first off, thank you, Kellyanna. Yes. But if, if Kellyanna gifted you a sub, make sure you... Make sure you say thank you, yeah. All right, next attack here. Hit, crit, crit coming in. From Tomax Bren. I think this is into... Mace, if I'm not mistaken, but it could have been into Oddball. Not quite sure. I haven't seen the defensive role yet. Which was the, the bomber that took the, the crit? Deathfire. Deathfire took the disabled power of Vaculator, so it'll be ionized when he engages, which means he ain't turning back around or uh, reloading those bombs. Focus squiggle, that means currently double crits going through. Uh, that must have been into Oddball. What's up? Really? Yeah. To Iffy? Yeah. yeah. Illy, sorry. Wow, he was that far behind her. Yeah. The difference in the game was that much. Okay, I think we got our first report then. So, Illy. Illy moves on. Okay. We just saw Mace Windu take a single shield there. What's that? Mace took one shield? No. No. You can't selfless at range zero, I thought. Can you not selfless at range zero? They're not range zero, they're not touching. Oh, he didn't touch, did yeah. he? That's right. Wow. This is a, I'm not touching I'm you. Not touching you. <laughs> no shields on on ball from me. Crazy. Wow. wow, okay. Again, the power of that selfless. Yes. I'm telling you, if, if Oddball's not in your Republic list, what are you doing? I'll look like one more hit into the decimator there from uh, the rear arc. I mean,
Uh, well, it was a Dodge there as well. Mace does have a card after that range one attack. Bam. Uh, anything from Broadside there going into the Decimator. Going to change it to an on eyeball. We're going to see That's two ions and a damage going to rack. Yeah, so uh, remember, was, ion, uh, ion weapon. Hard go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, saying, ion weapon, only a single damage. Uh, will the ionization end up mattering? All right, you do get two ions. Two cards out of Rear Admiral, so it should be 10 remaining. Man, we went from uh, paper cuts here, yeah. really digging deep now as uh, ships begin to come out of position and have to do those claims, get hit by bombs. Can you self-loose at range zero? Interesting. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of, um, I must be thinking of swarm tactics. Now, uh, uh, Dark, we will need With three the ion tokens to get rid, or uh, to oh. fully ionize Rack. Right, so the question is whether or not he uses um, electronic baffle to get rid of one, one of, of those. If you got rid of one, the next that, round broadside, if they apply two, you could get rid of it again. Right. But how many, at that point, how many damage are you taking to get a reinforce to block damage? <laughs> it's hard to say. I think it might be more, be more maybe the positioning. Uh, All right. Yeah, definitely don't want to be on. Obviously, yeah, if you get three ion tokens, you baffle one off because you do not like to be ionized. Uh, we'll get, uh, yep, two points here for Marco, one for Jeremy Chambly. We're going into 63 minutes uh, of the round. Remember, this is using variable timing. We have a 72 to 78 minute window that the game could end. So you got to be ready. You got to be ready. Maybe. You never know. 72 could be it. Yep. Pace of play here as we go into round five, I believe. Yep. With the quick little round five. Don't play to the clock. So, I mean, we've been averaging a little bit more than 10 minutes per round, about 12 minutes per round or so. That we expect maybe this to be the last round. If the dials go quickly, we, we could see a, a sixth round of the game. But it did turn extremely violent there in the last couple rounds, seeing Jenden disappear, and now uh, the arcs are really getting lit up. I like the target priority of mm -hmm. Mace by Jeremy Chambly. It's a relatively uh, defense. Well, I guess he's got two defense, so relatively average for its defense. Uh, but he's been burning through those four strikes yeah. for heightened perceptions, for linked actions. So you don't, uh, don't want to end controls. up with uh, you need three of them on defense and just be right. be a bit short. Now, the, there is the option here. Mace does have a big 5K mm -hmm. that he can pull off. I'm pretty sure it does. I, 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 I think you're right. I can almost... You can, can like, you, ta you can taste I it. I feel like that's got to be on their dial. Yep. Yeah, the big four and the five. Okay. Will it fit over rack, though? Hard to say. It's definitely, there's very few times in X-Wing where you could pick up some extra information. And when you go to measure, you can see that 5K is, if your at the end of range two is clear. Then you got uh, the that, space. As long as you got the left and the right, the width. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So th there is like a lot of times where players will just be like, oh, yeah, I'll take the range one. Yeah. You should measure. You can gain a little bit of information. I learned that playing heavy laser cannon tie defenders. Uh -huh. I was like, well, it turns out where I'm going to K turn next round to that 4K yeah. is exactly where my heavy laser cannon is. Yeah, we exactly. Just blast that ship out of my way. Move so I can land. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. All right, looking at some of our upcoming matchups here. Uh, so Elias will play the winner of the Paul Heaver versus Andrew Provo game. That is uh, some Republic versus Rebel action happening. We'll get an update there. And then the winner of this game, Jeremy versus Marco, will play against either Jorge Castaneda or Jonathan Grasser. 
Uh, we did see the counter net get dropped onto Mace. So he did receive those ion tokens and gets dealt one damage. He should be at one hole remaining. One hole remaining for... Uh, so no, it turns out no K turn. As cool as that would have been. Uh, now you're not. Going one to damn, one hole for Mace Windu. Yeah, the ions going to prevent any cool maneuvers, especially the red maneuvers that Mace likes to do to recover that force. Uh, caught him in a little net. Yep. Now he can't get away. Stay with us. Uh, boost here. Trying to track down this pesky Bauer. This fire is still at five total health. So it's going to take more than a simple Z to get him off the board this round. Let's go. All right, broadside taking the turn. Going to try to keep mm -hmm. that pressure okay. on to under rack. But right now, the ion cannon is pointed to the left, isn't it? Uh, so, should be to the left, yeah. So, so he's, he's aiming the primary, trying to do some extra damage here. But hey, that you know what that means? No, no iron. Yeah, no <laughs> iron tokens. It may not matter, but we'll, we'll end up seeing. All right, slider sliding forward, also sitting at one health currently. No sneaky bombs on Rear Admiral. Uh, sometimes mm. those can definitely mm -hmm. catch you off guard. So Mace here ends up doing a one bank. Didn't decide to do any of the K turns, uh, but whatever maneuver he had on Stow got limited down to a one bank from the Ion before he moved. Uh, very, very powerful to essentially take somebody's dial away. Something that they, um, the hard three that they needed to do to get over their friends. Mm -hmm. Now, now all of a sudden just crashes into the back of them. Can be so powerful. There is a reason those counter nets are five points yeah. uh, and only come with a single charge. Yeah, it's it's very good. I know that when, when you miss and you don't end up doing anything with it, it sure. feels bad, right? Sure. Like there's there's that like oh I just wasted five points. And the answer is you yes. Yeah. You sure yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, table three update. Paul Heaver winning seven to four with 68 minutes so far elapsed on the clock. Okay. Actually, 69, excuse me. What's wrong? Not winning? Yeah, still going. This hasn't finished yet. No, I'm not saying he's winning. He's like winning. He's currently winning currently the game. Currently <laughs> winning. How are you doing, Nick? Do you, do you see Ryan Ryan Stanizuski around? All right. Uh, yeah, tell him after this round. After this round. For, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, yeah, we're almost into that stoppage time. Could this be the last round? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, one of the many rules where I was like, why do we need, why do we need this in X Wing? And yeah. now I love the excitement it, 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 of the It's randomness. the excitement of like, when is it going to end? Yeah, no longer disabled. Did do that ionized station moon maneuver. He's meant one more health down as well. Must have got a second damage card on there. A lot of moving parts in this high level play of X Wing, so we do appreciate. Uh, everybody on deck here. No, I think my favorite move this turn is seeing that Ra Rear Admiral Sharon was able to turn out and Ooh. did not have to waste an action rotating the mm -hmm. arc in order mm -hmm. to get that shot onto Mace Windu with one health because getting that off the board uh, it would be another step towards potentially clawing it back. Sure, sure. Yeah, the, the uptick in objectives just really was solidifying Marco's win condition here. Uh, Jeremy's not out yet. He's still got uh, multiple attacks on Deathfire. He's got a good attack on, two, or excuse me, uh, his Tomax has a good attack on to Oddball. We'll see how the dice shake out here.
Hit crit versus one. So we're going to take a crit onto Death Fire from Onball, the initiative five. We'll check on that in just a second here. Next uh, shot. Rear arc in. attack was a single hit into Frack. Ooh, console fire for Death Fire. You could call him console fire. <laughs> All right, Jeremy hit crit. And able to focus out there. Yep, so he spent that born for this focus to keep Mace alive. Tomax at range one, gonna do a damage to Oddball. We do see that one health slider. Is one health slider still sliding around out there? Okay, focus for three, three hits here onto Deathfire. So uh, Mace living is huge. So two more damages to Deathfire. I think he's down to one. Survive. Ooh, we weren't we're into stoppage time. We are into stoppage time. We are into stoppage time. Only one more attack this round before the end phase. Tom Rossi called to 72, but Six could see it 11. called at uh, any moment now. We'll see what Broadside has to say. You're gonna throw a hit into Tomax, who easily Safe. dodges it. And I think we have token cleanup here. That's that console fire and death, fi death fire taken out oh. from it. <sighs> death I, fire out. I think that puts it out of reach right there. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna get two points of scenarios too. That's gonna be 19 to seven. And yeah, I mean, they have another round. Yeah, I He's think there we have the handshake, it. yeah. Well, congratulations, Marco Tamalin, making it to the next round here of our World Championships of X-Wing. He's going to end up facing off against the winner of Jonathan Grasser versus Jorge Castaneda, which we did get an update. Um, on the game. What did Grim Wolf say about it? Grim Wolf earlier uh, mentioned that Jorge Castaneda is up 12 to 11 and they were going Tense. into their seventh round Tense and uh, it keeps swinging wow. back and forth so I it's bet. still a very I close one <laughs> i bet it is it sounds like it well i'm gonna go make sure that the players are getting taken care of there actually well it looks like james is uh making sure that the players are uh uh set up so why don't we go ahead and do a yep. giveaway then and i'll make sure uh that uh, those players get some prizes before we leave. Yep. Are you ready? Yeah. I don't know where this camera is. So All right. I'm Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> in here. It's all right. So we're going to go ahead and do our giveaways. Here is what we're giving away. We're giving away a World's 2024 prize pack. Inside that prize pack, what you'll be receiving, you hand me the box, good oh, sir. Yes, of course. Thank you. You'll be receiving a set of four dice, two of the legacy style dice with the new marvelization that's available here at Worlds 2024, as well as these clear, I'm calling them the unicorn dice. I think that's what they're closest related to. We're gonna be giving that away. You'll also be receiving one of the participation student trophies with official X-Wing World Championship emblem on there and a random alt art card that they have on the prize wall. Cause well, we show, show the back. They're full. Uh, they're backs full well. art back. Beautiful. Beautiful very, art there. Very <laughs> Those cool. eyes are terrifying. It's <laughs> <laughs> very serious look for old so, Billy D. Um, the, the terms and conditions here, if you are a winner, um, you can go ahead and you have a couple of options. Number one, if you have somebody here that you know, a friend, a yeah, colleague. Maybe, maybe who, you're in the stands. Maybe you're even sitting in the stands. You can just come grab the stuff and take it with you. Be done. Now, if you are watching at home, you can enter in the giveaway, uh, but I mean, you need you to understand a couple of things. First, shipping to the United States will cost you either $14. Uh, if you are in the uh, UK, Canada, or excuse me, if you're in Europe, Canada, or South America, that'd be $35. If you're in Africa or Australia, that'll be $45. But what's going to happen is I'm going to ship it in a box 
that's about yay big, about yay high, and it, it basically to the to outside of the United States, it's more by weight than by size. Right. Exactly. So I'm going to fill the box as much as I can with other random GSP swag from past worlds, past events, GSP swag until it would go up to the next uh, the next category. So it's not just those things if you end up getting it shipped. But if you are here in person and or have somebody can pick it up, obviously you can pick it up for free and you, you just take it. So it is that simple. Huh, excuse me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start our giveaway. If you want to... Uh, if you want to be a part of the giveaway, I want you to type the following words. I want you to type in me, capital M, capital E, me, give it to me, M-E, to be a part of the giveaway. I had to change it because the one from earlier was still uh, still on. Again, M-E, capital. Yes, we see them in the chat. Capital M-E. Capital M, yes. capital E. Me. 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 Oh, yeah. That's what you got to put in. Uh, the prize has been looking great as well. Uh, really kind of AMG to yes. offer them up. Uh, they want to share that love for everybody who couldn't make it uh, here in person. Yeah. And we really do appreciate that. And hopefully uh, you yeah. guys like what uh, they have. I think the dice look amazing. So. Th they look good. They look really nice. <laughs> now, final disclaimer before we go. We will ship it one time if you're shipping it. We're shipping it one time. If it gets lost in customs, I love you, but it's not our problem. If you get extra taxes because your country does extra taxes, I love you, but that's not our problem. Uh, if you gave us the wrong address, that's also not our problem. We're going to pack it. We're going to put a stamp on it. We're going to give it to the post office, and then it is out of our hands because shipping is hard, guys. Shipping is, is not fun, and it's very difficult which I'm not surprised why the price just keeps going up and up and up and up because it's also hard for them. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. so anyway, with all that, you know what you're in for. Here we go. If you're the winner, make sure to type exclamation point win. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. The winner is... Dials and Dice. Again. Again. Again, what? he won yesterday. I'm pretty sure it won yesterday. I mean, Dials and Dice, would you be all right? Would you? You don't have you want, to. If, if you, you want, want, we could pass it along since you won one already. He won yesterday. That's his choice. Not anybody. It's literally nobody else's choice. If he wants it, he can have it. All right. So we'll see. We'll see what he does. He can go ask exclamation point win, or he can say reroll. That's up to him. Rigged. Rigged. It's always rigged. Yeah, it's always rigged. Every time. Uh, <laughs> pass it on oh, such a kind such a kind guy smart guy too anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. riot riot sturdy <laughs> here we go <laughs> three two one all right uh will who won the giveaway jan, jan or jan it's probably jan <laughs> maybe jan jan sakustaniski Skakuskininski. Skakudliniski. If that might be you. If, that, if that's you, type exclamation point win. We know because the person, I don't know if you guys know on our side, the person's like specific chat pops up. Instead of writing exclamation point win, he corrects us on our <laughs> his last name. I, we're not going to, that doesn't help. You just typed it out again. We don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Why can't we all it's use the phonetics? <laughs> you know what I mean? Be really helpful. Anyways, they hit the exclamation point, man. All right, congratulations. Perfect. So we're going to take a little bit break. Actually, I think there's a scheduled break. Yeah, we are uh, on lunch. We're I on believe. lunch now. So per the schedule, let's go ahead and... Um, exclamation point schedule, please. Exclamation point schedule. Perfect. Bam. Uh, we are scheduled to be back at 12.30. So in 40 minutes or so. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to get that scheduled. James, it looks like you want you to ask me something. Yeah, yeah, we're going to give him some goodies. All right, cool. So let's get that set here. Okay. All right. 12.30 is our estimated return 
from lunch. So make sure you don't go anywhere. We got more giveaways. We have more amazing X-Wing. And we are two games away from knowing who is our next world championship, world champion, excuse me, of X-Wing. Let me just do a quick double check to see if we know what the matchups are going to be. I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to check. I'm going to check anyway as soon as I get off here. Uh, oh, we don't have all the games in. Come on. All right. Well, you'll know when we know. We'll be back.
Hello and welcome back to Gold Squadron Podcast. My name is William Hankwood. I'm joined by James Ritter. Hey guys. We're going to be watching here the top four of the World Championship X-Wing Finals here World at... World Championship. <laughs> well, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. At Adepticom <laughs> here in the Chicagoland area. Very excited to have Paul Heaver representing the Rebel Alliance and Illy flying the Galactic Republic a matchup. Uh, we've Illy, seen Illy coming all the way from Germany? Yes, wow. indeed. Yeah. This is the world, so we do have international players coming in. Uh, Illy's done a fantastic job getting all the way into the top four. Paul Heaver, meeting expectations. Yeah, you know what, Paul? <laughs> like, if you're not here, come on. What do you... <laughs> no. So both of these players... Uh, doing amazing. This is both of these players in the main event. This is their 13th 13th game. game. And I just asked them if they had played on uh, <laughs> Thursday to get some practice games in. Both of them said, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to uh, take a look at this matchup here for you and uh, break down those lists. Well, first, we want to know who you think has what it takes to take the victory here in the top four uh, with your choose your champion. Bet one all here for Paul Heaver. Bet two all for Illy uh, and the Galactic Republic. Uh, James, can you first tell us about Salvage Mission? Yeah, Salvage Mission. We have the five scenario tokens out there on the board, and this is the crate or cash or tow, <laughs> however you want to call it. We're going to go around and pick up these five crates and put them on their ship card. While you are towing and have one of those crates on your ship card, those caches on your ship card, you cannot perform any barrel or boost reposition actions and cannot cloak you cannot do any kind of slams any kind of thing anything that would be a non reposition or a not non perform maneuver reposition you cannot do as long as it is mm -hmm. an action right yeah, so, I don't think we have too much of that fancy stuff here so it's mostly going to be the boost and bear rolls mm -hmm. that is going to be the limitation while you tow we we'll have to keep an eye out for it cuz it is a kind of a like, oh, I was definitely carrying a crate, and I tried to boost. <laughs> so we'll keep an eye out for it. Easily it. forgotten, even at the high <laughs> level of X-Wing play. This is like their 13th game in three days. Yeah. So, uh, But at the end of the turn, uh, starting at turn number two, we will count up who has each of those crates, and they're going to score one point for each crate. But to lose a crate, you'll, you will have to suffer a critical damage, even if it hits the shield, and you're not actually given a face-up card, even if it is a... Uh, you suffer critical damage, you lose, a sh you drop that crate, or if you are destroyed. Yep, your opponent always places that crate after it's jettisoned as well. So easy to uh, tell uh, where the crate's going to go because most people will drop it behind their opponent's ship. Right, yeah, usually behind, but there could be some opportunities where if I'm moving before you, like, for example, this Gemmer, who is the lowest initiative on the table, is going to be picking up those crates earliest. So maybe you put it okay. right in front of Gemmer if you knock mm. it off one of these Republic ships. True. Speaking of Gemmer, let's go ahead and take a look at here at the Rebel Alliance squad. Gemmer Sojin is a brand new alien coming straight out of the battle over Endor. Their ability, they can take a strain to convert two of their blank results into eyeball results while defending, uh, which makes them a very powerful ship to defend against a single attack this one does have a turret here that and with the vectored cannons they can rotate that turret or boost in the system phase for the cost of stress we of course have it's a trap like all the rebel battle over indoor ships we have a few in this list <laughs> we do have a few so it's a trap's going to come up quite a few times with it's a trap if you have more friendlies than enemies at range zero to one you're going to be able to reroll one of your blank results which means gamer if they can activate their pilot ability and it's a trap with a focus token could turn three blanks into three evades very for one of those attacks yeah but for after one. that they're going to be strained if they do use their ability yeah it'll be uh but the detriment. a very very powerful ability to just say for one attack if they do mm -hmm. have that focus say just n essentially no yeah exactly <laughs> uh, we do as well have the precision tuned cannons here works if you're familiar with the jedi's calibrated laser targeting uh, when they attack and there's a ship in there and bullseye the gamma gets to add a eyeball result works great with the chaff particles 
or excuse me, with a targeting assist algorithm uh, before they engage. If you have no green tokens, say you spent your focus on defense, uh, you get to gain a calculate, which is great to modify that precision. Uh, Bullseye mechanic. Exactly. It's also chaff particles. It's one I'm not as familiar with. We don't see it very yeah, often. So while, while defending, you can spend a focus result to get rid of a red or orange token. Okay. Interesting. But you really can't use that when you have, like, if you're spending a focus. A result. You or, or spending a focus token. Ah, uh, yes, yes. You, you have to convert, convert all of your results. So theoretically, you could use chaff particles. No, oh, actually, it's at the end of the neutralized result Correct. step. So Correct. if you so are spending it. That's for the second attack, if you want to think about it like Right, that. yeah. It, it is very rare that we do see chaff particles on uh, this ship. But, I mean, definitely something to keep an eye out for. Uh, up next on this list, we do have another A-Wing, Keo Vimzi. This is a pilot from the Star Wars Squadrons video game. If you have not played that, definitely check it out. Great game. Keo has a one force, non-recurring. Only way to recover that force is to do a side slip when they are out of force. Also has the vector cannons, which will, you know, we both love. We both love, love those, those vector, vector cannons. cannons. And this one is coming with Juke to fill out the remainder of that loadout. We have a Breland Strom. This is going to be the battle over indoor Breland with those that gyro cockpit ability. Braylon and Gina, we do have both of the pilots here on this list from Battle of Rendor, are going to get effects at the start of engagement if the other one is stressed. For example, if Gina's stressed, Braylon gets a focus. If Braylon's stressed, Gina gets a, acquires a lock at the start of engagement, uh, which is more important for Gina, but very helpful for Braylon because Braylon does have that homing missile so he can roll lock to acquire that, to get that lock for the homing missile, and then mm -hmm. can get the focus from Gina being stressed. Uh, most of the time, we're going to see them just doing roll focuses a lot because it's just easier and it is more consistent. But we do also have those proton bombs on Braylon and ion bombs on Gina. With that gyro cockpit ability, they can spend one of the two uh, once once per recurring charges to drop it off the side, or they can spend both whenever they gain a stress to get an evade, which is really cool for Braylon, but really amazing for Gina because Gina does have that juke talent on the card, allowing them to use that evade as an offensive modifier. Mm, big I, big I think situation we just, wow. where we saw Jack narrowly clip that debris. Did roll a blank, so no damage, but will receive a stress and no action. Really wanted to pick up that crate. Or focus. I'll, I'll take a focus at this point. Maybe <laughs> just shoot as yeah. well. So. Oh, and not going to be able to engage either. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, a close uh, maneuver this that ends up uh, in the bad side of those chances. Unfortunate here uh, for Jag. We'll see how the Rebels respond to that. Yeah, uh, they're going to the hop on that opportunity there. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Gina does have those proton torpedoes and juke, like I was saying, so can really throw out a ton of damage if they do get all of the, if all the stars align and they get the, the focus, evade, and the lock, they can throw a juke modified proton, torp double modified proton torpedo, and they're going to acquire that lock at the start of engagement. So essentially they get to say, who's in front? I did a focus roll who's in front and be able to shoot that focus evade juke proton torpedo and to round out this list of course we have wedge antilles also from the battle of indoor which is an amazing piece my favorite piece and confirmed will schick's favorite piece to come out of this <laughs> uh, battle over indoor scenario will uh will was talking about how f how much he loves wedge and i do too wedge has uh, a very different ability than what we're used to seeing but does ha still have that initiative six which is so important wedge can after he performs an attack that hits can gain a focus so very cool to be able to spend your focus to confirm putting damage through for that hit and then still being able to get a focus for your defense Wedge also, of course, comes with It's a Trap, like all the other ones. And this one has locked S-Foils, which is going to let them... It's going to give them the boost on the main action bar instead of having to, to fiddle with those pesky uh, servo motor S-Foils. They have... These are locked 
as foils. They locked in attack position, and after you perform a boost, you gain a deplete which is going to come into effect here if we are going to see Wedge boosting around. He has no real, no real way to get rid of that At, in the engagement phase like we usually see with Finn Rao. But we do see Wolf come up and grab that crate. He is now towing. And uh, before we finish up Wedge, he does have Predator, Advanced Proton Torpedoes, and R2A3, his own personal friendly mech, and is going to be able to do some really cool stuff. Is going to be able to take a roll focus or boost focus or just a focus anytime he does an action it could even be a great salve or salvage scenario action can acquire a lock with r283 once per game once per game all right let's go ahead and take a look at the republic list here from yep. illy uh where do you want to start at here we're gonna start with oddball go ahead and Stuff your face for a second. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Oddball out here. A staple in any Republic squad. Uh, they can get free target locks uh, when they perform a red action or maneuver. They're able to uh, give that lock to themselves or a friendly at range 0 to 3. Main abilities here, though, are selfless. They can pull crits away from friendly ships as long as they're at range so. 0 to 1. Very powerful support ability that we traditionally only see in Rebels. Oddball here able to do it for the Republic. Of course, they have Born for this, just like any of these other um, siege of course on ships for a strain you can throw your focus to help a friendly defend against an attack uh, will strain you though and you can't do it if you're strained so if you got strained in a different way you won't be able to use that barn for this ability all of these arcs as well fire front and back attacks with the veteran tail gunner so three dice out the front and traditionally two dice out the back more on that in a second this oddball though also has R4P, uh, a unique astromech to the re Republic. R4P can reduce the difficulty of a basic maneuver. So on these arcs, it's the far forward and hard three. You can turn those white or you can turn any of their white maneuvers like a hard two into a blue stress clearing maneuver or strain clearing maneuver. Uh, next up is Wolf, very similar to his customized form, has a charge where it gives them a reroll out the front and then they can recover that charge by getting an extra dice out the back. Very cool mechanic to see. Uh, it, has, it has an astromech, we'll <laughs> not worry about Q7. Uh, anyways, Matchstick, one of our two Y-Wings out there, gets, uh, it's enormous, James. <laughs> There we go, thank you. Uh, Matchstick gets a reroll for each red token that they have. We can easily tell which one's Matchstick by the amount of target locks the enemies or their friendlies have on them. To give them those rerolls right off the bat. This one has Iron Cannon and Ion Bombs. Looks like we're going to start with the first attack here from Wedge, the I-6. Uh, I think they are checking for Obstruction and or Predator here. Does not. Oh, it was in Bullseye, so we get the Predator and it's hit crit crit. So two damage on to Oddball. And because Wedge uh, hit with his attack, he gets a focus token. So powerful to be able to double modify your offense with Predator and or that R2 A3 Astromech and then get a defensive modifier as well. Double defensive modifiers with It's a Trap. So very cool combination there. What else? I got it. <clears throat> yeah, what? I'll tag they're, do they're doing attacks. Oh, they're doing attacks. Yeah. We'll get back to uh, the Z95, but Jag is also very similar. We'll wait for Jag to acquire a lock, but he's on a rock right now, so I think we're going to shun him uh, by waiting until after these attacks. We got a judge call here. We got judges ready on the table, so we shouldn't need to interact with the players at all. They'll just call a judge for any close calls, or hopefully the judges can recognize any potential mistakes. We're going to see uh, Gina here. 
Uh, no target lock, so just firing the focus based munition for three hits. And I didn't see the target here. It must have been the red arc jag, if I'm not mistaken. Don't call me on that though. We assume on ball, because I think it's a little bit farther forward. I th they checked both arcs to see which one was obstructed or not. Okay. Uh, hit crit here, return fire from on ball. We're going to see Wedge utilize that ability. Uh, it's a trap to reroll a blank and then spend the focus token to dodge the attack. They're nicely done. He did roll three greens. I'll double check. I see a shield up at the top of the board. I'm not sure if that, which ship that is. But we'll double check it. We've got plenty of time here. Only 60 That's minutes Jack. into the game. He was Jack. There's Jack shield at the top. Okay, that makes sense. It's one off of. Jag at the top of the board. Okay. Uh, we're going to go in for Braylon's attack here. Should be most likely range three obstructed. We'll double check in. Arc here from Wolf. Wolf does have it. All right, Braylon's gonna spin that focus, and Oddball's gonna spin there, so only one damage there onto Oddball. Uh, which ship sold crates? Yeah, we could definitely do that. That's a great idea. Let's give us a moment here, make sure that none of the crates are popped off, and then we'll put a little asterisk by their name to show that they're holding a crate. Or cash, they're called caches. There are blue tokens out there. I know. We'll put it on the overlay, though, just to be sure. We saw Wolf get two hits there. A uh, little It's a Trap reroll. Uh, so one damage onto Braylon. It's a Trap. So good for these opening shots where the enemies can't even get into range one. So as long as you got a buddy next to you, you can defend effectively. I don't think there's going to be any... Other attacks, maybe a turret here from Broadside to see if they can maybe hit that A-Wing. See what the Jazz has to say about it. Seems to be in range two. It's above side. Or no, uh, we're measuring Keo. Keo has first player firing before Broadside. Gonna spend their force for two, and we'll have a damage then off of Broadside. Oh, a juke, and then spends Broadside's focus to deny the second damage. Nice use of juke there against the other Initiative 3s who haven't fired yet. Making Broadside spend their focus token really negates their attack if they had it, but I believe it's gonna be out of range because they. Uh, Oh, maybe it is in range. No, I'm in Kyo shot range three, so I think we're moving on to Gemmer. We picked up a crate, got that calculate. Such a good ability. Uh, reminds me of the Thai Brute. Similar ability there. Uh, didn't need it, so one hit. Dice out of the tray. Oh, another blank here, so damage on to Jag. So it should be shields down for Jag. He took three? Yep, I see him at the bottom corner here. One, two, three. No, those are two of... Huh. We'll double check. I gotta figure out which which arc is on the left and which arc is on the right. Uh, while I do that, uh, can you let us know yeah, slider. Uh, about Slider yeah, and slider. Broadside and Jag? A great little Z95 headhunter for the Republic and can actually every other turn 
execute a two bank side slip, which is very cool indeed. Which is like a, a really interesting way that they can do uh, tricks and maneuvers while carrying these crates is those side slips. And it has dedicated to help out friends with re rolls on defense. That is oddball in the bottom right, by the way. Oddball's down three shields. It was a little confusing because all, all the shield yeah. tokens kind of clumped together. So he's, I think uh, Jag's on two, she, one shield remaining. One shield remaining, exactly. All right, we also have Broadside, one of my favorite pilots in the game. Just so, so fun and uh, fun. consistent. Fun, this Consistent, is a, <laughs> it's consistent. Okay, consistency is fun. I'll uh, give you that. Consistency is fun. Being able to like math, not math wing it, but <laughs> be able to say, I'm probably gonna do two, uh, at least two hits, right? With a focus token or with that ion cannon because they can convert a blank result to a hit while their turret is in the side arc. Has proton bombs and of course, like I said, that ion cannon turret, very dangerous for ships that like to take locks. So keep an eye out for that as well. And last but not least, we have Jag in the Arc 170 from the Siege of Coruscant. You love to see all three of these arcs all together. Buddy, buddy. Jag is going to be able to give himself a lock when he, a friendly in their side arc at range two, performs an attack. So as long as they have range on that target, they'll be able to get a lock. So we see, do see Jag in red there was on the obstacle, so did not get to engage, but actually I do see a red lock out there on the wedge, I believe that is going to be Jag's lock. So it's really set, already setting up a next turn engagement, which of course he can use himself, but also Wolf can use the Wolf Pack ability to spend Jag's lock before Jag even gets a chance to shoot. And as long as Jag has a Wolf in their side arc, they're going to get the lock back anyway. So a great ability to stay double modified all of the time and uh, just be super consistent. Yeah, it really benefits you to bring all three of them because they love sharing these abilities. Right, yeah, I think if you bring two, I mean, it's like Oddball and Wolf, and you oh, can yeah. even go change to Wolf Customizable to get a little bit of different, uh, different abilities. You really want the R4P Astromech. It's super helpful. I'm gonna just quickly switch to the... We saw the side slip from Mr. Key or the Key Key Keo out there doing the side slip. Very nice to recover that force. I didn't even realize they spent it on offense. Very They cool. certainly did. So did, did the hard two side slip to be able to recover that and come in in a different vector. Second so kind of the points, rapid fire points there. A oh, studio did. Oh, okay. And slider. Yep, so we had Wolf and Slider pick up the crates for Illy. We, uh, I think there's one more out there. Uh, Matchstick also picked up. I do up. see Matchstick now. Yep. So that was the third point scored there that round. And now we have. Uh, what, uh, uh, Wedge and Keo, or no, Gemmer, being the crate carriers for the Rebels. I say, can you make that consistent, whatever that means to you? It's on the outsides. Outsides, smart. Yeah. It, it, it makes it a little bit confusing with all the clones having their quote names. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... They have quotes around all these. Could you yeah. imagine if it was just like CP 1000? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Would that Cim be easier? Scimitar 1, Initiative 3. Scimitar 4, Initiative 2. <laughs> That's not, my... Not okay. salty about that at all. Okay. Clearly okay. not triggered if by... Any, if anyone, if anyone from AMD is listening, y'all had a chance to make it so <laughs> easy for us. For, for those Scimitar pilots from the battle over Endor to just say... Scimitar 1 is it's initiative, initiative one. 1. Scimitar 4, initiative 4. Or just say what the initiative is. It was just really funny. 
not actually complaining. It just really made me laugh when I saw the Scimitar 1 was Initiative 3 and the Scimitar 4 Initiative 2. So, uh, those are out of the Battle of Yaman expansion. Over Endor. Battle <laughs> over Endor. Yeah, not of Endor. We had someone asking uh, who are the pilots uh, that remain from the new pack. Paul's running most of them out here. Ooh, I think the other yeah. one was... Lando! What? Lando? No, no, no. Uh, the ones left in the tournament. I think this is what's left. Oh, uh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Marco, Marco and Jorge are not playing. Uh, that they're, they're in a furious arc battle, <laughs> it looks like over I, there. Uh, I did hear from one of the judges that they said so it was like a big like arc, not swarm, but like, you know, is this a swarm? Arc swarm or just like arc or a Republic salad? I mean, I think if you bring this kind of level of beef, we're talking wild. Can you say, talking, can you call arcs a mini swarm? <laughs> I mean, maybe. So it, we, they had two heavy, high number Republic lists. And at one point it got into the scrum and it took them about 15 minutes to resolve the activation mm. of and just, just like two or three ships. It can happen. After having to like mark, unmark, remark, un unmark that <laughs> one, remark that one back over I'm trying here. to be precise. These, these players are giving their opponent the benefit of the doubt that they're trying to be accurate. So Absolutely. I certainly understand The that. asterisks are the, the pilots that are carrying crates. Just a little helpful indicator to say who is carrying. All right, we got a judge here doing some intricate railroad tracking. If you don't know what we mean by railroad, sometimes when you slide your ship down the template, it might not get all the way for the template or all the way onto the template. So we see here uh, a simple two template uh, out the back, so you can kind of drive down the two template and then into the maneuver that you had done. Absolutely. Too straight. Yeah. And it looks like... We were talking earlier in our, in our pre... Them. What? Sorry, go ahead. Looks like they're actually removing these. These with are judges. Precision. Yeah. Yeah, these are judges with yeah, precision. Yeah, so if we go to here. the player cam here, these are two judges playing here. Oh, no, Illy, Illy looks to be. No, those are both judges. Yeah, we have the judges yeah. here. Paul's, <laughs> so. Paul's excited. <laughs> Paul's dancing here. He's having fun. We were talking earlier about how the two players were uh, just studying dials, and he was like, how does that look? <laughs> because at, at, a, at a certain point, uh, they just like start, start just like showing the judge the dial. <laughs> like, how does that look? You're going to be doing it. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we <laughs> they have up, caddies. <laughs> yeah, caddies, little caddies. <laughs> uh, the bump there uh, does... Uh, the bump focus and gets an evade. Oh, yes, from the gyro. Yeah, gyro cockpit just says when you gain an evade, you may spend your two charges on gyro cockpit to gain an evade. Sorry, when you gain a stress, spend two charges to gain an evade. Yep, so every other turn, more or less. Yeah. If you're not doing any of those really cool side bomb drops. Yeah, look out. We're on bomb drop territory, or uh, bomb oh. drop lookout. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at the speed of this. Now, can you slip while you're carrying a crate? You can. Nice. Yeah. It's not that, a reposition. That, that was, it's not a reposition. It is an advanced maneuver. Fancy. Yeah. Do you know what qualifies an advanced maneuver? Uh, any maneuver that's not basic. I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> what is a basic maneuver? <laughs> Any maneuver that is not a one, two, three, four, five straight, a one, two, three bank, or one, two, three turn is an advanced maneuver. Uh, they sometimes give the players extra time, but the judges aren't really intervening. Uh, they're just assisting the players. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're making sure that everything is accurate because especially if there are any bullseye mechanics that it does matter where you actually land for that maneuver and uh, making sure that uh, we get all, all those ships in the right order.
All right, we're on to the next maneuver here. This is oddball. Ooh, big maneuver here. Wants to uh, block wedge to make sure that they can't fire off that advanced proton torpedo. I mean, a very scary attack. They still wedge. can if there is another ship behind them that is still no. at range one well, because. I'm not sure where these Y-wings are going. They're getting into bombing position, it looks like. Well, Taking the long way around. We do see a, it looks to be a one or two straight from Wedge. Yep. Gonna most likely, do you even need a focus? And you could risk the range zero attack and maybe just get a focus that way. Get a focus that way, but like, I don't think the only ship that, sh the only ship that is attacking Wedge from at the moment that I can see is gonna be the oddball there at range zero. All right, well, we're gonna take a look at the maneuvers here. So Wedge did uh, take the red focus and got a target lock, it looks like. No, that's a red target lock. We got red tar target locks everywhere. That's Gina who acquired the target lock at the start of combat. This Ooh, is Wedge's Wedge. range zero and here. is able to <clears throat> get that focus. Oh, wow, good. what very a good. meanie. Very good. Got to be one damage on to Oddball. That's the last Which shield. has some pretty powerful abilities, let me tell you. He really does. But he, at the end of the day, though, he is just an X. He is just an X Wing. That well, he's more of like a T 70. But he is more like a T 70. But it's a range one, it looks like from Gina. Going to spin that lock. And. All right. All right, gonna get a wounded pilot. Is that what I saw? That could be dangerous. All right, down to two for Oddball, and not gonna be not gonna be selfless thing today. Oh no, they've got to be in the box. Oh yeah, got to be in the box. They're getting, they're getting they got much now. better in the box, I will say. <laughs> they got very excited about that. We're going to fire into Gina here, uh, and then she's going to... No try. escape! Yeah. I see a lot of a lot of rebel ships around there. Three rebels to two. No okay, public well, didn't help. That was going to be... I think that was hit two, two crits, but it's all shields. It's all shields. It's so. all shields. Brought an extra one. <laughs> they knew they knew, they knew this was going to happen. Yeah, Wedge, Gina, Braylon all um, brought extra shields here. Uh, they've been preparing for this Battle of Yavim. They thought they were going to face the Super Star Destroyer, and yet here they are fighting Which Arcs went, instead. Which went, went through a wormhole, a time wormhole, yes. and found a Republic patrol of all clones. No Jedi. No Jedi leading this patrol. They don't need no help. Don't need no man. <laughs> nah, these are just older clones. Still flying around. Ooh. Oh, older clones. Okay. Yeah, no timeline logic needed. Three hits here. I think that's going to be... This is Braylon into probably Wolf. They spent a focus. They, they modified I, it. No, that's going to be into... Yeah, that's going to be into yellow. Uh, that is Wolf. I am sorry. Yep, three shields. A shot back into uh I think we're going into Gina. Yeah, hit, hit, okay. crit. Hot right. fire. See if no escape comes up. Nope. Oh, Gina spent the evade, so make sure she gets. Oh, one so, more. so down up and then down down crit. Should be the last of her shields. Oh no, got the evade. No crit. I can count. Can you? You, you can count. Ooh, we're gonna check to see if maybe Slider has a shot. <laughs> Judge, can you Judge. measure through these four <laughs> ships? <laughs> Can we mark these four ships? <laughs> yeah, the hesitant here to... <laughs> it's a little hesitant here to... Yeah, I think at one point uh, I did see Jeremy in our last game uh, just uh, show someone, show the judge the dial and says, can you do this for me? And he was just like, man, come on. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> uh, yeah, the battle over Endor. All 
Mark, lots of marking. Oh my goodness, so many markings. You guys saw that it was wounded pilot? Yes, wounded pilot. Yeah, we, we can see it from here. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna mark off Mr. Braylon as well. <laughs> oh, no, maybe not. Can we get it? Can we get away with it without marking Braylon? No, his peg's right in the way. It went, yeah, I, yeah, I told you. It's gonna be. <laughs> can you mark these four ships <laughs> for me, please? <laughs> We're trying to be precise. Is right. this important? Gina, Gina could be taking some uh, major damage here from Slider. Slider does have a focus for this modified. You know what they should do? Well, they're checking arc, I guess. You need arc and range, actually, yeah, for this yeah. measurement. So this just looks a like, laser wouldn't like, be enough. This looks like three. Well, as I was gonna say, roll the dice. If you roll blanks, we don't have to do any of this. <laughs> That's my opinion. <laughs> that is uh, my stance on casual games. I'm yeah. just like, uh, Ooh, is it obstructed? Well, roll the unobstructed roll and see if that's yeah, going to be enough. Yeah, see if you need the extra, and then we can get, we can go about yeah. Pull, that's, pulling that's, out the rulers. That's for more casual play. Ships. This ain't casual play. This is top four. This is serious so competitive. One hit, gonna get two, gonna get one evade there. Yeah, so no, no problem. damage. No problem. Uh, best thing about having Caddy here is that you can roll your attacks while they put all the ships back. <laughs> yeah. I love the Caddy. The, the Caddy is funny. <laughs> it's, it's stuck now. Um, some players do have the benefit of having a significant other or father coming around uh, to caddy him. Two it hits, very, two helpful. blanks. Was this from Keo? And oh, yep, yeah, yeah. Wow. Keo. Okay. With the juke, uh, takes down Abba. Yeah. Wow. wow. Even with the block of wedge uh, between uh, the previous round of fire and Gina's range one attack, uh, was able to. Uh, take it out. Even had a uh, Gemmer in the cut ready to uh, fire into Oddball as well. And instead, they're going to take the range zero uh, into. Oh, this uh, is Jag's shot here. Three hits after the focus. Uh, definitely going to have more friendlies nowadays. Uh, so, should put Gina down to one. Can you double check that, Dion? No, he, he re rolled it with uh, no. no uh, oh, really? To yeah. get the evade? Yeah. Wow! No escape. <laughs> no. It's a trap. <laughs> no escape oh, sounds. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, no escape. No escape is the other one. I would, uh, I don't know. I can see it both ways. All right. I need to get a caddy for myself. You're right. Will, will you be yeah. my caddy? So I'll be your be. caddy. Oh, uh, fair. <laughs> we'll trade off. <laughs> A one hit, one evade. Yep, no problem. All right. That sounds like a range zero from Jimmer. Yeah, exactly. All right. We're going to count up some points. I don't think we lost anybody. I think the points are going to be staying the same. Two for Republic and one, or sorry, three. For, sorry, three, two for Rebel. You'll get there. Three for Republic. Going into turn number four. Players moving at a pretty solid pace for having Love. so many ships on the table and them so uh, jumbled. <laughs> here. Sure. A couple jumbled shots there. Yeah. Jumbo. Oh, Gina. Gina does have a rock in front of her. No way to clear the stress. Uh, so has very few maneuvers that are going to. But Gina, I mean, does have the one. Hard, no, one heart is red, correct? Red heart is red. Yeah, so red. two heart may not hit that rock. Could be very close. Could even go... F I wouldn't self-bump. Maybe not. But, I right. mean, a friendly bump isn't guaranteed damage like that obstacle yeah, is. Yeah. But, but even, then, you know, you're just delaying the inevitable at that point. Yeah. Uh, however, that being said, all things considered. All, all the things... <laughs> all things considered. Um... Gina doesn't mind being stressed if they do, if they do the hard two, because they would still be able to acquire the lock as long as true. Braylon was stressed. Yeah, these B wings love to be range two of each other, and well, they're really close. Up. They're real close right now. Very close. <laughs> oh, interesting. One hard left. No, Braylon is stressed as well. So Braylon would have to do the two hard, otherwise he's gonna do a white, two straight.
Yep, great pace, great pace of the game. Going to give us a little bit of time, though, in this playing phase to thank the people who help us get here, help us get this stream to you. And then, of course, uh, is Atomic Mass Games. <laughs> I know you you thought I was going somewhere else, but they're the people who really uh, put on this event, got everything organized. Uh, so they've been fantastic in uh, that aspect. Of course, Adepticon for hosting us, the judge team for organizing everything, getting everything uh, the players need to compete yeah. in the tournament, the yeah, running side events. Our needs, they have been so accommodating oh, so for us, saying, what do you guys need? Mm -hmm. Can't, is there anything that we can do to help facilitate yep. this? Like, keeping all these players away from you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We do have, if yes, you yes, can yes. see, we'll just quickly go to the player cam. I don't know if you, no, you really can't see it. But no, just, just off the screen to the right, there's a lot of people sitting down, gathering in a gaggle. <laughs> watching uh, two TVs that the judges have set up for us with the stream from us online right there. You really get the fuel of the event here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paul is in his power stance. He's gr the gorilla stance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the knuckles. You got to get the knuckles <laughs> on the table here. <laughs> Thankfully, we do All have right, a very solid table. We don't have to worry we did, we about tables. We did nail it we down. Did, we taped it down. <laughs> yeah. All right, that does not look like a reroll. But uh, who else? Who else am I forgetting? Of course, the GSP Patreons. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, if you are interested in supporting yes. us, sorry, I got distracted. You there. got me. Yeah. <laughs> if you are interested in supporting us for these events, uh, definitely check out our Patreon to help us make it out to these events. Mm -hmm. Well, we just got invited out to Nova, so we're going to start planning that. Uh, but trips are expensive, so uh, if you can help, we certainly do appreciate it. We've had a lot of support uh, through Kellyana, Lambolo dropping some. Everybody's uh, resubscribing, and really do appreciate that. Uh, it, it means the world to us that we can come out and provide this content for you. But it is an expensive uh, endeavor, so we do really yeah, do getting, appreciate getting that. Getting me out here, getting just I guess mainly me. Mainly you, James. I guess. James, I, you I, the whole budget. But honestly, I really did use up the whole budget, <laughs> didn't I? See, this is why we, we, can't, have, we can't. We can't have you guys could have done this without me. Ah, no, no way. Ooh, caddy bibs. Oh man, GSP caddy bibs, <laughs> dude. <laughs> well, I need, I need a, uh, I need like a golf uh, club set or like the, the, the a little tiny one with the Tim Flynn phone Yes. Be like, well, what do you think there? Range, range ruler two. Uh, two uh, range ruler. Now, nah, better go with the three. No, or, three. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. My goodness, I need a, uh, someone do <laughs> someone better than me at <laughs> Photoshop. Make me a judge caddy <laughs> of them just sitting there, just suggesting. Ooh, the three straight looks very good, sir. The <laughs> uh, I'm glad we can inspire you. It looks like we got some tight maneuvers here with Jack and a leap over. Gemmer, look like Gemmer just bump focused, taking advantage of that medium base and able to just wow. stay in the same position. Great, great uh, spot, we'll yeah. have to look out for that rear arc attack from Jag. But as we said before, Gemmer, no problem defending against one single one attack. One attack, even it's a big attack, even if it's like a big four dice hit, we, you can still really shrug that off. Eric, welcome, man. We appreciate you. You missed the betting, but I like your support of Paul Heaver here uh, for this game. Remember, this is top four. So guess what comes after that? It's the finals. Oh, we're going to be so excited. Everyone's going to be uh, crowded around the TVs in anticipation for that final. Who will make it? Will Paul? Paul's on trajectory. He could get his fourth world championship. What an honor. Uh, to be able to see him beat fourth, uh, fourth. That cannot be right. And it, it is. This guy cannot be that good. Uh, he actually <laughs> previously, if you can imagine, he previously won a world championship with B Wing. So this is kind of a homecoming wow. for him. Wow, that that is beautiful. Brings a tear to my eye. Uh, and a wax and an X Wing. 
Who is in the other top four match, William? Uh, in the other top four match, we have Marco facing off against Jorge. It is a Republic on Republic. Uh, it is. It looks like a mess oh, of it Republic is, ships. It is there. a scrum <laughs> over there, let me tell you. Well, I'm fortunate that we are able to watch this matchup yeah. instead. Uh, though it does make... Ooh, Ooh only one some, for Marco? Yeah, getting some wow. you know, real-time... Real time updates from yeah, seven seven to one in favor of Jorge. Yeah. So a uh, climb to come back, but I mean once those arcs start dropping, you're gonna be able to score a lot of points in this scenario. I'll be interesting to see if we have a Republic on Republic match. Can Paul defeat all of these arcs and take his fourth victory at the World Championship? I don't know. I don't know. Also, Marco was undefeated in Swiss, with big quotations around that, undefeated. <laughs> yeah, he did, he, did, he did say earlier, still undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't lost a game. Hasn't you know lost what? a game. Did get a Enough. few draws. Because <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he had two, three? Three. Three draws. Seven and three. <laughs> yeah, seven and three. <laughs> That is still that's an eight that's a, that's a the that's same still. same record as the eight an wins eight, eight and two yeah yeah uh, was probably better at SOS. Mm, I don't I guess so yeah, yeah I guess so because you're not playing anybody with losses yeah get out of here <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty impressive stuff uh, I mean I'm torn I'm torn all over the place here uh, torn who I upside want. down. Who I want to win. Uh, Ailey's been performing great here uh, uh, in the tournament yeah. as well, so certainly rooting for him. I just want everybody to win. Why can't we all win? Can we all win? Uh, Sherman, no. He, Paul Heaver is a three-time world champion. Was it a three-peat? Or like back-to-back-to-back? -to -back -to -back? Or the, I thought there was a gap in there. Nand was in there, I think, for one. Gotcha, yeah. So he is a three-time world champion, but... That, I mean, the stars do appear to be lining up Maybe. to have Paul be a four-time. Well, also, if I remember correctly, your bold prediction of no Rebels or Republic in the top four. You're looking pretty good right now. You're looking <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Only Republic in the It was a bold prediction. I did say it was a bold. <laughs> what was yours? Uh, I'm pretty sure I said no, FO. Uh, I don't remember now. I'll have to, we'll have to We're going to have to rewatch that because I thought I said no FO. There was no FO in the top cut. That's in true. In the top cut, yeah. Did I say uh, BO, BOE would win? Yeah, can someone go back and watch? Can you stop watching this? Oh, there you go, Nano. Nano, thank you so much. Scum uh, and CIS. Oh, one for uh, two. That's pretty uh, good. Okay. Okay. Scum, Scum did get in. Thanks to um, old Para. <laughs> Sherman, I'm sorry. He is a three-time world champion, Paul Heaver. It's true. It's true. We're going for the fourth here. Potentially, he's going to have to get through Illy, though. All right, here we go. This is what I've been okay. waiting for. I've been trying to uh, distract myself uh, in preparation okay. for this moment. Gina, we have a judge call, obviously. We're going we're gonna to mark down that obstacle real good that looks clear to me but you know i don't know it may it looks like they're trying to push it into the guides which means that they may not clear they're really pushing in there see see tuck, tuck it in you tuck shouldn't in. have wiggle room you should be lining up your hash mark of your template to the hash mark of your base that's a hot take <laughs> that, is, that is not a hot take here there shouldn't be wiggle that room. looks like it's clearing but like i said they could they could not be fully flush into the base are we gonna get a another mark somewhere either way this is going to be a friendly bump because it is, or a friendly overlap. So it is not gonna be able to do a red focus even if they weren't stressed and, and is going to have to. What are they marking that ship off for? No, they're just marking where they marked it. Oh, uh, that's smart. That's a good yeah, idea. That is something that I did see and I was like, I'm gonna have to steal that, thanks. That's a, that's a great <laughs> idea. He's always just like announced, it was like, I marked on the I marked left on hat. The left hat, yeah. Especially if you have to like mark it, some are, some are weird where you have to like mark it from the end of the template to 
Oh, it definitely does. Over oh, they're just railroading. Okay, gotcha. Just a little railroad here. They're being precise. Uh, Gina still on two. So even the friendly overlap would not be enough to destroy Gina at the moment. We still need one more damage Very. coming in if we do roll it. A very close maneuver here. Yeah, this Only looks like... Only the most precise. That's uh, why we have judges, yeah. multiple judges on yeah, standby hit. here. Let's hit the player cam real quick, see. Hopefully. <laughs> we see players watching Tim, intently. Tim, Tim and Chris just playing. While the player, while the real players just, that looks good. Yeah, uh, focus, please. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. What do you think of Aid? Do you think of Aid? Ah. <laughs> I go back and forth. <laughs> oh, okay. It looks like we're gonna have to move it back a little bit because the arc was a little bit in the way. So we're gonna create some Still. railroad tracks here, get the arc back in there, remark everything. They're trying to be precise. It's real hard, the I will say. The judges want to help out the players. <laughs> He's reinforcing his mark now. As master class in precision. What if he was just like, oh yeah, he moved out of turn, and now we're gonna have to undo this whole thing. <laughs> no, there's no other initiative fives out there, so Gina, I hope, is gonna be the last one to move here. <laughs> oh boy, all right, that was a railroading, or sliding the template back to where the it met the other template. Yep, Wolf's going back here. Epionic, thank you so much. A lot of fingernails out there. If you don't know the trick, if you like roll the template to where your fingernail is touching it, turns out your fingernail is not sweaty and it's not sticky, unless you've been sticking your finger into something. And <laughs> it's a lot easier to actually lift up your finger from the template or the ship mm -hmm. that way. You know, I like the te uh, the template technique as well. It's, uh, just the press down technique. with the little yeah. with the little range ruler helps. Now here's a big question: Who does Gina actually touch at range zero after the overlap? We know that it's not a enemy only overlap, but who is it actually going to be touching? It looks like it's going to be touching, from what we can tell, the arc. So it's going to be range zero of the arc. So it's going to be a range zero attack there. Because it is possible that they would have actually overlapped or bumped in, bumped, in bumped. quotations, overlap into the other B wing and would have actually had a range one on the arc. But this looks like a touching. It is touching uh, at uh, range wolf. zero of Wolf okay, there. Cool. We okay. had a very similar case earlier. Okay, we'll see. Uh, friendly the bump there, damage. takes the damage. Yeah. Hopefully they recognize that. that this ship wasn't. <laughs> if they did all that, I was like, well, the ship's destroyed. <laughs> I, think, I think Tim may have punched him. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, you let us do all of that. <laughs> I think they're excited that we're done. No, uh, we're excited that they're excited that the maneuver is done. Oh, okay. <laughs> They did it. <laughs> we did it, guys. Fantastic. We're moving along. Uh, we'll see. We'll try to get an update on the other top four game. Can you just confirm with the judges if they are going to allow more time for that, or? All right. We'll see. I believe we'll see. we Simple just question. saw not, a. Not to... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, we saw a one bank, looks like, from the X-Wing there, and a focus. Uh, remember, it looks like Wedge is carrying a crate, so is not going to be able to do any kind of boost or barrel rolls. Which is so sad, because they got those great linked actions. He does have such good linked actions. 
I do love link, the linked actions here. Oh, first roll here. Not so nothing there. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to spend the focus. Really don't want to take damage. It's still at full, for much. Yeah, well, there's uh, some rear, rear arc attacks, and you're up on points yeah, right now, don't, don't, and don't holding do a crate, so yeah. don't do anything too crazy. Ooh. Speaking of crazy, oh, he hit man. crit and re-rolls it into a hit, and adds the crit. Let me see one dodge here, and we're going to end up getting a disabled power regulator. And the crate drops Oh, that here. was the acquire proton torpedo lock yes. on the slider. Yes, indeed. Oh, we see Gina's wow. red lock out there used to fire her second proton torpedo. Disable power. Disable power. So we'll see an ion go down on to slider. Can take them out of the fight here. Uh, when they engage, they'll be ionized towards the board edge. Ooh, hot fire here from the arcs and all right we finally see Gina's Gina removed and that's probably the range zero from wolf yep range zero front arc from wolf what's up 13 to 4 Jorge's pulling ahead here uh looking like yeah my vote uh, was for public for that win over there oh cool <laughs> that's smart I, I, my bet my money was on arcs <laughs> my money was on arcs <laughs> all right we're into the initiative fours here this is be match sick So you got the, a reroll there and the focus, the double modified ion cannon turret here. Going to end up taking a damage and an ion on to Braylon. Oh no. Which means they're gonna be forced to stay stressed there. Uh not stressed. Yes, yes, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. Alright, we'll see Braylon. Does Braylon have a lock out there? I don't see one. But it's going to be, it looks like a cocked die there somehow in the, in the dice box. <laughs> Spend one of his two focuses. How did he get two focuses? Braylon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this ability. And boom, there we have it. Slider okay. gets taken out. We had Gina give. Gina gave Braylon the, the extra focus at the start yeah. of combat because she was stressed. We'll see broadside to be able to fire into Braylon as well. Just going to spin that focus and go ahead and hand him a damage and another ion. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't really need to, but what else are we doing here? <laughs> well, there could be some weird things in there. There's a Gemmer, I guess. Gemmer's going to fire into Wolf. Most uh, that rear that turret is to the rear, so oh real yeah, so I definitely like that. definitely like could that. be and cannot fire at wolf um because they don't have a primary yeah. uh, weapon out the front. But first, before we get there, we're gonna go to Keo with that juke attack. Ooh, juke onto. We'll see. What do you think the? We assume it's wolf here. We'll see what the defense dice say. Yep. Yes. Uh, one of eight anyway, so no problem. There. Yeah, it would have been three agility for... I think the, with the juke, though, right? Did he roll one of eight? I think he rolled natural of eight. We'll double check the yeah, damage on it. Probably... That's a May, so... It's be a rear arc shot. It looks to be range one onto Braylon. Hit, hit, crit from that Oof. rear arc. Yeah. And rolls a focus. He spent one of them earlier, but still had another one, so we're still good there. Keeping track of that. Uh, it's going to take two more shields onto Braylon. Uh, Doc going into Gemmer with a focus token. Smart target priority there. Yeah. So this All is right. Gemmer firing Range. back into Jag. Uh, going to be able to knock off two shields. A uh, shield and a damage card. No damage on Wolf. It's confirmed. I think he had a focus token, so I guess the juke really didn't matter there. And all born for this. All the born for this is really just negate juke. So Paul, Paul probably just gave yeah. up on trying to keep it true. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We are moving in to the next round here. Braylon's ionized. Who uh, is still holding a... Objective, Gemmer. 
Jammer, however you want to say his name. I, I Wedge. Do, who did Slider lost one? That's the only Slider, one. Slider is the, the one only, who That lost is the only one. one that we lost. So, so that ends up being two to two there. Two to two for objectives. Somehow a very close game still with losing just Gina and Oddball and Illy, uh, Illy having a couple more objective points is actually going to still pull ahead by two, which is those two objective points. Yeah, very, very close. Even though he is down technically a ship. Good check. I'll get these dice out of here. Don't want to bother the players. This is an intense game. Already an hour into it. Stress levels are high. Uh, as this is the top four. One of these players will move on to the finals. Very excited and proud to be able to provide this coverage to you. I hope you are all Absolutely. are enjoying it. I wish you could make it out to the next year's Worlds. Should be an exciting time. Would love to see all of you guys in person and met so many new faces and, of course, uh, seeing old friends again as well. Really has been an exciting experience. Uh, Reinvigorate. Re Reinvigorated. <laughs> It's I like when you, when, you, back when, yeah, when you when you <laughs> when you vinegar something and then you're like, you know what, I think that needs a re vinegaring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, Anyways, man. I'm gonna be looking at building more of these <laughs> spots. You're feeling reinvigorated. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got the vigor back in me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, I really want to try out uh, more of these B wings. I'm a little shy about them because uh of, of I've tried them. They're, they're, I, I, they're hard to manage sometimes, but the yeah. firepower they bring is so strong. And the defensiveness they bring with yeah. the reroll. That's like two agility. It's basically two agility. <laughs> if you think about it. With that, it's a trap. You're getting an, a reroll on your blank dice if you are if you manage to do it right. And you're also getting the extra shield there, which is essentially like a loadout points uh, worth of, of yum yums there and uh, are we doing assault in the final well we did button no. presses last round no no no. I, I think they continued from yesterday they continued from so yesterday. we don't know it's random okay yeah interesting all right we do see Keo come around the bend with an evade is it an evade <laughs> I mean, Juke, Juke does make your action tree de or your I, decision tree a lot easier. Yeah. Like have just like taking that, especially with the force, taking that uh, decision, like you said, decision tree of do I evade or do I? Well, I mean, I I, I brought Juke, so I might as well evade. <laughs> All right, this is the semi-finals, quarterfinals kind of weirded me out. I was like, what is quarterfinals? This is the top four. This is the, the one more game after this, if that makes sense. Over oh, 6,000 viewers. Thank you guys so much for watching. 6,000? No, 600. Oh, geez. There, there will be a time adjustment. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just not sure exactly what it is. I just okay. information that it is happening. Okay, well, we figured with how long that... Judge maneuver. Now imagine so, if it was in so. one, you would just go fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're gonna. Uh, Dion just confirmed that there will be an extended stoppage time for this table specifically, uh, and the judges will obviously be keeping that secret because they don't want to inform the table of that uh, when the round's going to end. Uh, X wings, much for fun. When you. Uh, where every round could be the last round. Right, and uh, the main thing for me is just like, can we remove the ability for someone to game or mm, yes. use something to an advantage that would not normally be, be like, within their control to take advantage yeah. of? Oh, um, three points up. Uh, cool, time. Oh, three minutes left. Okay. Or, uh, or 15 minutes left. Cool, I'm gonna take forever on my dial so to make sure we use all 15 uh, minutes. I just really wanna look at this dial again. Yeah. So, so it actually has been our, really, our judges really actually, great if, for if you competitive did, play. If you didn't see the judges going around in the, in the past few days, they've actually been going around to all the tables and marking where each player is. 
and like what round in, it is. In, in what turn, yeah. In what turn, sorry, what turn it is, mm -hmm. and kind of like collating some averages for each player. That way they know where, uh, right. where about where they are in a normal game. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, the stream games do get a little bit more, uh, quote unquote, attention. attention. Yeah. So we d we'll definitely take that into account. But, you know, they have gone through all of the different things. Uh, I did want to address, just briefly, uh, what Dials and Dice had asked uh, about any new announcements for X-Wing. They did hold a panel today, if you're not aware, um, but the panel did uh, only uh, talk about Shatterpoint, Legion, and MCP. There's a lot of new products uh, that they wanted to share for Shatterpoint, which did take up a lot of that panel's time. Uh, so. At this point, uh, we have no new information from Adepticon, oh, but that's not to say that there's no information available. Uh, we still were previewed uh, the Starwing last year, so we're very excited for that. This is Wedge's advanced proton torpedo into Finally Wolf. Finally got it off. Wow, it does a huge attack, does four damage into Wolf, and that, that looked like a fuel leak if I saw it, I saw it right. Yep, you're going to suffer a crit there and have to drop their crate. Oh, more importantly, the crate, right? They're the cash. I believe it's technically crate cash or... Cash. Cash crate. Box. People always have fun little nicknames for it. No way we're already on to Oddball. Or a broadside. Okay, another shield on to um, broadside. Um, there, there might be some confusion. That's a charge uh, next to a face down charge next to Wolf, uh, not an ion token. They do look similar. I can see that. I didn't know Jack was ionized. How would how would Jack get ionized? He's not. I don't think so. Yeah, this is the wolf charge. Rolling hit, hit, crit back into Braylon, I believe. Ooh, the rear arc. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a trap there. So Braylon, gonna be taking hit, hit, crit. Uh, I only saw one card go down, actually. Structural damage. Structural damage. Oh boy, no. I'm Braylon. Yeah, no more, and it's a trap for you. You have been trapped. Wow, going at. Wow, that is a interesting. They're going to go at Jimmer before they get away. Or was that Jimmer? That, no, there's no way that Jimmer took that damage. Yeah, we're gonna shoot range one. And remove Braylon. She gone. Ion can, of course, doing a one damage plus ion tokens, but it turns out if you have more hits than uh, evade dice. Twenty-one ten, Jorge takes the victory and moves on to the finals. Uh, Mexican American uh, player, uh, both not just <laughs> not just uh, the same, but uh, Jorge representing uh, both countries here as he moves into the finals. Jag down two. Now we are casting on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. Can you give them that link by chance? YouTube? HD, HD Wood was asking about it. I think we, I don't know if we have an exclamation point. YouTube, but. Oh, looks like a direct uh, hit. Yeah. To take yeah. out. Wolf's gone. A bunch of... <laughs> So many cards, it's hard to pick them all up, and Wolf's removed from the board, uh, which is going to put 
16 points. to 17. There's a lot of crates dropped as well. We'll see what the numbers end up. I think I one ball has two. Jack has one and Matchstick has one. So I think it's still two to two. I see only a single crate out there yeah. on the board. Oh, We're going to go ahead and see what the players think the score is. Yep. And it looks like confirmed 18 have to they clean, 19. Have they cleaned up? Well, this is long before stoppage time would normally occur. Plus, I think they have. Stoppage is, is about to be 72. I just want to make sure they cleaned up everything. But they, it sounds like they got a, at least some time extension. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right, 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 so right. right. The time extension, uh, but I, I will say Elias is shook right now. He yeah. is shook it. Yeah. Like demeanor right now, people yeah. are super calm. Elias is very antsy right now. Okay. Yeah. It's still anybody's okay. game though, for sure. Okay. Elias is hungry for the win. He, he sees the possibility. Yeah. Sees the possibility, Paul. Calm as ever. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, that was a good attack. <laughs> You know, it'll be interesting here if no ships are destroyed, uh, Alliance uh, just takes the victory. So it is, will be on Paul to knock off one of these crates and at least tie it uh, 20 to 20. Uh, we will be in uh, requiring the roll-offs if it does end up being... Information. Yes. So the time extension will be somewhere between two and four minutes. Okay. Similar, it, it might not matter. Okay. All just, right. just confirming yeah. that if they are tied 20 to 20 and there's more time on the clock remaining, they will continue to play up to 12 rounds. It is only if oh, you are no. tied and time has uh, been expired. Oh, no. That's when you do the road. We see a proton bomb drop. Nope. That's nope. an ion bomb. Yep, that's okay. an ion bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, you, you, can't, well yep. you can't roll out of that one, Jimmer. <laughs> yeah, interesting. It's really up to Wedge here to try to knock this crate off of uh, It's going to be real, real hard-pressed to do so because he doesn't have a great baby a two-bank. Doesn't hit that rock and lines up bullseye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pressure's on here. We'll see if there is a uh, path to victory for either one of these players. It really comes down to the objectives as most high quality, or I wouldn't say high level of play actually right. does. Yeah. Uh, Do you the objectives the is like the only thing that isn't based on dice. It you is pick guaranteed crate, things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad they fixed Scramble as well. Oh, gonna, scramble. gonna be my biggest Ooh, thank you. That was Keo. Does Keo still have their force? No, they spent it. I don't see it positive over there. Remember, they will get a small extension. We'll see how long they have. Uh, I assume the players know that there's a small extension. Yeah. Two Bank does line up the focus bullseye there okay. for Predator. My wings have set their their, <laughs> their sights <laughs> yeah the the wirings with their primaries can do critical damages to wedge predator it's like, yeah, I, think so. So. I think so <laughs> who oh, gets all three here but no. no crits it's a range two attack i think i don't think two damage on to jang okay so he the evade and stays alive Yep, five cards. Okay, I, was, I thought he was throwing them down like no, nope. he had miscounted. Nope. Okay, so Whew. it's going to be up to Keo uh, to potentially destroy Jank. We'll see what the Y Wings have to say in return, Rings though. Two. Gonna get an extra focus. Very the important. Focus. That's not a main. That's a must. The it's a trap for having a little partner out there. Always pair up your wedge with another ship. Oh, I think they may be going into Keo. That may be an interesting choice. Ooh. That may that may get all three shots on the Keo. A lot yeah. weaker on defense. Right. We'll get more not, dice. Not two focuses. <laughs> yeah. We'll get, we'll get more dice, but less modifications on them. Yeah. So we'll see what they have One to say. One hit. So he's, well, this is Matchstick re-rolling because of the red token. Going right. to get two. Wedge re-rolls, gets two. Oh, it's into Wedge. Okay. Yeah, 
The bomb doesn't do any damage, so it should be. Yeah, fine. the bomb is just an ion. We'll remind them if well, there's time. Don't the touch it, round. yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's two next, hits. That's the next turn problem. Two hits, or sorry, two evades so from Kyo. did switch to Kyo yeah. there. Wow. Kyo keeps the crate. We're whispering now as we I don't, know, want to. I'm, I'm, <laughs> don't want to. Yeah, don't want to. interfere with the game. Jack here, shot, but range I'm very three. That could be obstructed, but we'll see if it matters. Well, they, the, they think it matters because they... Oh, no, okay. Two, two hits. hits. No crits, though. Two and Kyo dodges. I think that's going to be the, the end of the game. We'll see if nope. Kyo even fires. There it is. Gets a hit into Jack. Gets, gets the, the evade. evade. And there we have the handshake with the points. We're going to go... 21 21 yeah is there time remaining yeah is there time remaining do they have another round chris do they have another round are they can you find out if they're still playing <laughs> can you find out <laughs> <laughs> well yeah what was the time i mean I, if they're saying it's time then they're going to call road i believe is the I, I the crowd that. is forming in anticipation. I don't know they're tied, yeah, but it, it was a draw confirmed at time. Oh, there it goes to Illy. <laughs> Illy gets the crit and moves on. <laughs> oh, man, Paul did everything he could to try to get to that, that timeline where he would have been able to go, but Illy is able pulls off to the victory. <laughs> pull off the wow. victory. Wow. Uh, moves on and to the final. Germany moving into the finals okay. against uh, Mexico America. All right. <laughs> that's um, three countries. That's, that's three countries in the final. The iron bomb hits at the <laughs> Just to be sure that it did. All right. That was fantastic. What an exciting game. Edge of my seat for the whole game. Well, <laughs> Maybe not the 10-minute, but uh, maneuvers. <laughs> the I, maneuvers. Was at, I was at the edge of my seat for all of the action oh, uh, there. Yeah, and there's, the, the, there's the dice cup. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> dice cups indeed. Illy moves on to the finals. We have a giveaway we can do. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I don't know if this is appropriate, but okay. We don't have it on okay. camera, but they are very excited for the... Uh, Ailey to move on to the final to have a bite at the apple. Could he be the world champion? The last European uh, left in the event. Obviously, Paul Heaver has many uh, accomplishments in X-Wing. And today, the Geist, uh, Dice Gods have denied him the opportunity to get his fourth world title. Still an amazing... Yeah, stop being so greedy, Paul. You got three already. <laughs> you really need still a Still, obviously, an amazing, uh, well-earned... Uh, he only won, like, 12 games. <laughs> so... Yeah, Paul, was, great job. Great job, Paul. Job Thank Paul. you so much for joining. Uh, Marco as well, our other top four finisher. Amazing job. Had been undefeated up until the top four, which is... Uh, a extremely impressive uh, statistic. We're going to give away a thing. What's our new uh, yeah, code word so be? We in, need code in, words. In, in honor of Illy moving on, having a – he was very nervous. <laughs> uh, our code word to get into the giveaway is going to be Illy. I'll make sure that – They can type it. They can type it real quick. It would be funny if you made it an emo. All right. So hit us with so that I L L Y I L L Y. There it is. You start seeing it. You the start chat. seeing it. Just copy those guys. Illy, <laughs> they get it. We need the illy, 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 illy. <laughs> Let's show off. Is that going to be? Is that going to be the uh, the chant if Illy makes it through? That's illy, the illy, chant. Illy. Like he's got all of Europe, <laughs> Europe behind him. I'm sure rooting for uh, oh their um, last dice. contender. I got to show off. Uh, it's hard the, to show dice. Well, oh, there we go. <laughs> get your Red Bulls. <laughs> Unofficial sponsor. Unofficial sponsor here. Where is that oh, dice? Oh boy. Beautiful stuff. Get the stretch Be out of my shot too, please. Oh, yeah. Look at those beautiful dice. <laughs> That's uh, uh, hard to see the mar It's very hard to see on the camera, but these are the I'm new. Trying to see the most marbly, marbly side it. there. Yeah. Fantastic. Anyways, we are. 
giving away that. We got a bunch of cool stuff. We got, we got full, full art cards. We this got is the, the new soon tier with the uh, yeah, yeah soon tier. All that's going in here. Illy, I L L Y. I L L Y. I love right. you with an extra L. All right, roll it. Roll it. Big Ginger 21 gets it. Has been that. here with us almost all day. I know. I it's feel like all weekend almost. Well, so thank I you need so to much that. for for uh, sticking with us till it. We need you to go exclamation point win Big so, Ginger. Yeah, there are some stipulations for this to make sure uh, the shipping will need to be paid by you. So depending on where you live, if you want that, or if you do have someone here or you are local, you can actually come pick it up. So it's up to you. Just let us know here in the chat if you can, if you're going to be picking up local or if you are going to uh, request the shipping. Yeah, if you trust you do get someone. Some, you do get some little extras if you do the shipping, That's but true. you do have to pay the additional cost for that. All right, looks like they're too busy filling out that win form, uh, but <laughs> congratulations. Uh, we are moving into the finals, Dion. What an exciting finish to that last game. There is Round 18. They, they, like bo both, both Paul was like, "Man, I needed one more round," and Elias was like, "I had a win condition still." Like, <laughs> pop, off the, pop off the crate, right? Sure, like, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, pop it. Uh, yeah. That was that was close. Uh, till till the last shot, till the last dice roll. All right, you gave all the people the most the, likes. Most oh, likely I shipping. guess I guess we can pay out the betting. Uh, technically, there was a winner, but the right side, player two. Player two. Yeah, player two. Player yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Player two. It was, was a winner. In the, I was getting confused because we're facing this way, they're facing that way, but then the camera's reversed. That's too much to reverse them for me. You got it. You did it. I assume they're going to take a small break. Uh, they, they are getting set up pretty quickly. Okay. Well, we're hitting you with the weight screen. Yeah, things are we'll getting right back. <laughs> things are getting torn down around us. <laughs> yeah. We have a hard out at three. Whatever. Press the button.
Hey guys, this is my whisper voice as we 
join you here just moments before the game starts. This is the final, the last game, everything on the line. The World Championship, huge trophy, a whole, an entire year of bragging rights. Of course, both these players should be very proud to get to the final tables. An extreme accomplishment. I think we're about to start. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast, and we're coming to you live from the final of the X-Wing World Championships of X-Wing here at Adepticon. We have had the LCQ. We had two days of Swiss, a total of 10 rounds. We've had the top 16, 8, 4, and we are here now at the final. Today, I'm joined by my good friend... That's me, William Hegwood Gold 3. <laughs> That's right. So we are super excited here. The full crew, James Ritter by the table, making sure that we know what crits are happening. Shout out to uh, Jason Grimm. He's uh, moderating the chat and making sure that everything's good on his side of the table. Will and I will be on the mics. We're super excited to be here. Shout out to AMG and Adepticon for allowing us to be here, providing us with the equipment. Uh, well, not the equipment necessarily, but the internet connection and the yes. power that we needed to bring you this. And of course, the space and just the permission to be here. Shout out to our patrons for making this happen and our Twitch subscribers. Without you, we would not be able to bring you this coverage. Today, we have Jorge Castaneda, who is representing Mexico and the United States versus I want to I'm going to try really hard it's Elias Iclomides it's pretty it's close to that I'm sorry if I butchered that again my friend but we're super excited to be here both amazing players one of these two people is going to be the world champion will I'm so excited to find out which of these squads uh, has what it takes uh, to get that exclusive bragging rights of the world championship. Well, you know what? For everybody at home, you might have an opinion as to who is going to win this game. It is Republic on Republic. There's going to be some dependency on the player order role. That's going to matter a ton in this game. Uh, we have some similar, uh, some same ships, not quite exactly the same uh, loadouts on everything, not the, exactly the same pilots, but it's going to be great. Everybody at home, it is time for you to choose your champion. You got eight minutes. Make it happen. All right, Again, the Clone Wars have. The win <laughs> yes, they have. All right, Will, let's go ahead and start breaking down these lists. All right, let's start with Jorge Castaneda here. He's utilizing the three SOC arcs at Siege of Coruscant, Oddball, Wolf, and Jag. All of them can utilize uh, extra dice rerolls oddball when he does a red maneuver or a red action he can acquire a lock he could even give that lock to a friend wolf gets his rerolls through either wolfpack or his pilot ability to reroll a dice out mm -hmm. the front jag gets their rerolls from when a friendly in their side arc attacks they get to acquire a lock so a lot of rerolls there that's their main offensive tool for defense they're looking at born for this they mm -hmm. can share their focus tokens among each other yep uh for at the cost of a strain big uh upgrade on them as well is veteran tail gunner all of these arcs can shoot forward yep and backwards every time they engage uh, other things of note are the r4p astromechs they can reduce the difficulty of a basic maneuver we're looking at those hard threes and four forward becoming white yep and then things like the hard two become blue great for clearing that strain you get from born for this Normally, though, we got to look out for Oddball's selfless. If Oddball's in the attack arc, he can absorb a crit off of the defender. And with the extra shield he gets, uh, it's a great uh, tool to use to keep your friends, your other clones, your brothers alive in the battle. We do have two other 
Siege of Coruscant ships here, Kickback and mm -hmm. Axe. Both of them are six hull torrents. Uh, both of them have munitions here, Diamond Boron missiles for Kickback and Barrage rockets for Axe. Uh, both of them really, so Jorge loves to take evades with these torrents because they have born for this as well. You could throw that evade to another ship and they can instantly convert a green dice to an evade. A very, very powerful defensive mechanic. Uh, then uh, last but not least is boost down there at the bottom of your screen. Boost uh, is an initiative three Z95 and at the start of engagement, they could form a boost maneuver as long as they or a friendly at range zero yep. one have performed a blue maneuver. Uh, this boost also has Predator equipped for some offensive rerolls. So if you're starting to see a theme here, yep. Dion. <laughs> sure am. Now, before we start uh, taking a look at Elias's list, um, if you have, if you are new to the stream, maybe you haven't watched in a while, you will know who the player or what the player order is by checking, checking out the top of your screen. We have the timer right in the top center, and we have these two areas on the left and the right. If you see our Gold Squadron uh, player token on the left side, of course, Jorge is the first player, and if you see on the right side, it's Elias. So for if the, just make sure there's no confusion. It helps us, helps you guys at home yep. as well. There's a lot of initiative overlap for blocking, yep. maneuvering, shooting. Mm -hmm. All of that's going to really be affected by that. Uh, we say robe, but it's random order after dials yes. uh, to assign player order. Yeah. So, and let's and let's make sure that we <laughs> we make sure we, that we reiterate that uh, you're going to hear us say road probably quite a bit yes. in this matchup because there's a lot of overlap. Literally, some of the exact same pilots on both squad on both squads. Road, R O A D, random order after dials. Um, exactly. A couple of people in the in the chat saying, "Oh my gosh, are they are they just jousting?" Hey, listen, both of these players likely had similar setups, mm -hmm. similar ideas. We're playing scramble to. Transmissions. Right. We have three objective markers out there. Mm -hmm. You use your action to claim it. Exactly. Whoever has them claimed at the end of the turn gets the point. Uh, starting in round two, which we are about to start right now. Yep. Here we go. It'll be very interesting to see which player has the opportunity and uh, the motivation to get to those objectives mm -hmm. early. We see here Boost going right for it. Oh but just focuses. It's gonna focus. So, and, and that's gonna be part of the game of, the, of chicken, right? It's right. like, all right, if you use your action, action to end up claiming, are you avoiding defense, offense? It's a bit of a half and half because, of course, you claim, your opponent doesn't, you get the point, but you might take damage, but would you die, right? That's kind of the, True. you might not lose a ship, it might be worth it to have it on for the next turn. I don't know, there's there's a lot of ifs and ands in this one, especially with right. so much overlap. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here at Elias's list. We got the same oddball that we had earlier, same wolf. This is where things start getting a little bit different. And the same Jag as well. We have Matchstick in the in the BTL Y-Wing. Ion Bombs, Ion Cannon Turret. The Ion Cannon Turret being three dice can be uh, shot at range one to two, potentially giving Ions, but probably more important for the Y-Wing, it's always potentially doing one damage. By the way, we just saw a claim on the right side. Mm -hmm. Eli is going to be the blue side of our GSP token there. The other Y-Wing we have here is Broadside, who's able to change one blank to a focus when attacking out of the side arc and the weapon on there is also an ion cannon turret and then we also have on this squad slider that's our side to side bendy barrel rolling um z95 so super excited about this again some yeah. similar tech uh but it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how it is both these players have played a ton of rounds of x-wing yes. this is uh 10 plus 4 their 14th 14th game round of, of just x -wing. this event oh yes correct of just this event and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough, you know. Um, some of the some of the times people wonder like, well, how how does this list get here, get there? The, they have risen through <laughs> through the crucible of of many many rounds of X Wing, and uh, neither of them were from the LCQ. They were both qualified. Actually, let's go ahead and talk about their accolades here a little bit. Uh, yes, Jorge Castaneda did win the Vancouver 
uh, World Qualifying Open. He was the finalist at the Las Vegas as well, mm -hmm. uh, flying this exact same list. He knows it uh, forwards, backwards, ups upside down, in his sleep, he knows yep. every trigger, how to take advantage of the uh, things that his ships can do to uh, not only mitigate damage, but to modify their attack dice as well. Now, what about uh, Ely? Ely on the other side, player out of Germany, and uh, won a store championship so that he was able to get his invite here to the World Championships of X-Wing, but uh, does, has a lot of experience um, uh, playing X-Wing, has been playing since 2015, and uh, is just looking looking forward to potentially becoming the world champion. The I mean, it's, champion. it's crazy, man. Like, it's... There are so many X-Wing players in the world, and both these players started this weekend. Sure, with everybody has that like faint hope, but you're, you know, in the back of your mind, you're like, eh, I'm, a, I'm at least here to have fun. I'm going to do the best I can. Mm -hmm. But they, they've gotten all the way to the final. And I will tell you, with, with some great storylines here as well, we started with a top four with four player, uh, with three players that had never been this far in the top cut of the world championships, plus a three-time world champion in Paul Heaver. Yes, so yes. you had three people and everybody from different countries of origin as well, right? And we, we end here, Jorge representing, he's, he, I asked him what flags does he want represented next to his name. He's, he goes, he goes, the United States and Mexico. I want them both. And I was like, all right, cool. We'll put them up there. Elias, he said Germany. So, you know, there there is some, uh, you know, some, some of that pride that that we have you know sports style yes. to kind of see where exactly. where is this world championship going to go um, from my memory and please correct me if I'm wrong chat or will there has not been a a, a Mexican champion no right and there has not been a German champion either uh, Nand was Nand was I, Netherlands or I, Polish I I don't I don't exactly know but I don't believe it was German I could be wrong. Again, help us out. Fact, Nan, fact where was Nan Torf's? <laughs> fact, fact check us, guys. All right. But anyway. Uh, back, back to the action here. Uh, big round two event here. Elias was able to claim all three objectives before Jorge mm -hmm. could get in there. Uh, will it affect his attacks and defense this round, losing out on those modifications? We'll see. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, extra modifications yeah, I can get with those free target locks. Yeah, Nand, Nand from uh, Belgium. from Belgium. So, okay, so. Um, close to Germany <laughs> I mean. is my understanding, but not that's not Germany. So, not Germany. Uh, but yeah, this is again this is where that player order ends up mattering, right? Why does Jorge not claim the the, the objectives? Well, because Elias able to just be like, no, this is mine. Claim them back. Yeah, this yes. is this is mine. Thank you. Yes. So you know, that's Jorge smart. instead, I'm going to take my modifications because I know that this is going to be a three zero objective round. There it is. We see uh, what I believe should be uh, one of the arcs there at the top for Jorge did end up claiming that okay. back. It's Wolf. We can see it uh, mm -hmm. by his red base and the charge token following him behind. So uh, able to uh, take one of those back. And then... We're, all, we're looking to boost. I was like, I don't think yep. you can claim right here. Or <laughs> 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 New rules are the final. <laughs> so there we go. This is the advantage boost has over slider. With slider, of course, slips every other turn. That's the two charges mm -hmm. we have out there available. Turns his two bank into a two slip. Does have dedicated, but he's off by himself. Not very, not very dedicated to helping his friends, like, let me tell you. <laughs> get in there, bud. And yeah. Jorge did something similar with, with his boost last time. Yes. He was coming from the other side but he had him kind of on the flank and then mm -hmm. coming into the center. So yeah. it seems to be some type of standardized setup or some some a flight path that he really enjoys there. No, yeah. It, Jorge anticipates that start of mm -hmm. engagement boost and now has lined up a great shot on to a defenseless broadside. They're all defenseless. There, there's an arc with a focus token nearby. So True. hardly defenseless. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make sure we listen in here, so that we get all these right calls. Make sure we know who's to who. We're gonna start with the I fives here, oddball. Oh, 
Okay, so Diamond Boron here first from Kickback going into Bronside here. That Diamond Boron three dice long range missile, but only one. Take. Will we see on ball born for this? He does. He doesn't want to. Just takes one shield off of Bronside. All right. So is is that a is that a good enough of a trade? A shield for uh, for a single charge on a missile? Well, they got Kickback's got three of them, mm -hmm. so should be fine. So oddball, it looks like Bronside's gonna be the target here. All right. We'll see where he ends up choosing to go. Likely gonna go for a range, I heard a range three shot here. Yeah, still a lot of health out there uh, for Illy. Uh, both these are, I would consider, beefless. Yeah, big time. All right, hit crit. And squiggle. Two hits, two blanks. All right, looks like we're gonna trigger. Uh, this is Jag now acquiring the lock. Uh, all of Illy's locks are circular, all of Jorge's locks are square. So mm -hmm. it keeps it even there. We got two hits coming in. Spend the lock, trying to dig for the third one. And that's a focus. Uses action to claim. Uh, so one damage there, a second one on to what looks like oddball. At least oddball. You said uh, two? Two, yep, I see right here on the screen, two damage. Hit crit. Single squiggle. Two hits now uh, with the lock here from Jag. Ooh, two blanks. That's three hits going into the opposing, into Jorge's oddball. Yep, we're gonna see two damage cards getting put down on it as well for both those attacks. Jag just keeps acquiring that same target lock yep. over and over. All right, we're checking the range there from boost spends that focus nice for two. okay and another damage off of bronzeside if we miss the damage guys we'll, we'll just uh, we'll get it updated yeah around a lot of the same ships <laughs> going back and forth here and these players are excited to attack here's Jorge's jank going into elias's oddball and that's going to be two or one one hit one to two. At least a shield. I didn't see the didn't see the damage card. Third dice out of the box. Only a single hit. And you're gonna block it with the focus token. Yep. So it looks like there's a small discussion. There was some double checking. Yeah, the double checking. As a note, Jorge did just come off of a similar mirror match. Mm -hmm. So already uh, has a chance to learn from any mistakes he made in the previous round. But we are gonna see that lock reacquired here. Um, we should be looking for an ax barrage rocket. I think that's what we saw the single hit was yeah. from. And then what uh, Axe does is he hands a fresh lock off to somebody in his side arc. No, he was pointing with his middle finger. That's... No. <laughs> <laughs> 
All righty. Okay, so we, he's going to give, not only does Jack acquire a lock for Axe shooting, uh, Axe is going to give Oddball a free lock as well. Love that combination of yep. Axe and Jank. Really can get the, some extra modification out there. Broadside with the Ion Cannon turret. Dodges it. One for one. Now this shot seems to be going into Oddball. On George's side. George. Did I say George? Yeah. Jorge, sorry guys. <laughs> American came out. Mur, my, my, my. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, and spends for two. We got a target lock though. Digging for a third, didn't get it. Hit crit coming in, and Range we're gonna spin, but I think that is a critical damage. Yeah, we're gonna see critical damage going down on two. Disabled power regulator. Disabled power regulator going in. Okay, we, we get the score here. Two to one, we'll double check uh, the damage counts here. That's two can. for Elias, right? Two for Elias, correct. All right, cool, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and uh, double I'll check take that. a peek at the cards and the shield counts here. If you, uh, could you just give me one moment? Yep. So for everybody at home, uh, you are watching the finals of the World Championships of X-Wing. Thank you so much for joining us. We have a great match going on here. Jorge Castaneda versus Elias Economides. Shields down. And then two um, shields off of. So shields down, one more shield off of Willis. <laughs> All right. I thought, I thought, no, 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 Jorge has, oh yeah, sorry, on Elias's, yeah. Any other shields damages? Down, and then broadside. Outside. Two shields. Yeah. So all that's good. Wait. So we're we're good there. Yep. Yep. Hey, we did yep, it. We just missed one shield. Nice. There's a lot of oddball and oddball <laughs> shooting there. A lot of target locks being acquired. Yeah. Let me tell you. Uh, but uh, thankfully, uh, Jorge did rec did not allow the triple score there. That's no. that is the potential death sentence when you're in these scramble situations. You can let one maybe go for some of the game or whatever, but you cannot. Uh, a triple? No, no uh, you no cannot no. Allow, allow a triple. I mean, that's a third of your total score if you don't, or uh, if you let that go for two rounds, that's yep. almost a third of the total points you need to win. Yeah. So it yeah. gives them a huge advantage. Uh, let's, say, let's get the players here. We'll get the, yeah, we'll get the player. And then we'll yeah. do we'll do that afterwards. Then, yeah, we'll set it up. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the players here. Uh, double check our score and our rounds going into round three here, Dion. Fantastic. Uh, then we'll go ahead, switch back to the table here. We'll see if James can set us up a shot of the lovely crowd forming here. They got TV set up. People are able to mm -hmm. watch it. You don't have to huddle around the very tight space around uh, the table. Uh, do you remember the Coruscant uh, Stadium? I do. I do remember that. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Uh, throwback to uh, Roseville, <laughs> where they had a, uh, a le legitimate stadium set up in their gaming yep. area. Uh, all of the worlds have been very exciting, uh, but to be honest with you, uh, I'm most excited for these worlds that have been close to our home. Yes, Adepticon being our local it's our, it's our local convention. yeah exactly so it's you know it's our home here at adepticon can, can i tell so you what my favorite it. thing about it is if something breaks i can, I, go, get I, I can go get it <laughs> <laughs> uh that's true we got to bring up all the extra stuff that we don't normally bring to this event like our banner wall uh like uh extra equipment extra cords uh so it's really uh, a time where we can Okay. <laughs> well, they'll be. They'll see it. So. <laughs> oh, uh, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna switch over to uh, the crowds here while we finish up this planning uh, phase. It was players cam. We want to see that crowd. Yeah, raise it up. Everybody excited for it. Uh, fantastic. There's. You know what's gonna happen? They're they're gonna come up on the screen and they're gonna woo again. They're gonna woo. <laughs> 
<laughs> they did. Yeah, <laughs> told you, I told you. <laughs> awesome, fantastic. Yeah, big crowd is formed here. Everyone's excited, rooting on their favorites here uh, for the finals. Um, I had somebody ask or somebody mention uh, we missed you, Dion. Listen, it's good to be back. It's good to be back in the booth with our with our guys. Mm -hmm. I know that I've been busy doing music stuff, but uh, and I still got music stuff to do. But I'll, I'll be around. I'll pop, like I said, like we said when I first had to take my sabbatical, right? It's like I'll pop in. You never know. Yes. You never know when I'll show up. <laughs> I mean, I'm, we're so glad to have you back here. It's good to be here. Uh, someone actually asked. Uh, where they can find out about the music you have been working on if you want to do a little self-promotion. Yeah, I mean... Working hard. Yeah, so right now, so there's nothing... All the recordings, that's all, like, in process. I will tell you, the, the publishing industry is very slow. Sure. It's extremely slow. Become my friend on Facebook. You'll see it all there. I, I'll okay. post links and things like that as things become available. Uh, that's that's really the You've best mostly way. Mostly been working on musical books, right? Sheet music, right? Sheet music and things like that. Um, I will tell you, I am working on an album. Okay. But that's 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 a whole whole other thing. Um, and you, you you'll you'll see plenty more from me. Send me a friend request on Facebook. You'll get to see a bunch of stuff. It'll be it'll be great. And if you have questions. Just, uh, just shoot, shoot me messages. I'm not gone. I'm just around. I'm just a little, a little busy. No, we're, we're very proud of what you've accomplished in uh, your musical career, man. Yeah. We don't, we don't want uh, to uh, disrupt that as it's going so well. It, it, it's going pretty good. <laughs> Glad to hear it here. We did see that was Jag cut towards the center, but did end up overlapping the. Uh, Illy's broadside had to take that overlap focus yep. here again. Jorge is uh, first player. The road so important in this matchup. I can't can't be underestimated uh, that uh, while you can have perfect positioning, perfect ideas, yep. there is there's just a lot of randomness that can happen in oh, X wing. Yeah. But you have to you have to account for it. That's, That's right. what makes you a stronger player. Uh, most of these arcs are accounting for it by just shoving as many mods like, as they can at the I'm dice. so thick. But you can't, Here's my tokens. But you can't modify the road <laughs> roll. So you can, you cannot. That is, uh, that is the um, not quite a uh, coin flip, but it's essentially what it is. Mm, yes, more or less. Yeah, it's a funner coin flip. It's, it's a more fun coin flip. Yeah, more dramatic. I will say, I got a slow motion um, video of the top four roll off. The angle wasn't very good, but I'm going to check the video, see if it's worth posting. <laughs> but super excited to be here. I did on our Instagram, we did post pictures of uh, of the top four and of the finalists here. If you want to give them some love over there, let them know that you're cheering them on. And of course, we also took a picture of the uh, the finalists. Sorry, the championship medal and trophy which is a really cool like 3d render of like the first player token it's a it's a really <laughs> cool plaque awesome. yeah plaque trophy it's like a it's like a hybrid yes yeah, yeah 3d plaque it's yeah really awesome. it's, it's really cool i want it <laughs> I, I, I touched it yeah <laughs> i did not <laughs> All right, we see here Wolf come in. I'm glad we didn't color the same chip, the same color. Uh, Jag is, Jag is, Illy's red arc, and Wolf is Jorge's red arc. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, again, they have different colored locks, or different shaped locks, because there is a little bit of color overlap. We have a limitation there. Uh, we wanted to keep them bright visible colors mm -hmm. to tell the difference. Pop, pop. Uh, luckily, uh, Elise uh, painted. He he was trying to underestimate his paint job or uh, yeah, undersell they, his paint yeah, job. Yeah, they look I good. Mean. They look great. We know his are, the, are like the this cool, like, 
almost like underwater green. Yeah, it's kind of what I is kind of what I see. Yeah, this uh, slider is a little bit like camo style, a jungle themed mm -hmm. uh, ship. So really awesome to see. Of course, X-wing. The reason we like it is it comes pre-painted. This is so true. You do not have to do <laughs> any of that fancy stuff. Uh, you can get, run them right out of the box, just like Corey. But if has. you don't, if you do know how to do fancy stuff, then you can be loved by people like to come some Sherman in the chat who's like, you know. Uh, I, I like that. Uh, yeah. Painted ships are pretty. I, I agree. They certainly are. Yeah, they got them all themed as well. Mm -hmm. Didn't just uh, cobble this list together <laughs> yeah. minutes before he left for the trip. Yep. Uh, that was a big maneuver by Oddball, wanting to skip past all the other arcs. Did kind of leave Wolf to fend for himself there, but limited options for both of them. Oddball being only three hole remaining was trying to get out of a lot of those arcs and did manage to dodge jag there. What happened? With that maneuver, it looks like he's gonna go just one forward. And gonna be able to barrel roll. Oh, so they might be using the kickback ability. You can barrel roll and target lock for a strain. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it looks like he did take the strain lock red evade the triple action combination there it will limit his ability to share that evade with the other <laughs> uh with the other ships so until he loses that strain if there's perhaps a uh, attack coming on to him, he would reduce his defense dice, and then at that point, he would be able to share the evade if he still had it. Now, it looks like we are going to see that oddball ability trigger did the red action, so gives himself a target lock onto the enemy wolf. And of course, it's not start of combat without boost. Yep. Coming in, he's gonna line up the predator there. He did try to claim the objective from Illy, but then Slider took it right back. Slider in a great position now to hug that objective for the next couple rounds, preventing Jorge from ever uh, taking it back until they aren't destroyed. All right, here we go. Now, I saw the defense dice. I did not see the attack dice, though. Must have been oddballs range zero. Now we're moving onto the rear arc attack. One for one there. One squiggle. We're gonna see, start to see ions accumulate onto oddball. I'm sure the judges will make sure that they get those ion tokens. So I think that's what he's searching for there. Perfect. There we go. We'll need two to start breaking locks and prevent your dial maneuvers. So first one's for free. And that's for medium base ships. One, exactly. one for smalls, three for bigs. Again, another trail mix here for Jorge going to spend the lock. Ooh, got a little more hit crit. So just one crit here going down. I didn't quite see what Looks it like was. Looks like it might be a damaged engine. engine. That's on to Illy's oddball. What we saw there was that Wolf used Wolf Pack to spend another Siege of Coruscant ship's mm -hmm. target lock and uh, was able to modify their dice, got the crit through. And more trail mixes here, mm -hmm. Ooh, plus an extra blank. Here we go. One for one there. All right, okay. Let's see, let's go on to then, uh, well that's Jag acquiring a lock onto Wolf. Yep. Is that where he's gonna put his shot? 
we should have on the rest of Illy's attacks. No front and back at attacks for the uh, green arcs out there. That's definitely something that uh, that's a tool you want to use anytime you can get bonus attacks. Mm -hmm. I think uh, each very one recommended, of especially against other low agility ships. Exactly. Actually, I think uh, all of Jorge's ships will get front and back attacks here. All of the arcs, at least. Obviously. Yeah. Okay, let's see what the next attack is here. Back to Jorge with that range Big one. Big one in here. Two crits, two focuses. It's gonna just re-roll it with the wolf ability for a hit. That's pretty solid. Let's see what the defense dice has to say. I don't think he has any other mods here. Oh, he's going to spend he's gonna the spend target, target lock, lock for the other one. No, as a blank. For him. He's digging deep. No focus there. We're going to get some... Uh, Learn for this, perhaps? Yeah, we also... Uh, 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 the oddball, or not oddball, but selfless is active here. Potentially, yeah. So three damage. I think they all went into the red jag. There's a rear arc attack. Going to spend the uh, wolf charge or recover it yep. more specifically to roll the extra dice. And we're going to see two damage into Ailey's wolf as well. We're bleeding shields. Actually, I think that was, yeah, that was into wolf. Yeah. And after each round, because there is so much back and forth and there's a lot of the same pilots, we're, we're going to be doing double, double checks. So. We're always a double check. Yeah. All right, All right Illy's first two. shot here. Got two. Should be wolf. Yep, going to spin that wolf charge. Ow! And got three. Full string here going into Jorge's wolf. This might actually be into oddball for the destruction. It could be. Thank you, man. I think they're... I think if it is into Wolf, they're destroyed anyway, so no, no reason to save them here. But if it's into... Oh, he's saying, he's saying, are you sure? Because this attacks into Oddball. Yeah, our count is wrong. Our count may be, may be wrong. We know these oh, panic would, pilot though. I would trust. I would we're trust. going to trust the players. You know that was a strain that went down on to a strain? Uh, Jag. So Oddball must be on one. There's no reason why he would uh, spend that focus token to modify mm -hmm. the defense if it didn't save him. Okay, so slider going to go into boost here. Got two dice, one hit. Oh, for a second I thought I thought the green dice were a bit immature. <laughs> we got them. No, they were spending their actions to scramble at the bottom there. Oh, they're saying damage engines on the other out of ball. If that's correct, Epionic. Mm, I mean, it might you. it might be on both. Don't make me not trust you. It might be on both. All right, oh here. no, you're right. I could see it. I could see it there. Yeah, yeah, it's on at least. I think that's that that's that was one the damage. extra damage. Yep. There it is. Again, <laughs> a lot of same, a lot of similar pilots, but we appreciate you guys' help. Really need you here with us. It's a team effort to track this game. And then he'd be damaged then. One, one whole damage on the uh, ball. Boom. Confirmed. 
All right, is there any other attacks happening here at Initiative 4? <coughs> nope, I think we're going on to Jorge's Initiative 3, so we're going to start with Axe. Mm -hmm. I like that idea because you can give out your target lock to your other I3 friends. Yep, set up, set up bigger offensive punches down the line. All right. Uh, did he have bullseye? Was he willing to spend the other charge? He is on those proton Damn. rockets. Three hits. It's all three. And all three of them are going to be going in. That should be two jank at the top of the board there. And now we're going to hand out a target lock, most likely to Jag. Well, Jag gets it for free. So Jag's going to lock the other Jag. And then potentially we could see here a lock passed off to Boost. Another swing here, Trail Mix. I think that's just one damage. All right, hit crit here. Any rerolls for this? Got a target lock from Jag on Jorge's side. Blank to blank here. Blank to blank. Any warn for this focuses available? Uh, I says Wolf does. Wolf will take that. There you go, my brother. <laughs> Bam. And now we see double focuses. Their re -roll Nothing the though. Yeah. All right, on to Ilias. Initiative three here, bronze side, looking for the ion cannon turret here. With the focus, he's going to convert all Ooh. of those and guarantee the destruction of oddball. Nothing, no amount of evades or born for this is, is going to save that <laughs> ship. What if, I, what if I hope really, really hard? I heard rebellions are built on hope. We're double checking his cards there. Do I see five or six? You might be alive on one yeah. still. And that was uh, the ion cannon turret, so that's only one damage. Yeah, we need to update uh, GSP crew on Oddball's health. What is it now? So it'll be another damage into Wolf then from Jank's attack. And no, it, it's gone. We had to finish the initiative threes. Is Jag that what it was? And, okay. Uh, Jag and Bronze side. Of course, you do always remove them at the end of the initiative order in case they have some sort of ability that could Got potentially it. trigger things like uh, selfless, things like let me see the crowd cheer as uh, Jorge's uh, oddball is removed. A lot of Europeans cheering on their brethren up there. Uh, Ely. I mean, this is our sports, right? This is uh, this is t table sports. I know. It, There's eSports. When my job asked me, why, why do you need so many days off? I'm like, I'm a sports announcer. <laughs> and they're like, what sport? <laughs> T-sports. <laughs> yeah, T-sports. T-sports. I like that. I like that. I'm a T-sport T, I'm a T -sport commentator. I uh, know. It really does feel. Uh, I love to see the different squadrons come by. People wearing. We got our own jerseys because we're so jealous of other people wearing their, yeah. their jerseys. It's pretty slick. Uh, but the, uh, we're getting we're getting an update here from uh, from James. So yeah, please hold. He's just double checking here, make sure that we hand Jag's correct here. I think Jag maybe has one more health. Jag is on three. Yeah, it's the three cards are at the top. So so tell me how much health is left. Three. Three so health left. Yes. Oddball. Broadside shields down. Okay. Wolf's good. Wolf is shields down over here. Red Wolf. And I don't think the Torrents took any damage. One shield left on Wolf. Everything else looks good? Cool. All right, so points. Are our points correct? Six to uh, eight to two? Well, I have to add in 
I can't see what the other objective is. I believe it's blue for Illy. So two for Illy, one for Jorge. We'll check our table cam. Eight to two. All right. Okay. You see the power stances here. Looking at what the players can do um, to stay ahead or get catch up here in Jorge's position. All right. And I do want to, again, shout out Adepticon for providing us with internet access and the support to bring you the world championships here of X-Wing. Super excited to be here. And, of course, shout out to AMG for their support and giving some items away on stream, which we're going to give away after this one. Uh, did we do our giveaway last round? Yep, we did. All right, cool. Um, we had uh, Big Ginger, I believe. Big Ginger uh, right. did exploit support and win. Very excited about it. Excellent. Uh, as they should be. AMG win all lounge for these exceptional prizes that they're giving away, and we're, we're honored to be able to pass them along to the community. Raven, Raven, Ralph here asking the tough questions. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that what do you do when you're a ship down? And you need to claw your way back into objectives be as well. Aggressive. Be aggressive. Be <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> uh, I believe it. I believe it. I mean, I mean, you you gotta you gotta find opportunity. All right. So looking, I'm trying to see what we have here. I mean, the, um, the strength that I can see right now is that he he's got his arcs in the position of uh, position to fire forward and backwards. Yep. But. Uh, you split fire now already, Jack. Oddball. Wolf even has some shields down. Broadside's got some shields down. Yeah, it's a very, it's very spread out. I mean, you know, X, X Wing 101, right? We talk about focus fire, right? But it's all, it's always situational. Can't, am I able to focus fire? Am I, am I prioritizing objectives, which is a, a newer wrinkle, um, or am I, you know, is, am I just in a situation where it's a bad shot to take it range three through a rock, no, non modified, you know? So it's the decision making. Is uh, is tough. Okay, it looks like the question in the chat is ARC an acronym? That's a good question. No, it's just it's just like a geometry term. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, mean, I don't know. All Republic Championship. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> J, I think J, uh, JW4 wins a chat today. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, again, Jorge's first player has not been advantageous for him. Because you, the road so interesting, though, because you do have to consider whether you might be first player or second player and maybe try to find the maneuver that works in both situations or at least penalizing for in one of the situations all right so it looks like it is an acronym aggressive reconnaissance 170 starfighter what is connaissance then if you have reconnaissance what is connaissance <laughs> don't don't get me started <laughs> <laughs> What's up? You cool? All right. He's cool? All right now. We're reaching approximately the halfway mark of this game. Like, again, Ooh. just like any other match of this tournament, it's no different. Mm -mm. Is that you can, or the, excuse me, the timer is variable. It's plus or minus 75 minutes, so 72 to 78 is what we call the stoppage time, where anywhere between those two, you're able to uh, have the round stop at any minute. So uh, once it hits that 72 minutes, everyone's really on edge. Is this the last round? Do we get another one? Uh, really puts a fire underneath of uh, players to, to find out if uh, 
you know, if and when uh, they'll be able to get the victory in this round or not. Of course, uh, if uh, you missed some of the previous games, you can always watch them live, uh, or not live, yeah. uh, videos on demand. All of them are on there. We're going to uh, pull those videos from Twitch and get them onto YouTube for everybody uh, to watch in the future, uh, including the interview that we did have with Rose Chick, uh, the director of creative something or other. <laughs> He's a very important man yeah, he, at when, AMG. When he, when, he, <laughs> when he was when I asked him, you know, like, what is your title? What would you like me to put on there? He was like, yeah, it was like director of development and, and products, uh, products of, of, of Atomic <laughs> Masking. And I was like, can I just put AMG? He was like, that's fine. Yeah, AMG. <laughs> AMG. But yes, he's, he's been he, integral to AMG's success over the years. So it was great to uh, have him come on, speak with us about the new Battle of Endor pack that was just recently released. And of course, the world championship in general. So very excited to uh, be able to post that, show that off to the world as well if you're not able to uh, catch those videos on demand through uh, Twitch. We're going to see here these technical maneuvers, all these medium bases having to maneuver around each other. It's a fascinating watching uh, the geometry that the judges use to find out what the best uh, te technique to get the uh, <laughs> to get the ships into the correct position. Lot, lots of using different specific templates. Oh, what kind of battery? All right, I'm back. What I miss? Oh. Uh, we're doing some intricate maneuvering. Chew. Big surprise here. Wow. Uh, the, even with only five arcs now out on the board, uh, still difficult to maneuver around each other. You thought it was difficult for other lists. No. Uh, it turns out your list with three arcs, also difficult to move around a list with three arcs. So uh, there is a reason why you see the obstacles, how they are. We have a tight group of ast droids, or excuse me, type group of gas clouds in mm -hmm. one corner, and then another line of small rocks. I can guarantee you, each player set up these very specifically to uh, deny these like engagement lanes, but we're past that now. We're in the big open middle area, uh, get, allowing a lot of freedom of movement. You don't have to worry too much about where the obstacles are. Um, and very important for these arcs because they take up so much board space uh, when they're traveling. Not only uh, three of them, but three of them in a tight area um, because they need to be range two for most of their abilities. Uh, they very rarely start on opposite ends of the board and kind of converge in two groups yeah. try to stay all together. Well, it's been so far an amazing experience here. All the players should be very proud of their accomplishments, win or losses. Hopefully all of them had fun at the different events. I know they were doing a lot of side events. People were really excited about the prizes and wanted to participate in as many events as possible to be able to get some prize wall tickets and be able to claim some of those uh, uh, prizes from there. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, looks like we're going to have a friendly bump here. Overlap. I'm still going to say bump. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's okay. I can't uh, not say bump. Now looks like the rest of the uh, the arcs here very very technical maneuvering. I know the judge is really trying to be precise. It is a difficult game of operation out there. Some real uh, surgery going on, uh, but they uh, the judges really love their precision. 
if they do happen to say exaggerate the time needed uh, they they have in the past provided players mm -hmm. extra minutes yep. to make up for that uh, rather it be precise and take a little bit longer right. than for it to uh, be sloppy and say one player is uh, at a disadvantage when they should not have been yeah like continuously open we press the button Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, people, people, well, people re try. really want to bet in the middle of the game when <laughs> when it starts swinging one way. They really they want to just like try to, yes. you know, do hey, that. You know what? We still appreciate you showing your support for the player you want <laughs> to see to win. Speaking of best, how did they shake out? Uh, so taking a look here, it looks like Elias has the advantage with 55.93% of the vote, but there's still 44% out there that believe in Jorge. Are lots of overlaps happening here. Oh, and, and something I wanted to to note with yes. the with the extra time added, the way it works, because uh, we did get to see it, is the judges do not tell you the exact number of minutes right. that you're getting added um, afterwards, because the the whole idea is. The, you're not supposed to be able to game the clock. You have a very loose understanding, so mm -hmm. they may call the clock plus a mysterious amount of time extra, right. but it doesn't really matter because you're not supposed to know when the clock is supposed to ring anyway. But that's kind of how, how that works, all right? Right. You can understand that you're in stoppage time. Yeah. Because um, obviously anybody could count up yep. from when the round began. But knowing when it ends. Counting. It's illegal, man. Counting. <laughs> I mean, like no watches anymore. No, no watch. You're not allowed you're to bring watches, watches in. Sorry, guys. Uh, does Italy have all three objectives? Let's I see. believe the center was claimed by broadside again. Yeah, I see the bottom is blue, which is what uh, Italy's been using. Mm -hmm. The center is blue, and the top one. Let's see, there's there's a hand. It's yep. also blue. That is yep. a 3-0 advantage at the moment. I believe that's match take up right there at the top, the uh, pink collared Y-wing. Uh, he's the one who claimed that objective. Yep. Very, I mean, that is what we warn players about. Obviously, I, and we're not telling this to Jorge. Jorge yeah. knows. Yeah, this is, this is just, uh, we, especially on the final, it's a great opportunity to just get information out because it's one of the games that most people are going to watch. <laughs> right, right, exactly. And I know Jorge has been trying to conceive a plan to stop these objectives, things like bringing Jack straight down to the bottom objective to make sure that mm -hmm. he can claim it uh, in the following round while still shooting rear arc attacks. Very smartly done. Uh, Smooth Skeleton asking, is it poor sportsmanship if when time starts I have a stopwatch uh, going on my phone no. for 72 minutes? No, they're not going to stop you. No. You, Man, you, a lot of players do that. Yeah, that's that's, that's you. Everyone knows that's like open information. Right. Everybody knows right. that we, the minimum amount of time is seventy-two. Here at Worlds, we had very visible clocks yep. set up, counting up to that seventy-minute, seventy-two-minute mark, and then it would continue on after that. Obviously, if the the time was different, so it is. It should be public knowledge. Ooh, hit crit. Hit early crit. Start here we here. go. Starting with some spice. Ooh, is this would be kickback ring zero into Wolf and it looks like that is a direct hit. Oh sorry, that must have been in ring into Jag. No, because that's the first damage cards over there. A full string here from Ooh. Ball. And we're going to see Boost barely survive it. Boost down to one 
hole remaining. One hole remaining on? Boost. The yellow Z95. Ooh. We check in. Oddball's rear architect here. See if they can attack that red wolf. Does have it. One hit, one evade. Looks like across YouTube and Twitch, we're looking at 886 folks. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome. Plus all the people watching over there who are, who are sitting down. <laughs> yes. I'm so glad to have everybody join us here for this monumental occasion. All right, next shot. One hit, one evade. A lot of natural evades happening here. You know, uh, this will be Wolf going to spend his focus into... Oh, rolled the wrong kind of dice. This is a full, <laughs> full string here. One evade, but going to be taking hit, hit, crit. Yeah, on to Axe here. Pop, hit, pop, hit, slop. Crit. That hole looked like breach. a fuel leak. What is it? Okay, I thought it was hole breach. Hole breach. I'll trust you. And that was on Axe, you said, right? On Axe. Everything's face up from now on. Next shot here coming from Elias. Uh, so no rear arc attack here. So we're going on to matchstick, shooting primary. Might have to use the same target. Could be a good idea. It looks like we have a couple of follow-up shots on the axe. One hit. Squiggle. That little V19. It's moving. One hit. Mm -hmm. And spends a focus. Yeah, spend it. Yeah, so it keeps boost alive there. That warrant for this, so powerful. Sharing those focus tokens. We talk about how strong Hera is. Yep. Imagine a whole squad's Hera. <laughs> so blue side of the objective token belongs to Elias. And it looks like we were able to make that a full string here. Yep, three damage into, that would be Wolf. Going to put him down to one hole remaining. Is there a follow-up shot anywhere? Uh, that's going to be the boost who survived. What? So well, one, one hole remaining one on Haley's Wolf? Yeah, because there's five damage. Got it. That's right here. There's another I3 out there. Boost, he might even have Predator lined up. Yep, he wants it. Are we going to see the axe ability, though? Where's the axe? Target locks. I thought there, it was just anybody in your side arc. Maybe it has to be a born for this in your side arc, and that's why it's not able to pass the lock off. Bullseye looks out. <laughs> and it's a little bent. Maybe you could change it out a little bit, but I don't, even if even if it was over a couple degrees, not okay. going to be in bullseye here. Judges call. Has matched stick shot. Yeah, that was the first attack into Axe that did that nest mm -hmm. crit. And while we have a quick quick stoppage in play, shout out to our judges. They've been doing a wonderful job uh, here this weekend. As well as our GSP crew. Here we go. I think he's just going to take the range one into oddball instead. And that's a, another crit. Didn't see the name on that one. Wounded pilot. Wounded pilot. And that was it on which, uh, which ship? Uh, that would be oddball. Orange oddball. I'm surprised he didn't go after the one health ship, though. Uh, we have one more attack here from Jag's rear arc. A single crit. Spicy down, crit. Stunned pilot now on Onball, really accumulating those critical damage tokens. Two hits coming in from Elias. Spend for two, no damage there. And that was 
Jack, and now we're going on to Broadside. Does have the Ion Cannon here on to Axe. Won't be able to destroy him. Does only do one damage. But they're going to check if it's range one or range two. Broadside did have to use their ability or their action mm -hmm. to take the center objective, so won't be able to convert uh, the a blank or any of the eyeball results but it looks like we're still going to get the ionization no born for this focuses yep, uh, two hits two acts two focuses we'll see if the, the second damage was face up see if it was actually a whole breach or not i don't think it was so maybe maybe we're right maybe it was wounded we'll have to double check all right so we need to double check I on that was on axe's crit uh yeah, I think that was the end of the round. We're I think it was. I think it was fuel leak. Is what it was. What I is yes, what I had saw. Fuel leak. That makes sense. Same kind of two short words. Yeah. What's the crit on X? Yeah, we can see them all right here. What's X's? So 64 minutes has elapsed. We're going to know who our world champion is in about 10 minutes. Yep. Okay, so it was Fuel League. It is Fuel League. All right. We're worried it might be a hole breach or and something. And this was a 3-0 turn for Elias. All right. Well, let's let's go ahead. Let's rack those up. One, two, three. That's an 11-2 score right now in the finals of our world championships of X-Wing here. All right. We're going to cut away to the players here for this planning phase. Uh... We're going to see uh, Jorge uh, still laughing, having a great time, um, as he, you know, any X-Wing player should. I don't think he's out of it yet, but time is ticking away. Uh, the lead is slowly slipping from his grasp. First to 11, that's true. Yeah. You can see the high grounds there. Uh, very difficult. Uh, to, <laughs> to get that uh, metric back. We're going to switch back to the table before anybody in the crowd notices that we have a camera on. <laughs> <laughs> Start doing some fun <laughs> we, stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, we, lo we love them, but we don't want any shenanigans here. Uh, again, AMG kind enough to provide us uh, a space to, to do our stream and accommodate us, and we certainly do not. And I, I want to do anything that they would find inappropriate. <laughs> and I like that they gave they gave us that this you know, stadium seating essentially is what we got, uh, which is awesome. You know, being able to give a, a place for our community to gather and and celebrate together the world championships. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, gonna have that that ebb and flow. The oh, the mm, the, sure. those those emotions that you hear from a crowd. Uh, it really it gives it gives that sports feel. All right. All right. Um, I'm sure you guys will uh, be listening for the the jeers or cheers <laughs> or whatever. Uh, the champion is actually crowned here. Either way, both these players should be very proud of their performances uh, throughout the weekend. It is a grueling marathon of X-Wing games precision uh, in both your deployments, your target priorities, your uh, the actions that you take. How do you um, justify getting objectives over just attacking the enemy? All these uh, many, many calculations you have to do on the fly most of the time. You don't, you don't get to sit and wait and, you know, take your turn. Yep. You just have, you have to be able to do it quickly and effectively. All right. Give us one moment, friends.
All right, we're back. We're just getting a couple of things set for uh, for when the game wraps up. We want to make yeah, sure everything yeah, is good. Cool. So Elias is the blue token face up, which is why he had a 3-0 objective turn that turn. All right, looks like that is Jag taking off, getting out of here with that fast maneuver, using that R4P, and then a barrel roll. <laughs> Very exciting, though. We're about to hit the stoppage time. I think there's... We're getting, we're getting close. I think there's... But, is. I mean, right, right now, Elias really has... He's in the driver's seat. He's in the driver's seat, for sure. Yeah, it's up to Jorge to find that win condition. Obviously, Jag, Oddball here, Wolf, all hurt. If you somehow yeah. tr triple pop all yep. those arcs, that's 12 points. Easily can make up the victory. Is it possible? We'll have to see if Jorge has the strategy to discover that win condition. If anybody knows these arcs, it is a little weird because, mm -hmm. like, you've been practicing the, your whole season, and now you had to face something very similar. I, w I wonder how many mirror matches where he has come up against. Well, and, I assume and, a lot. But. And he, here is a point that I want to I want to bring up here as well. Uh, so there's some people who are like, oh man, the road roll. That it, it. This is so specifically. There's, there's somebody who's like, ahead. like, oh right, that, man, that, it ruined it ruined the 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 flow of the game. Hmm. If they would have done a, let's say, oh, yeah, let's say it was old, let's say it was it, old yeah. version, yeah. right? Old version, then Jorge has no chance to ever be the second player. This is literally every round it was determined who was going to be first, and it happened to be Jorge every time. Right. That's that's how the dice rolled, right? You can't do anything right. about that. Just right. like every other dice roll, it was completely randomized. Did Jorge get the sword into the stick? Yes. Is that the fault of road? No. no. That's called randomization. <laughs> uh, surely, yeah. I'm, I'm sure Illy was, was happy to see that randomization. Uh, yeah, man. It, it happens. You know, you know what you need to win a world championship? You need practice, you need some skill, and you need a bit of luck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me say that. A bit of luck at the right time. Yes, exactly. I mean, was still a dice game. Yeah. Love that random chance. This is what makes it yeah. exciting is that uh, with that that point one percent yeah. is still a possibility. Yeah. Of dice. You're saying there's a chance. Now, when it comes to uh, to Jorge, you know. He is in a nine-point deficit. Let's try to find him nine points. That's what I'm saying. So we got Wolf. Jag left, so maybe not. But Oddball and Wolf. Yeah. Uh, Wolf's right here in your t uh, center top there in the yellow. Oddball uh, in the center in orange. Mm -hmm. uh, if they can get arcs on them. And we'll say Alliance is flying his wirings very well. That extra added reach, the extra added arc, uh, yep. has been really impactful for allowing them to get shots uh, when these uh, torrents might not have. Oh, and you know, that's, that's, a good, that's a good point. You know, the, the deficit that we're talking about also doesn't include the, uh, the, the objectives. Oh, that's true. That's true. So we imagine 14. Yeah, see, I think you need all all three arcs yep. to keep the game going. But uh, Illy also recognized that win condition. That's why he left with his. Jag said, no, no thanks. I'm out. You're going to do something similar here. But I think this is going to end up being a friendly bump. And o overlapping a friendly. Mm-hmm. I'm going to, uh, even, even though I consciously want to say overlap. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> my, my mouth wants to say bump. It's that's, all right. That's how it goes. Well, we have had an amazing 14 rounds of X-Wing these last couple days, plus the LCQ, mm. which was four, five? Four rounds for the LCQ. Four rounds so for the 18 S games total. LT 18 games to get to the determination of who is the world champion. 
I mean, that's absolutely amazing. The way I look at it is like if you got an invite, essentially what you've gotten <laughs> is you got like a super buy, right? You got a four round buy. You get a four round buy. You get to skip four <laughs> rounds and jump in in round five. And you had to go undefeated in the LCQ. Yeah, you did. Well, except for if you're a plot armor ID out there. <laughs> got in with one loss. <laughs> we allowed it. No. Yeah? <laughs> no, it's, no, he had great strength to schedule. Yeah. Played many great opponents. Unfortunately, it did catch up to him. Those four extra games, I mean, that's four extra, uh, four extra games of fatigue that they were feeling. And unfortunately, uh, none, of the, none of the LCQ players uh, made it into the top cut. They were the true Cinderella story. And, yeah. Uh, didn't work out for him. We are in a stoppage time. We'll whisper that. Uh, in case yeah. the, <laughs> the players are not paying attention. Yeah, yeah the, the, time, the time is up. But with the pace of play, that stoppage time has had to be pretty extended. For yeah, it's, it, this is likely the last. Look. Unless we somehow get to the 78th minute as they're starting to set the 78th minute plus five yeah. for that. We'll True. see. We'll see. We got attack dice already being rolled here. On ball missed is range zero. Or no, would have been shooting into Jan. Rear arc attack. One crit, one evade. Mm -hmm. Move on to this is Jorge's wolf looked obstructed range three and two on ball, most likely. I'm just going to measure real there quick There we go. Here. Measure, measure that arc. Make sure it's good. Looks range three. In arc. Mm -hmm. And they officially called it. It is officially time of the round. All okay. right. I mean. With the extension. Okay. Ooh, so that was probably a 72. Ooh. Okay. Most likely that was a 72. Okay, a bunch of crits here coming in. A crit going into on ball. A single crit won't be enough. Even though he's piling it, I'm up. Yeah, you can feel you oh, can feel the energy, the energy, the uh, energy starting to rise. <laughs> like people are ready are ready to start cheering. <laughs> like it, it, it's that announcement at the end of the time. I mean, there's again we're looking at 99 percent chance here for yep. Roy, but it doesn't mean it's, it's over. It's not over to the. Till, till the players have shaken hands. Okay, there's a rear attack, range one from Wolf. He's gonna drop his focus for hit crit. Uh, as we get to the celebrations here and the sign off, I wanna remind you we are gonna do one more giveaway. We are uh, then gonna be signing off after we show a bit of the celebrations and we're gonna be rec recording a couple of interviews uh, to be broadcast at a later date. just to fulfill our contractual <laughs> obligations. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> All right, so match stick spinning the focus there. And we're going to see two ions come down on yep. two axe, but not a destruction there. And again, see, this is what I'm talking about. These two torrents, Yep. not shooting. And these Y-wings utilizing that turret arc. Absolutely. If you want to support the work that we do here, you can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron, become a Twitch subscriber, or if you want to direct donate, exclamation point donate, you can do that as well. Thank you to all of our supporters. Gold Squadron is uh, is here for you all, for our community to bring you guys this live X-Wing action. And there's more damage here. We do see, we do see I believe that would be Wolf taking off the board. Yep. Uh, we'll see, One see more damage. Hit. Yeah, hit into oddball, but not take it off the board. Oddball. Oh, he needed. Hole. He needed them both. No, he's got one hole. He's got five cards over here. So one more hole on oddball. Yeah. Is there another shot over there onto Illy's? Illy with another shot here. Spends for oh, three. Got oh, one three. squiggle. And that's going to. That should take out boost. If I'm not mistaken. 
You can see Illy's starting to hurry up. He could, he, he could feel it. You can see he's like, he's like, let's go. I'm ready to celebrate. Let's make it happen. There it is. Axe taking off the board, and that uh, could be the nail in the coffin here for Jorge. That pro, that There's all the double checks, all the thing, <laughs> all everybody's pointing. Are you good? Are you good? Here. Double checking everything. Wait here. for the handshake. No celebrating. They're double checking the score right now with one of the judges. And there, and there it is. Elias out of Germany ends up with the world championship of X-Wing. There you go. You see the, <laughs> the, crowd, <laughs> the crowd cheering. Uh, congr uh, congratulations to Jorge. Uh, and look, hopefully we can go ahead and get the uh, uh, the trophy. I'm going to see if I can catch that. If yep, you go want to set the giveaways. Yep. All righty, so we're gonna we're gonna have the camera on the crowd for a little bit here. Want to say again, thank you so much for uh, for your support here and uh, for watching our stream this weekend. We'll get the uh, the camera presentation here in a moment. Sorry for the choppiness. We got a, <laughs> a lot a lot going on here. I can go ahead and close some of this stuff down. That'll help. Um, as we're getting that done, we have uh, we have one final giveaway to do a world championship prize pack. We have uh, some of the dice that they are giving away here. We have some cards. Uh, we do have some terms and conditions for shipping um, that uh, that we'll talk about here in a minute. But I want to I want to make sure give Illy his time. Let's make sure we we present him with his uh, with his trophy. <laughs> if you want to be a part of the giveaway. What we need you to do, give us one second. All righty. If you want to be part of the, the giveaway, um, you need to type capital, excuse me, lowercase, all lowercase, the word join. Congratulations to Illy. All right, and they're doing the official presentation here. Just waiting here a moment. All right, so go ahead. If you want to join the... Uh <laughs> if you want to join uh, the giveaways, J-O-I-N is what you got to do. Terms and conditions apply. Uh, if you claim the prize, if you have somebody here, you can go ahead and have them pick it up. Uh, that would be no shipping charge. If you're in the United States, uh, shipping charge of $14. If you are in Europe, uh, Europe, Canada, or South America, it is a shipping charge of $35. Sorry, that's just how international shipping costs. And $45 for Australia or Africa. What we'll be doing, if we do need to ship it to you, is we will be filling the box as much as possible with extra swag, besides what AMG gave us, uh, until the uh, the weight limit, until it goes up to the next tier of shipping. So we'll be able to get you some extra uh, world championship goodies, some extra GSP goodies. Again, if you want to join, J-O-I-N. So I'm going to be drawing that name here in a moment. Uh, if you want to claim the, uh, if you want to claim the prize, type exclamation point win if you are the winner. Uh, if you would prefer to pass, feel free to type pass. Here we go. Three, two, one. Albino Kiwi Bird, you have been drawn as the winner. If you want to claim your prize, exclamation point win. And let us know if you're doing a local pickup um, or if you need it shipped. Which one are you going to do? Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> what, are you, what, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, they're trying to figure some stuff out. 
Uh, give it to Judge Chris Seraph. So you, what you need to do is you need to communicate with Chris, okay? And he comes to us, all right? So I want to make sure it's cool with him. I don't want to just hand people off. But if that's the plan, that's perfect. That's awesome. All righty. We did it. Another world championship streamed, recorded. We are going to let you go. We do want to get an interview recorded so that we can uh, broadcast that at a later date. Thank you so much for your time. For everybody here, we got Will. We got James. We got Jason. The whole crew. What are you doing? Here. Are you, oh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Dude, what, do you, what do you want? Do you need? Oh, okay. All right. So Come thank on. you. So, thank you so much. Have a great day for everybody here. My name's Dio Morales. Gold Squadron.